We want to hear. Push we want to hear everything. But you got to push the lead vocalist way. No, up. I'm saying the whole thing is low. You know, it's I, just, I went back there and I told them to uh, raise raise it all up. All raise right. it all up. You could get better clarity from. Uh, you know, the right track, you know, Long Island or something. I, mean, I apologize. I don't, I, this is something that's out of my control. You know, a long time listener, Robin, you did a beautiful job, sweetie. Oh, please. Excellent. You tried. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're lucky it was low. <laughs> that's what I'm, I think the audience was spared. All right, go back and vote now. Thanks a lot, Howie. Thank you. Actually, save your votes till you hear everyone. All right, Casey, what song are you doing over there? Remember, this isn't the song I wanted to do. I wanted to do it. Oh, come on. Stop All right, I'm too. doing Round Here by Counting Crows. Stop your crying. This is the great band Stained. They sound good. Yeah. Not according to the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Right, here we go. Here's Casey doing Round Here. Hey, don't think I don't know what you're doing, you stupid twat. What? what? <laughs> Sing it like a normal person. <laughs> Stepped out the front door like a ghost into the fog where no one notices the contrast. Of white on white. And in between the moon and you, the angels get a better view of the crumbling difference between wrong and right. I walk in the air between the rain, through myself and back again, where, I don't know, Maria says she's dying. Through the door I hear crying, why? I don't know. Round here, we always stand up straight. Round here, something radiates. Get it now. We came from that. Street. All right, enough of that. <laughs> enough. That, it's, it's, it hurts my ears. You're not going to win. You're horrible. I'm voting for KC. <laughs> He's horrible. The contest is wide open. <laughs> I mean, was KC trying? Huh? You weren't trying. No. Just you were trying to be really a goofball. Uh, that's, right. that's how I sing. You know what? You're not a real man to even let your real voice out. You're <laughs> not least, man. Dude, that's at least how I sang. sang. Yeah, you sang at least. I sang. Robin I sang. You're not man. Sang. You're woman. <laughs> I, hey, that's how, that's how you sing the song. Did you? Feel, I felt he was he was completely crazy and over the top. Yeah, he was giving a performance. That's, if I'm singing right. in a car, that's how sing. I sing. Get out. That was a weird lyric at the beginning. Casey, choose who goes next. In this uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever heard that lyric in, in this song. <laughs> the beginning was I know like, what you're up to. That's who are you talking version. to? It was horrible. No, it was good. Um, you don't deserve to win the contest. No, no, you won't. I, no, I will. Pick who goes next. Scott, the engineer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Scott, what, you, what is Scott doing? Let me take a look at my list. A little help from my friend. With a little help from my friend. A lot of Beatles tunes. That's, that yeah. would sound perfect. That's because Scott has to do whatever I do. <laughs> I didn't even know you were doing the Beatles tunes. Whatever. All right, maybe the engineering on this will be good. Scott's not actually working the controls. Right. Oh, listen to him. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Out. Here is Scott, the engineer. What would you think if I sang a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out of key Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends I get high with a little help from my friends mm, Gonna try with a little help from my friends That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, one, that's one verse and a chorus. That, that is it. Wow. That you didn't fine. get to the best part. I want to hear, do you, do you need anybody? Yeah, what about that? Yeah. I just need someone to love. Do you need anybody? <laughs> 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 ah, 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 you suck. I do suck. I was a little help from my friend. Oh, you suck. <laughs> of course I suck. All right, get out of there. Or else I'm being stained. All right, who do you want to go next? Pick somebody to go next. No, I finally get to pick somebody. Let me turn to my mic. <laughs> who is it? Artie. Artie. <laughs> now, at the oh, end of this... that's right. Artie's doing Bruce. Lord, go to vote at howardstern.com. Put the first name of the person you're voting for in the subject field. But wait till you hear everybody, all right? Let's go to uh, <laughs> let's go to Steve. Steve, you're on the air. 
Hey, Howard, listen, man, that last call, you got great reception coming through, bro. Okay, oh, good. Okay. All right, thanks. Hey, listen, good. listen, KC, what are you trying to, you trying to recover from your masculinity, bro? That sounded horrible, man. Hey, no one asked you, pal. Yeah, thanks, Napa Nuts. All right, wow. good enough. He gets Fuck the those Jew bastards. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, that Casey's not Jewish? <laughs> I think he is, according to that caller. I like that name, Snapper Nuts. <laughs> yes, Amanda. Hey, now. Hey, now. Tom's performance, my ears are bleeding. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Never let him sing again. Yes, Anthony, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, I just have a question for Stained. Yes. What's up, guys? Um, I know you guys are like a great band, one of my favorites. I know you guys do a lot of cover songs, and I was hoping maybe you could do an AIC song at uh, Claude Fest, because I'm going, and I'd love to hear it. Oh, yeah, add that to your list. All right. Well, how many songs? How many songs are you guys doing at Claus Fest? We only have half like hour. yeah, it's not. You're doing a half hour. We don't have a lot of time. I don't think. Ah. I might get up and jam with you guys. I'm I'll hoping see. you will. Yeah, Maybe I we probably... can do a rendition of Blackbird that you do today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is like a rehearsal. For what you'll yeah, do. I really want to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> I was hoping maybe like a little bit of uh, Angry Chair or Got Me Wrong, something like that. Well, see, I'll decide what the boys will play there. All right, here comes uh, Artie's performance now. What's up, Jersey? Artie's doing Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> he is Bruce. I think Artie. How, has... you go, how you guys doing out there tonight? Sure you know, good. <laughs> You know, back in high school, I had really long hair, and my father would say, wait till the army gets a hold of you, boy, they're going to make a man out of you. And I was just crying all night, and I went out and hung out with my buddies the night before the draft, and they didn't take me. And then I went back, back to my father's house, and I was sitting at the table, and I was real down, and he said, what happened with the draft? And I said, well, they wouldn't take me. And he looked at me, and he said, that's good. This song's called Glory Days. <laughs> Come on, band! Yeah! Oh! Come on! Woo! I had a friend was a great band. See, he's going to win. Well, I told you, Artie, win. Artie's been doing this for how long? <laughs> you were good, man. You were really good. He even knows what you say before the song. <laughs> you guys were even doing harmonies, but you can't wow. hear him on the microphone. I know. Well, that's perfect. Oh, it's the engineering. That's, <laughs> what is going on? It's all good. You were good. Thanks, buddy. God, he was damn. good. He was good. Right, for the record, I'm not for impeaching Bush. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should be in Iraq. There's a lot of heart in that. Yeah, well, you were he, good. he is a singer. He's already yeah. decent. Well, it's my, you know, it's my guy. Hey, I'm hey, Stain, what did you think of that? That was pretty good, right? That was really good. That was good. Yeah, at least some heart in it. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty good. He well, was I'm all glad, over. It. You're talking to an all county third baseman. A lot, of, a lot of conviction behind it. A lot of confidence. Yeah, that song yeah. means song means not a lot. shy at all. See, that's part of the trick. I know I'm going to get up there and choke. <laughs> Who's next, Artie? Uh, well, you know what? I'd really, I'd really love to hear the great Stuttering John. Stuttering John. <laughs> Mr. America. All, my, all right, my, all right. Mr. Musician. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, let's see what's going on out there. Uh, Sarah, what do you have to say? Hey, Howard, hey now. Hey now. What's going on? I just want to say Artie's performance, that was awesome. Yeah, Artie's yes. good. Artie was, was good. really good. Artie was really, really good. He was really good. Yeah, I, I like that. I don't that. know why the rest of us have to humiliate Robin, <laughs> Robin, honey. I know, please. <laughs> you don't have to say a thing. Danny, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Artie, awesome. Scott, all right. I miss Robin and Tom. Can you play them again? <laughs> <laughs> Never. What is it, Vinny? Howard, I'm enjoying this so much. You guys all suck. <laughs> <laughs> you hello, know, hello. You, you, you speak. You got your echo. You got a band. Oh, Debbie. You're singing a rock song. You all suck. I could beat you oh, by a mile. What is his song again, <laughs> Artie? What are the words? Oh, uh, yeah. Breathless, breathless. Breathless, breathless. Breathless, breathless. What's that, Debbie? That's my sack. <laughs> Jed, you're on the air. Howard, 
please, please put that on the E channel tonight. I know you got to see this. Well, Stuttering I, John has been bragging, talking smack. Guys, let's try in the hallway. Here. Totally. Yeah. When the is hallway. this going to be on? You got to tell me. Uh, I don't know. I'll find out and I'll announce it. All right. All right. Here we go. Stuttering John, what song are you doing? I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing. Feel like making love. Feel the like making company. love. The that's company version. that's an easy song. Yeah. So you're very lucky. Unlike my song. Go ahead. Baby, when I think about you, I think about love. Darling, won't live without you, live without love. That's over. That wasn't oh. that good, though. You know what? If you tell me one of the guys in this group got a record contract, I wouldn't go right to that no, guy. No, no, that guy. Come on, Luther. <laughs> yes, uh, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Yes, I'd like to say, I believe I already won. I didn't go yet. No, wait a second. We're not done yet. There's two left. There's two left. What's the matter with you? You obviously didn't hear Scott the Engineer then. I'd like to say Artie's going to win. Joe, you're on the air. Yeah, first off, I'd rather get pecked to death in the face by chickens than hear Robin sing again. Yes, <laughs> would I? Hey, can Artie do an ACDC tune as an encore for us? We'll please? see. Yeah. Double A, you're on the air. Hey, J hey, how, how's it going, man? Stutter and John was pretty good, man. He sounded good. He has a lot of reason to be confident there. Well, the game right, is go on. go vote for him. Yeah. John was John, good. Go ahead. Well, my favorite uh, for this event is uh, is going to be Baba Booey. I have to Ooh. I have to see uh, Gary's. Well, it looks like I'm going last. <laughs> I yeah, love our well, we're saving you for last, Alan. Oh, I suck. Ah. Gary was up and you ready to go. You sit there and, and worry about your performance. I know how you feel. I don't want to go. Right. <laughs> yes, Donna, what is it? Howard, I'm eating my breakfast. I feel like throwing up. John is horrible. Oh, John was horrible. Shut up. <laughs> All right, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, Artie was great. Casey ought to uh, stick to smoking poles, and I can't believe that John ever got anything recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I didn't really blow. Yes, Mike, go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, now. Come on, Howard, you don't smell too bad. Listen, oh. listen. <laughs> yes. Listen, I like Robin out of everybody. She was dynamite. She actually sounded like Cheryl Pro. Good job, baby. There you Thank go, Robin. You. I guess he'll be voting for you at HowardStern.com. I'll get a vote. All right. Let's go to Gary Delabate. I turned it over to you. What are you singing, Gary? Fly Like an Eagle. Fly Like an Eagle, the Steve Miller Band. Go ahead. <laughs> Slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. I want to fly. Like an eagle till I'm free. Oh, Lord, through the revolution, feed the babies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, horrible. Feed the babies. <laughs> oh. I don't want.
don't want to go. I'm taking myself out of the Let's car. Just- oh. <laughs> <laughs> if John's song is so easy, why don't you just do that one? No, no, I'll sing my song. I'm not even sure where to come in. Well, well, we'll they'll tell you. you. They'll oh, tell they will? Because oh, no. I didn't know where to we'll come cue in. You. you know, it hardly matters. Right. Yes, Sal. Hey, Baba Boy was horrid, man. <laughs> Fly like an eagle. He got the wrong animal. It should be swing like a monkey. All right, there you go. Suck, Gary. All right, you work the board here. I'm going to go over with my band, Stained. Did you get picked? Yeah. Well, I'm the only guy left, I think. Oh, no, Fred's Fred, left. Fred, Fred. Oh, Fred. 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 Fred's hiding in the game. Fred, who do you pick? All right, go with Fred. Let's go with Fred. Go with Fred. Let me go left <laughs> and steal the whole thing. See, you know, Fred has a Nirvana outfit on. You look at Fred. Oh, he is doing yeah. Smells Like Teen Spirit. Right? Fred will be doing Smells Like Teen Spirit. All right. Fred's a big shot over there. All right, Fred. You're the only hope to beat Artie, I think. Well, I don't know. Some people think John was. John was good. John was All right, great. go ahead, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> this is your chance to shine, Fred. You hardly get to say a word on the show. Exactly. So this is my chance to sing and shut up. Crazy Alice. Pretend she's overboard and self assured. Oh no, I know a dirty word. Hello, 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 how low? Hello, 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 how low? Hello, 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 how low? Hello, hello. Bring the lights down in the nation. Here we are. He even smashed the mic. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid it's dismantling the stage. Slams the mic down. Oh, my God. He oh. really thought he was Kurt All he needed to do was dive into the drum oh. set. <laughs> he almost smacked his head into that the camera. That was good, though. That was good, camera. Too. Everybody's really so smart. theatrical. Oh, Fred really sold that. He, he did. really yeah. sold yeah. that. He could steal a performance. Very nice. They can't see it on the radio, though. I mean, so Aaron kind of like getting into Fred's tunes there, right? I mean, you thought he was pretty good. Yeah, that was great. That was good. Thanks. Get a Joe Cocker facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Wait till you see him on TV. Yeah, he looks like That's he's right. retarded, right? <laughs> he is retarded. I tell you, he is. He did a good I, I Kurt Cobain. Point, Luke, you're on the air. About. His uterus came right out of his. His whole uterus and everything. <laughs> Luke, you're on the air. <laughs> yes, Luke. Yes, uh, dude. I, am I going to be talking to him? You're talking. You're talking to him now. Oh, well, I just wanted to say, Baba Boo, you're horrible. Uh, you absolutely suck, and I, I can do a much better job with my voice thrown, thrown up somebody It's else. not that oh, easy. That. As someone who has to go next, I know it's not easy. <laughs> yes, Dino. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, Gary, that was the single funniest thing I've ever heard on this show. <laughs> Thank you. Put him here for your amusement. <laughs> and uh, and Artie, down. I mean, you can't vote for anybody else. I mean, that was that was the greatest thing. Well, the, the I mean, Artie was good, but I got to say, I thought Fred, Fred was pretty good. good. There is one more person to go. Yes, there is. Yeah, yeah that was that was All pretty right, good. Well, don't vote we'll yet. Happens. Don't you don't see vote the yet. Jeans that he stuffed himself in to get into character. The spoiler is coming next. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mike. Uh, hey now. Hey now. Listen, I just want to. I, I think that you guys should have an exorcism in that uh, studio because. There's definitely a demon inside Fred. Yes. <laughs> Little do you know. So it makes it work. All right, I am now going to move myself over to the band area oh, where right. I will make this band my own. <laughs> <The main event. laughs> or I will own this band. Okay. Like Go ahead. Oh, this is great. As you know, the Beatles wrote this song for me. 
They had you in mind. <laughs> they had me in mind. Because I am as black as a blackbird. <laughs> Very few people know the origin of this song. What is it? Blackbird is about black people. <laughs> no, it is. That's Don't true. laugh. Blackbird is about uh, the uprising of black people that one day they would rise up and have their rights. And, so uh, the Beatles didn't know anything either. What, what, Beatles, <laughs> what, what, if, what do four white guys know about that? They suck. <laughs> Oh, get out of here, Casey. I'll be uh, quiet. The okay. Beatles suck. The Beatles suck. You suck. You suck. Hold right. on a second. Let me, my, let me get my let me get myself together. In the yeah. world. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, check check. One two. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> All right. Now when does this come in? We'll You're gonna tell me. Yeah, gonna <laughs> no, All right. Go ahead. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arise Blackbird Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird fly Into the light of the dark black night I am so horrible <laughs> Where were you guys? How come you didn't come in with me? There's no, nothing else in the song. There's no harmony in there? I don't think so, no. Did you ever hear Crosby, Stills, and Nash do that song? Yes, I have. So why not do that with me? We did the Beatles version. <laughs> Come in with me. Let me see how it would have sounded. And maybe I won't screw it up this yeah, time. Sing higher. Yeah, you screwed up. I, I messed the whole thing up. Here. That's a hard song to play. Oh, it's why not. didn't you I guys just, come uh, in with me? That would have been we'll good. Come in now. You came in on John's song, for Christ's sake. I, I was scared. Let me hear you do, do that again. I'm doing so well. Guys. Robin, watch this. This is how it should have been. Okay. <laughs> We've got to sit through this again? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll come in now. Here I go. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. There it is. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. <laughs> Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird fly, blackbird fly into the light of the. <laughs> All right, good night. You have to take his I first performance if you're voting. That's right. That's right. You take whatever performance you want. <laughs> it doesn't good. matter. Good. Well, I happen to be very talented. It just takes me a while. Yeah, I don't I count know, Aaron in. You're just getting warmed up. When Aaron, Aaron got in totally there. Yeah. 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 Aaron, Aaron, I'd rather hear them do every version of yeah. this. <laughs> can, can you do all these songs? All the songs. Reclaim all the songs. Yo, Aaron, I want to go again, but I want Aaron to sing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. All right, here's the voting, and this is the way it works. When we come back, Stained will actually do a real song. Yeah. From their new album. I hope they remember music. <laughs> from their album, 14 Shades of Grey. And the single is so far away. All right. Stained They'll is, actually do a good song. Stained is going to go back to college. If to <laughs> yeah, really. Get a real job. We do need a vote. And all you have to do is actually go to, uh, what is it? HowardStern.com, right? Yeah. Do you, do you send an email or do you actually go on the website and vote? I don't know. I'm don't getting know. two different notes here. Oh, but really? Go to vote at howardstern.com. Oh, it's an email, Howard. Oh, it's an email. It's put an email. Go to, you know, send an email to vote at howardstern.com. Put whoever you want to win in the subject field. Tom. Oh, in the subject field. All right. Tom. You don't go to howardstern.com. You send something to howardstern.com. Even that's confusing. I know. I know. It? I don't understand yet how to vote. I guess you write an email to howardstern.com. Okay. And in the subject field... You put who you're voting for? Yeah, it's vote at howardstern.com. <laughs> vote at howardstern.com. That's where votes. you're sending the email. Yeah. 
Well, either Artie or Freddie is going to win. Tom of course. In case they haven't forgotten. If it makes you happy. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what, John? Wow. wow. I want to crap in your mouth again. Uh, Go ahead. Do it. Yeah. Stop talking I and just do it. it All right. Go to votedhowardstern.com. <laughs> And then you put the first name of the person you're voting for in the subject field. Now I have it right. Tom. That's the way you do it. Tom, Tom you're not winning. <laughs> um, and then Stains is going to come back and do a song for us. Then we'll do the news for you as well. And uh, you can go to Stained.com if you want tour dates. Saturday night, they're going to be at the Claws Fest. Playing for 45, not a half. Oh, sorry, 45, 40, I, at yeah. least. We're 45 playing, minutes? We're playing yeah. in D.C. tonight, actually. Oh, okay. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Hey, I'm Jenny McCarthy, and Howard, thank you so much for grabbing my boobs. It felt so good. The Howard Stern Show. What is he? You're listening. Absurd. To the Howard Stern Show. Right, so I think it's working. I can't hear myself, but you can. I hear you. So, uh, did you give your uh, son's CD to Stained? Yeah, yeah. What's the matter with you? Oh, come on. What, what are you doing? I'm, I'm always looking. To, what did he just do? Something. Scott gave his son's CD to Stained. Oh. I got to promote. <laughs> got to promote. Got to promote. They're a young <laughs> band. They're looking to... Don't, don't accost my guests I didn't with, with your music. I didn't accost. Uh, he's he's nice about it. He was. prodigy. You never know. Yeah. All right. Well, after his performance, surely you're impressed. My son is a lot better than me. <laughs> I hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Who are you, the new Jackie Martling? Yeah. I, you, know, you know, I'm proud of it. And, uh, you know, he I tried just to sell us a coffee mug, too. <laughs> <laughs> you're proud to be the new Jackie Martling? Well, <laughs> well uh, we will have the, uh, the announcement, the big announcement, as to who won the karaoke contest after Stain performs their song. What do you win if you win this contest? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Bragging rights. Bragging. So far, Stained is leaving, leading the vote. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can't vote for them. Uh, I didn't realize, this is so funny, we left Benji completely out of the contest. And I know he was did, pissing did and moaning in the hall. Well, well he was wasn't totally pissing. Moping. He just looked crestfallen. I, you know what? I didn't think of him. No, yes, we did. He was moping and hanging out yeah, in the well, bathroom. And I'll you. tell you what. I wouldn't have had him in it anyway. Yeah, he was because he would have done something goofy. Yeah, that's no, why that's I... not true. I love singing. I think I sing actually really well. No, I have a very pretty voice. No, a very no pretty you don't. Voice. Very pretty voice. Voice. Hey, uh, Slip slide in away. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> yeah. Slip slide in away. Oh. <laughs> yeah. When Simon you know that one. Cowell was in. Yeah. Scott's wife called up and told Scott to give Simon a, <gasps> a copy of his son's CD. Can we put an end to this? I didn't do that. Yeah, I, good. No, I didn't do that. Put an end to this. I, I, I Stop it. it to, I, d I just gave one. You know what? Your son will make it without your help. If he's got talent, he's going to make it. It's true. Stop no, it. I know he's going to make it. I'm just trying to push it along. What do you think? These guys had a dad in the radio business? Well, no, that's, nope. that's an advantage my son has. All right. Don't do that anymore. All right. Leave I'm, these guys I, alone. I apologize. It's all good. Check it out, though. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Since you've already got it. Right. Yes, Marianne from Brooklyn. Howard, Fred was great and professional, but Howard, you know my heart and my vote belongs to you because when you sang, Howard, you were humble, sweet, and you didn't have a cocky ego. Howard, I freaking love you, man. All I need is Howard in my life. She happens to be right. Howard, when I sang my you song. you came off so unbelievable. You're going to win, Howard. There was a humanity behind my right, song. That's right, Howard. No it's ego. Easy. You want to cocky. Howard, I love you. Thank you. You gave it nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a subtle performance. <laughs> That was emotional. I want to see the black people rise up. Oh, That's it what was, I want. It was a good cause. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob. Hey, they kicked ass, man. Well, thank thank, you. You. thank you. you. Well, they did sound In good. In spite of awesome. us, they kicked They are an incredible band. And listen, you guys know any Van Halen? Uh, I uh, know every song. <laughs> you guys know every song. Oh, no, I used, I used, to, used to know to them all. Yeah. Uh, James, you're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, now. How you doing, Howard? Hey, I gotta say, this was it was a great listen to everybody. But you know, it's a real toss up. I'm mean, I'm not a big fan of Bruce Springsteen, but Ari really kicked ass, but I still gotta go with Fred. Fred did really? an incredible Our, job. Fred did a really good job. I say that's where we uh, have the competition. Right. Hey, you know another thing, Howard? Yes. I was on your show last year, two thousand two, and uh I was on because I was a virgin. I am no longer. All right, there you go. That's good. good Congratulations. Congratulations. Big deal. 
found some skank it was to a bang. Big deal it. To him. <laughs> yeah, I too, I too was a virgin before I got on this show. <laughs> we all were virgins before we got on this show. I still am. All right. So, Stained, uh, of course, has uh, 14 Shades of Grey, the single, So Far Away. And they've uh, agreed to do a real song today. That's something that we screw up. Now you'll hear some musicianship. Now we'll, we'll screw hopefully. up. Hopefully. And then I will announce the winner of the big karaoke contest. Woo-hoo. Keep voting. Send your votes to vote at howardstern.com. All right, here's the guys doing So Far Away. guys win. Yeah. You win. Whose song were they doing? <laughs> wow. They that, were good. That's beautiful. What a song that is. Thanks. Oh, God damn good. Good job. I wish I could do that. 
You almost did. Do you guys get sick of doing this stuff? or uh, uh, love no. it. Never. You love it? Absolutely. Like knowing you got to do. Person. Yeah? Yeah. And knowing you got to do Claws Fest, and you, 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 you're not burned out on it? No. It's such a bummer. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you, re- you, you really love it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It seems like so much fun. It is. What the hell I, I think we like have as much fun as you do, though. No, you have more fun than I do. You ain't <laughs> uh, getting up early in the morning. That was beautiful. Thank you. Did that song move you as much I as love, it did me? Uh, please. Yeah. That was beautiful. I love everything they do. But yeah. Yeah, I all especially their, love the slogan. All their stuff is great. Yeah. You going to do that one uh, Saturday night? Yeah. Yeah. Good. For sure. I might get up and jam with you on that one. <laughs> Jump on up. <laughs> that, happens, on. that happens. I'm canceling my gig. <laughs> yes, Scott. Yo, Stan, I've seen you guys at Looney Tunes. You guys continually are awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Man. Thank you. And you guys, or the rest of you guys, please don't ever sing again. <laughs> <All right>. Ever. <laughs> and Stan, you really, you're like my number one favorite band. Lo- remember Looney Tunes playing on I the roof? Lots of, really lots of, that. I tell you, Long Island. you guys know how to do it. It's a very moving song. They're musicians, not like these Madonnas and Britneys. Look at you. All those people that clog up the radio. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, Rob. Piping up that those there. American idols. Yeah. Clay well, Aiken. You know, yeah. None of them write their own songs. Somebody else is writing it. I mean, that's a song. Sing, but somebody else is writing it. You know? Yeah. That's exciting. There's some 50 year old fat guy writing songs for all of these hot pop stars. Actually, that's true. I wrote, oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell me you guys hate uh, the darkness. That's funny. You do? No. Come on, go ahead. It's, it's, not a, it's not a hate thing. It's a, it's a I don't, I don't get, get it. it. You don't get it. I don't get, get it. it. I don't really get it either. I don't yeah, get you know. it. Come on, you don't think the singer has a funny outfit? Come on, I mean. That I get. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, in a gay I'd, bar, I'd I'd I get, get that. It. I'd get it if they were coming that's from cool. like a spinal tap type right. of approach. Or but serious. they're dead serious. Right. They are. Yeah. Uh, so hey, which I just don't get it. Some yeah, they're getting around that we don't like them. I don't uh, know. Some people like it, so you know, let them. They just don't get them. it. I, I just don't get, get it. it. So we don't get a lot of things, so it's okay. John, you're you on. You got the a air. winner? Oh yeah, we're gonna announce the winner in a minute. John, you're on the air. Okay. So far away is about black people rising up. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> I don't know how many people are into you. So yeah. far away. From I get it. It's I get actually that. about where Aaron moved when a black guy moved next to him. Right. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> yes, uh, John. Hey, Howard. I thought your uh, equipment was bad when you guys were all singing, but when I heard stained, obviously, it's not the equipment. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> yeah, I realize keep, that, too. I'm going to keep blaming the equipment. <laughs> That's right. I wish I could belt out a song like that. Like and, these boys. and Artie, I saw you in Buffalo. You were great there. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Yeah, it's always fun to go see Artie drunk. Yeah, it was. He was really drunk. He was well. drunk. You, yeah. you saw the second show. Totally the, hammered. Yes, the, first the, show, show. the first show I'm professional. The second show. No, the first show you're getting drunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could either get drunk with him or watch him completely drunk. All right. Now the results of the karaoke contest. All I right. will predict who I think won. I predict. Who do you predict? What? <laughs> oh, sorry. I predict. Wow, that's a great prediction. What are you waiting for? I was for? almost going to predict Rob. Get out. I'm not kidding. I can see that as the goofy vote. <laughs> There's um, no goofs out there. Now. I'm going to predict Artie wins, even though I think Fred was technically uh, incredible. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, yeah, I think Artie's was the more accessible performance. Right. That intro might have sold it. The intro sold yeah. it. Yeah. I think so. I just want to say I'm the one who told Artie to do the intro. You did. Thank you. Right. Well, he should thank you when he's accepting his award. <laughs> Gary, tell me the results of... The karaoke contest. Well, I'm going to tell you the winner, but then I have some shockers for the losers. Okay. Okay. Really? All right. Okay. The winner was, in fact, Artie Lang with 54% of the vote. 54%. Wow. Right That's not a lot. I thought he'd have a landslide. All right. He deserved it. Wait, second place was gotta Fred, be Fred yeah. with 25% of the vote. That's wow. all? Wow. I'm shocked. Third place was Howard. With 9% of the vote. And I'll tell you why. The kiss-ass vote. Yeah, Howard. that's the kiss-ass exactly. No one has to kiss my ass. I'm going to tell you why it is a kiss <laughs> No, it isn't. I'll tell you why I won. I mean, you didn't win. win. You won third place. Third place. Third place. You, you won third, third place. place. You picked an easy song. You had the bang si- band sing with you and no. back you up after you told them they were wrong for why you sucked. <laughs> yeah. I, that's why I won. I blamed you guys. Well, I screwed it up. So yeah, I mean, thank I you. I'm the one that actually Couldn't could. have been my fault. <laughs> yeah, okay, go ahead. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, in fourth place with 6% of the vote was Robin. Oh. Uh, look, oh. That was good. <laughs> They're right. No. Tied for fifth. With 3% of the vote uh, each was Tom C. and Gary Delabate. Wow. Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> and tied for last place, 
three people got mm. zero votes. <laughs> zero. <laughs> no votes. Go ahead. That would be Casey, Scott the Engineer, and John. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no votes. No <laughs> votes. Zero, zero votes. votes. Yeah. Even John was out there. He goes, geez, I thought my wife would have voted for me. <laughs> no, she voted for um, Artie. She voted for me. <laughs> well, uh, I'm still the head loser. Remember that. Stan, you guys are great. I love when you come yeah, by the show. Yeah, that's what happens. We love to be here. Yeah. I, I can't believe you agreed to back us up. Yeah, that was nice of you. Yeah, thanks, guys. That was fun. We might have a rematch someday. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Would you guys want to do out. a gig with me? <laughs> Stain's album, 14 Shades of Grey, is great. Featuring the current single that you just heard so far away. I'll be playing that for a long time. It's available in stores now. And if you need to get some Stain tour dates, you go to Stained, S-T-A-I-N-D. Not E-D, the way you spell it, Robin. Okay. Stained.com. We've got to take a break. Robin will come back with the news. Thanks, guys. It was always good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we'll be back right after these break. I'm, I'm doing uh, Zeppelin. You're right, Robin. I'm going to win that one. Yeah, you got to have a song that has some Life high eye to it, as right. Artie would say. I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna give you my love. Got a whole lot of love. I got a whole lot of love. I got a whole lot of love. Well, screw the black people. I'm doing Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who cares if they rise up? You gotta win. Blackbird fly. That's not gonna win. <laughs> I could have taken the whole thing. Next time, those guys said they're coming back for another. Uh, They'll do it again. Yes, oh my they loved it. Excuse me while I rehearse. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you dead meat. Come on! <laughs> Are you ready to take you on? <laughs> <laughs> and really, all you have to do to be Robert Plant is stand there with your hands on your hips. Oh, I'm going to do the whole performance <laughs> with a blonde wig. Same blonde wig I used when I was a Hooters girl for Halloween. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I saw you. You were dancing that night. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, does anyone remember laughter? No? Uh, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there, you're a sure bet to win. <laughs> I might do the whole album. Crazy, crazy. Oh, baby, 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 baby. pull out my new favorite ACDC song, TNT. Ooh, <laughs> now you're scaring me. <laughs> lock up your daughters and lock up your wife. <laughs> lock up your back door and run for your life. Uh, I gotta rehearse. <laughs> I want to win the next one. I that, didn't like you winning. That's fun, though. The whole thing is fun. Yeah. Karaoke. Oh, karaoke's great, man. I want to have a party. I remember you said that. Excuse like, me. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. Like a Valentine's Day or something? Yeah. Those are the days of my youth, I remember. And the day. Those are the days of my youth, I remember. I was told to be young. I was told what it means to be a man. I know, I never know the lyrics. Matter what I do, I say the day. I don't worry. I'll rehearse. I'll have it all down. I got the I got the vocal thing down. Right. All you need mm -hmm. is the word. 
Yes. Yeah, none of us rehearsed. You got to know when to come in. And and that's time... why Artie also had it easy. He knew that song backwards and forwards. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, I knew that song backwards and forwards, too, and I still suck. <laughs> but you had <laughs> lyrics in front of you. You weren't performing. Oh, yeah. Of course I did. Did you have the lyrics? Yeah, yeah. I don't know that song. Oh, yeah, TNT! Oi! 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 Oi, Vey! Oi, Vey! Yeah! We should get some uh, rehearsal time with those guys next time. Watch me right into the sunset on your color TV screen. <laughs> After all that I can get, if you know what I mean, a women to the left of me, a women to the right, right, no jobs. All right, <laughs> show off. Sorry, I had a lot of free time as a teenager. Yeah, me too. A lot of beating off, a lot of listening to music. Yes. Hey, oh, hey, oh. That was a good competition. Well, next time I'm going to, I'm not going to concede right away either. Good for you. What are you going to sing? I have to decide that. I have to pick a better song. Hey, you know, we should get a little rehearsal time, too. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, let's have a beat-off contest. I'll win that. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Tom sing Let It Be was actually That was worth funny. It. I was too reserved. I, I, I'm very upset with my performance. And you should be. I told you. All right, all right. The wrong song to go with. Don't pile on. Meanwhile, your song, I don't know if it was the right song either. It was definitely the I, That's what I'm saying. I conceded right away by picking that song. Yeah, you were good, though. You weren't that bad. But that chorus is impossible. I thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> you can't pick a song with a high note like that. Hey, anybody want to hear from Wendy the Retard? She's on her way to a Retard Bowling Championship. Oh, it's uh, the Retard Bowling Championship? <laughs> it's Retarded Bowling! <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey, Wendy. Hi. Um, I was just want to let you know before I go, um, I wanted to tell you goodbye. Where are you going? Um, I'm going up to Taylor to bowl in a big tournament to try and bring home a big trophy. If you win the trophy, will you dedicate it to me? Yes, I will. What will you say if you win? I'll say this trip is going out to my bestest friend, Hal Sternin, that teach me a bunch of cool stuff. No, say your boyfriend. Say your yeah, boyfriend. my boyfriend. <laughs> say your boyfriend who molested you. Okay, I will do that. All right, let me hear what you're going to say. Uh, <clears throat> this trophy is going out to my boyfriend, uh, my rapist, Howard. My rapist. That's good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but but come... make sure you say Howard Stern so they know which Howard, Howard. Stern. <laughs> wow. I'm honored. What a speech. <laughs> so how many retarded people do you have to beat? Uh, we have to be the whole eight person on the te- on another team. Hmm. We so have to go up against the other team. You have eight people on your team? We have nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sure to win then. We got a retarded eight. 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 A retarded eight is nine people. Yeah, exactly. It's like a baker's dozen. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing with a retarded eight. Howard, you know what? Um, I, I have something I want to tell you. I I really do have a crush on you, Howard, and I can't wait to see you on December 11th. Hey, I got to tell you something. That's nice. Yes? I didn't think you were that bad looking. I, didn't, I think you were hot. Hmm. Nice. And you know what? When you were on the Day Women's show, you were sexy in that leather jacket. Hey, is is uh, is there like a retarded ESPN that can cover this thing? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be great? Like a retarded? Isn't that that How's Your News crew? Yeah, get we should cover it. Yeah. Can we send the crew down to cover this? The bowling tournament? Yeah, Casey, get on that. Yo, uh, there was a girl that wanted to make out with Wendy the retard, and I asked her about it, but Wendy doesn't want to do it. Oh, you want to do that? Do you do? Yeah. You're going you're like Madonna and Britney Spears. Yeah. You're gonna make out with a girl? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I would do anything for Howard. See? See, it was just you asking Casey. She said no. Yeah, well, she said no to me, but maybe uh, maybe her mom might have said no. Well, are you coming in here December 11th? Yes. Wait, wait. Ask her where she, where she thinks she's going. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to square dance afterwards. We carry the retard. I mean, we carry. She thinks she's coming to a square dance. A oh. square dance? I thought she said scores. Square dance. Oh, a square dance. Are you coming in December 11th to go to the square dance? Yeah. <laughs> How did you get that impression? We're playing Hollywood Squares. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, that's right. December 11th, I'm going to see you. That's accurate. It's a square dance. It's a square dance. Grab your retard kicker in the shin. Grab your retard do si din <laughs> do si din And how, if you want, if you want me to, um, I'll be happy to uh, come in in the morning and get, make you feel like a genius again. What? I'll, I'll be happy She wants to, to come, come in and make me feel like a genius again. Feel like a genius tower. Wear something sexy. What are you going to wear? Um, I'll go wear a dress. Mini skirt? Yep. No panties? Yeah. Do you know Paris Hilton? No, I do not, Robin. Do you know Britney Spears? Yes, I do, Robin. Well, then do you know how she dresses? Yes, I do. I want you to dress like that for Howard. Yeah. Yeah, wear, okay. a Br- wear a Britney Spears type outfit. Wear a retarded thong. Okay. <laughs> no problem. I'll do that. Hey, Howard. What time is the uh, retarded tournament? It's going to be around either 8.30 between, you know, noon. Hey, roll a retarded strike. 8.30 to At noon. noon? Yeah. How do you know when to... Howard Stern Show. Let me tell you, I'm surrounded by beauty, Robin. Yes, you are. And I don't mean Craig Gass. I'm talking about the beautiful women of Mystique Magazine and Black Tail Magazine. Everybody's now, here. Yes, it's about time we found out who is smarter. I, well, who had this question? <laughs> Benji had it during a writing meeting. <laughs> who is smarter, the girls of Mystique or the girls of Black Tail? Now, Black Tail is uh, exclusively black. Isn't that right, Dynamite? That is correct. Yeah. In other words, only black women appear in the pages mm-hmm. of Black Tail Magazine. And how do you get into Black Tail? Is it difficult? Yeah. What's your story? You're a beautiful woman, obviously. And, and you're uh, smart, and you're willing, and you're ready, and you're able. Mm-hmm. Robin, are you ready? Not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. no. Still working on it. You do are... you send them pictures and stuff like that? Uh-huh. You need to be 18 years old or older. Are you a stripper or something like that? Uh-huh. Or I... a porn star. Were you a porn star? Ooh. Mm-hmm. I do a little movies here. You there. do? Uh-huh. Do you do only uh, black on black uh, porno films, or uh, do you do uh, mixed uh, race stuff? Mix and mixed. girls and girls and domination. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You're into it all. It's like the Lion King. Well, let's meet your uh, <laughs> your let's meet your other friend from Black Tail Magazine. All right. And you girls are certainly excellent representatives of Black Tail. This is the very beautiful Chanel Paris. Yes. Is that right? Did I say your name properly? Yes, Howard. Chanel, that is a beautiful name. And how did you get into the pages of Black Tail Magazine? Well, I got into it um, by looking at one of like a dancing magazine. Right. And I had a. Uh, um, uh, a magazine ad if you want to get into uh, Black Tail Magazine. So I responded to it. Uh, send few... pictures? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You had to send pictures and you had to come down in person and they'll interview you and take a few pictures of you. I wonder what the interview is. Yeah, really. What, what do they ask you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you have the interview? I'm curious. Well, the interview uh, it was <laughs> held downtown Manhattan like in, uh, in Canal Street area. <laughs> yes. Right on the street. Walking down Canal Street. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so you, so you go down to Canal Street, and what do they ask you? I mean, what could they possibly say what, to you? What do they care what you have to say? <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, it's to look at your paperwork and see what you look like in person. Right, because people can lie in a picture. Right, right. Right. And um, ask you, you know, identification and... Oh, basic so questions. Pages. Yeah. Just want to make sure... A lot of basic stuff. Because some women must try to fool the people at Blacktail Magazine yeah. and say, hey, I'm, I'm really 21, but it, it might be 15 or something. <laughs> right, right, right. That can go on. Oh. Yeah. And now they have I to check out if you're really black, too. Yeah, and not only that. <laughs> are there people impersonating black people trying to get <laughs> Yes, there are people. <laughs> like take a shower. Dark-skinned white women try to get into Blacktail. Yeah, Britney Spears yeah. tried to get into Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And basically, um, ask, actually, when I um, went down, I didn't know what magazine it was for. Right. I was hoping it was for, it was for Playboy or something. You right, know? right. So. So um, the thing is, they have to they show you the magazine in person and to see if you want to do it. Were you shocked by the graphic quality yeah. of the magazine? Yeah, Because yeah. they really get up in there with the camera. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I said, oh, no, I'm not doing this. Oh, no. No way. And yeah. then how did they get 
you. They offered her a million dollars. <laughs> they offered me. Um, they said I, don't, I didn't have to do the spread shots. You didn't. I didn't do it. No. Right? Did you? Did you do them, uh, Dynamite? Oh yes. Oh, you did. Still doing it. She's doing it right oh, now. Yeah. We still have it. You still mm -hmm. do the spread shots. Yes. Really, baby. Mm -hmm. Dynamite That's why I'm spread all over it. right now. Dynamite demands <laughs> yes, spreading. She said, "I must." <laughs> we want to see it as all. We want to make you, sure it's real. How do you both, you girls, feel about white men? Uh, are you? Uh, sure. Do you have? Do you have sex with white men? Or is sure, it? Sure, we love it. What yeah, about you, I, Chanel? I have. Uh, my boyfriend's Irish. Oh, he is. Now, who's better, black men or white men? In bed, they both. She's had both at the same time. Well, let's time. meet. Yes. Let's meet the white girls of Mystique. Now, there's a very beautiful lady yeah, over here as well. Ignore the white girls. No. All right, don't, let's not ignore the white girls. I feel you're left out of this. Roxanne, how are you? I'm fine. Good morning. How are you? You look beautiful. Uh, all the girls, you. by the way, are wearing bikinis, and uh, each girl has on a beautiful bikini. Uh, Roxanne, uh, have you... Uh, now, Mystique, I don't know this magazine. Is that primarily white women in that one? Uh, we have all kinds. White, Hispanic. Right. Um, as long as you're beautiful and smart. I see. You have to be smart, smart. to be Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, then you're going to do well, because this yeah. is to see who's smarter. The women of Black Tail or the women of Mystique? We're going to find out. And what's your story? The uh, you, how did you get into the pages of Mystique? Um, actually, I sent in pictures, and then they asked me to be on and take pictures, and here I am. And you don't mind? Uh, do, you, do you spread them? I mean, do you show uh, everything? No, Mystique magazine is actually it's an online magazine right now. It's um, it's not porn. It's, oh, it's not. It's not porn. It's just um, leave immediately. Yeah, it's like <laughs> not porn. <laughs> what are they it's, doing? It's, it's Victoria's that? Secret. It's like Victoria's Secret, but do you show your boobies? Playboy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do show your boobies. No, oh, yeah. But you don't show the uh, Hey Nanu Nanu. The teeter, no. No, you don't. <laughs> No. It's like Cinemax. But how about like Victoria's Secret? <laughs> well, it's like classy, like Victoria's Secret. It's very classy, but it's not quite as racy as Playboy. Do you think you can we beat the black women of Black Tail in the uh, intelligence area? I think area? so. You do? I think so. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting a little vicious. Going down. Howard, yes. She's the one who's been feeling a little under the weather. Oh, you have ammonia. Uh, oh, yeah, ammonia, yeah. How'd you get yeah, that? Yeah. I have Ajax. How did you get ammonia? I don't know. I just, it just came on gradually. And you got walking ammonia, obviously. Right, right. Mm. I feel, yeah, I feel good. I just keep coughing and... Oh, my money's but on the women of Black Tail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you girls got ammonia? <laughs> no. no. We're all very healthy here. Yeah. You're all healthy over there. All right. <laughs> and let me meet the other uh, beautiful woman from uh, Mystique.com, you say. It's, is it Mus Mystique? Mystique Mystique magazine. Magazine. Com. It's not a magazine. Right. Cynthia. Uh, hi, hi, how are you, baby? Oh, awesome. And I'm you excited. look beautiful as well. All Thank you girls you. look beautiful. Uh, are you ready to play the women of Blacktail magazine? I'm ready. I'm ready. You are ready. I'm Where a little, little tired. I'm on L.A. time. It's three hours earlier than New York, so... Now, you don't seem quite white to me. Are you white? You know what, Howard? I have a little mix of all the best, so... Right. You're not a black woman, are you? No. What are I'm you? I have I have a little bit of Irish in me, a little bit of French, Spanish. You're a combo player. Uh, There's nobody yeah. in you right now, though. Let's let's make that clear. All right, <laughs> All right, All right. so uh, here we go. We're going to find out, Robin. How is this game played? Well, here's how it's played. All the women are divided into subcategories, as you know. Mm -hmm. I will ask a question of one of the black women from Black Tail. Are they playing as a team, or are they playing? They're playing each as a as team. Well? They're playing right. as a team, but they cannot consult one another when their question comes up. Mm. If you get a negative answer, you get a negative uh, point. If you get the positive answer, you get a plus point, so you have to answer every question. Mm -hmm. If for some reason you can't answer a question, then we go over to the white women. We'll start with the black women, because black women have been uh, uh, treated poorly. It's time for them poorly. to be first. It's time right. for them to be first on this show. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Black versus white, where we break everything down to race. <laughs> All right, I'll start with Dynamite. Dynamite, are you ready? Uh, I think so. All right, Dynamite. Now, remember, if anyone helps, you are disqualified. Oh. Okay. This is not a porno movie. It's I not. Mean, really? Hey, baby, you're moaning. What's going on? Look at her hands. Take the mic out. So. What are you doing? Dynamite, who is mm -hmm. the vice president of the United States? Shh. Dick. Dick what? Jenny. Oh, All right, that's one right answer. I tell you. These black chicks are right on target with their answers. All right. I am going to go to the white chicks now. <laughs> Roxanne, who has got ammonia. Uh, yes, hi. <laughs> Who's the vice president? <laughs> now, here we go. <laughs> How many senators are from each state? Uh, two. Oh. Oh. We got a race. We got a Mexican. chick. Mm. All right. Well, the score is 1-1, and now we go to Chanel Paris from Blacktail Magazine, which I read, even though I am not black. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
What's what wrong was with the last article you read? In you Black have no I've never read an article in Blacktail <laughs> magazine, uh, but I've read some bios on the girls. Okay. Chanel Perry. Mm hmm. What is the square root of 49? I'm going to say seven. That oh, is right. <laughs> so far, I want to point out, no one has missed a question. So far. The question, we though, to everyone yet. is on Cynthia, <laughs> representing everyone. the white chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're not sure she's white. <laughs> <laughs> what country... Was the Ayatollah Khomeini from? Ayatollah Khomeini. Take your time. Oh. Little butterflies in my stomach here. Oh, I hate to do this. You don't want to let down the white women. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I should have looked at the articles in Mystique magazine that would help me. <laughs> Take a guess. Time is running out. Don't waste time. <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take us in your thought process. <laughs> you look <anxious. laughs> This is the first time uh, someone is missing. This could be a break for the this black women of Blacktail Magazine. Now, what could is race say? riots? All right, you have any guess? What are you leaning towards? Pick a country. Pick a country. Iraq, I Iraq you said? That's wrong. Oh. All right, let's go to the black women. Of it's black tail dynamite, dynamite. You can still hear the white women have gone down to zero. You're up to two. Oh. If you get this one, you can bring you up to score up to three. What country was the Ayatollah Khomeini from? Ooh. Can we talk about something from Africa or something? Interesting. The black tail women want African Africa. questions, yes. claiming that you the know? questions are racist. These are yeah. biased questions. That's the that the white people have an unfair advantage. I don't know. Let me ask my partner. You cannot ask her. You cannot ask her. Um, yeah, don't ask. Do not ask. Can't no ask. I can't fill on our. You want to take a guest? Yes. Question again: What country? Ayatollah Khomeini. Iraq. Iraq, you say? Yes. That is wrong Can again. Can I guess? Can I guess? Not yet. You're uh, your turn. I'm going to the white women now. Someone is very anxious to steal. I'm oh, going okay. now to Roxanne, the very beautiful girl from Mystique. I'm guessing India. Wrong. Oh, that's a negative that's one now. Uh, oh, women of Black Tail, let's go to Chanel Paris. Hungry. Hungry oh. is wrong. Oh, oh, no, no. Let me tell you hungry. the answer. The answer what? is Iran. Oh. Oh. Iran. 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 That's that a tough one. Iran. Iran. Girls, let me tell you the score. Oh. Stevie Wonder song. The, let me tell you the scores. Goodness. Black women from Black Tail Magazine, zero. White women from Mystique, negative one. Ah, so basically, the, what, the black women are still ahead. I almost said Iran. Right. The bl what did you say? I, said, I almost said Iran. It's between Iran and Iraq. And Nobody believes decide. you. Nobody believes you. <laughs> That's no. not the point. Oh, it's easy to say that now. Oh, uh, yes. All right. It's uh, Now it is the women of Black Tail who go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, call on Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What letters... In the alphabet mm -hmm. are vowels. What letters? Yep. Shh. Girls, you might what? be able to steal. Go ahead. A E I O U. That is correct. By the way, Very sometimes good. Y. Is it's w. y. Yeah. But that's not mandatory. You don't have to say no. The girls from Black Tail are up one to negative one. Let's go to the white women of Mystique Magazine. Roxanne, are you ready? Is it Roxanne's turn? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? Oh, excuse me, it's not what. How many inches are in a yard? Uh, 12 inches. Oh, in a yard. That's a foot. Um, 36. 36 is correct. That is That's the correct, correct answer. Right. Got wrong. All right. Almost. I did. All right, I'm going to go now to Chanel Perry, representing the black women of Blacktail Magazine. Okay. <laughs> Chanel Perry, here we go. In weight, what weighs more? A pound of crack cocaine or a pound of rock cocaine? <laughs> mm. Let her think, please. This is a tough question. <laughs> yes, it is a hard one. Now and I wish I smoked crack. Mm. Maybe I know the answer. <laughs> what weighs we more, a pound of crack cocaine or a pound of rock cocaine? Listen carefully. Uh, right? we, do know, we know the answer. That's hard. What do you think? I want to. I'm going to say the um, the powder form. So, what form is that? I can't help you with the answer. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to. Rock cocaine or crack cocaine? Oh, okay. Rock Okay. You got a choice here. Rock or crack? A pound. Crack yeah, cocaine. right. Um, can I say it's equal? Yes, you can. 
I will say it's equal. You're absolutely right. They both yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Trick question. Very good I trick thought question. she was going right. to miss that one. I thought you were done for. Uh-huh. I thought you were going to go with the rock cocaine. Uh, hard rock. <laughs> All right. Yes. Dynamite, calm down. How uh-huh. many inches are in dynamite? Okay, let's go now because the, the match is very close. We go to what the white the women. The score is the black women have two, the white women have zero. Oh, white women. Come on. Come on, white women. Come on, white people. Come on, white people. Wake up. Wake up. Cynthia, who is almost white. Are you ready? I'm ready, Howard. Okay. Do you do anal, by the way? <laughs> That's to your imagination. That's a yes. Really? Right. Who is credited... With inventing the telephone. That is uh, Graham Bell. That's right, Alexander oh, Graham Bell. That's fine. Yeah. I'll accept that. Hey. That's good. Go okay. white girls. Yeah. Well, these girls are a little too bright. I'm going back, Howard. Are coming back. All you right. Back. Well, let's see. We have uh, two more questions. Good. Let's go to our black women. Whose turn is it? Everybody loves black women, especially black women who get naked in magazines. Mm-hmm. I believe it's Dynamite's turn. I think uh, right. Dynamite. Who yes. is the Secretary of State? Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, and I just read the paper. I like the noise. She just, just, just read the paper. Read the when, paper. when did you read the paper? Mm-hmm. I'm on my way over here. Keep it real. Uh, Comics so okay. Uh, and I can't ask my partner. Cannot ask your partner. Nope. Secretary uh, You have to look state. within. Ah, uh, within myself? Yes, within your soul. Uh, I said your soul. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I give up. I don't know. Take a guess quickly. Ooh, Time is running out. You're going to yeah. cost the black uh, women a point. No, uh, no, the black women just to. lost a point. And now we uh, go to Roxanne. Roxanne, who is the Secretary of State? Powell. Powell. Colin uh, Powell. Uh-oh. A black a man. man. So the white that? women are surging forward. The white women uh-uh. have just taken the lead. Two Man. to one. Wow. And that's now a point. final question, uh-uh. which will determine everything. Oh, oh, no. The pressure is really on Chanel Paris, Uh-oh. who can be oh, seen God. in the pages of Blacktail Magazine. That's correct. All right. The, pre- the preeminent black porno magazine. Is it? Yeah, I think so. It's the only one I know of. <laughs> are there other black uh, magazines? All this mini Howard. What are their names? There are? No, yeah. but we're just interested Isn't in the black a, tail. <laughs> hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Uh, That's the... Uh, chocolate singles is one. Hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Hot chocolate. Tutorial, really? Um, brown sugar. Black beauties. Um, black beauties. Really? Big black butts. Um, big black... <laughs> big black butts, I think I've seen. Uh-huh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, this is not. That's a system magazine of oh. black tail. All right, here we go. <laughs> what about big brown eye? What's that? One? I know. <laughs> big boobs. What is the next question? I can't. No. All right, here we go. <laughs> Chanel, it's on you. Chanel Paris, it's on you. Good and here God. we go. It's a spelling question. Okay. <laughs> Spell the word imbecile. Oh, boy. Okay, like an idiot? You mean like. Yes, like okay. an idiot. Right. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to the other uses. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Give me your best shot. Imbecile. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Okay. E-M. Go ahead. B. E-M-B. Uh-huh. Are you done? Uh, no. Okay. E-M-B. <laughs> um, I hear whispering. Uh, a? Go ahead. E M B A. Hey, no cheating over there. Don't cheat or else I'll She's disqualify smoking. everybody. And then you'll be disgraced for the rest of your life. <laughs> your family will stop talking to you. E M B A. Doesn't that doesn't sound right so far. Go okay. Ahead. Take it through. Okay. E M B I S I L E. I'm sorry. Uh, I am be wrong. <laughs> Imbecile was spelled wrong, but I'm going to now go over to Roxanne, who can steal is it, right is now. Is it my turn? Yes. No, it's Cynthia's, because Roxanne has to... Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Ah. You're Forgive me, Roxanne. <laughs> Why are you following this, Roxanne? Thanks, Roxanne. <laughs> You're welcome, dear. Oh, Imbecile. You can get it. Give, me, it. give, give your best shot. Imbecile. Trying to think if it's E-M or I-M. Okay. I sound it out usually. That's what I do. Think windowsill. 
Hey, what is Don't that? Don't take any. What are you trying to help? Oh, because oh, your wife. Please, please. That's wrong. You're disqualified. It's a bonkers. You're going to ruin that. We'll have to say, say imbecile. 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 How do you say it? Imbecile. Imbecile. You're an imbecile. Okay. I'll use it in a sentence. Imbecile. Vinny, you're an imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> imbecile. Okay. I am. I am B. A. B. A. S. S. Is that two S's? Yes, two, two S's. S's. I'm following her. I am B. A. S. S. You got nice boobs. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she gets it. E. L. No, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, so, what is the score now? Well, white women have one. The black women have zero. Oh, no. But this is a great opportunity for uh, dynamite. Uh-uh. Come on, dynamite. <laughs> Why don't we think of something hornier? A horny name. Oh, I can spell that. No, this was that. an intelligence uh, Bukaki. Spell Bukaki. Bukaki? Okay. Bukaki, no, no, no. Please, no Vinny. You've got to quiet down. you got to. So, we're back on imbecile. Right. Yeah. right. E-M... M B B U S O S O I L. That's not going to do it. Mm. Black girls have a, they're getting killed on the spelling. The only person left <laughs> is, 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 is Roxanne. Hi. Roxanne, give it a shot. You've been very, very lucky today, Roxanne, with all of your answers. All right, let's try. Uh, I M B A S I L A. You were close, but not right. Let me give you yes. the spelling, girls. I M B E C I L E. Oh, well, girls, have points for being close. Oh, let me I tell am. you, let me I give am. you the final score. The white women have zero, <laughs> but bad news for the girls of black tail. Oh, to start over. They have negative one. Well, oh, but we had more at first. Yeah, you were out in front first, but you then were. you fell behind. Wow. So it's, hard to, it's hard to say who really won. Yeah. <laughs> well, why don't we there do another no contest? I think we learned one thing. All the races are in trouble. <laughs> there you go. I think that's what we learned from this. The girls of Blacktail Magazine, we, of course... Uh, Our education system is failing. It's <laughs> Dynamite. So far. Dynamite and Chanel, I don't think you made a bad showing here. I think oh, you did no. pretty good. I think the uh, spelling you. got you in trouble. Chanel Paris, Dynamite, and Blacktail Magazine, and BlacktailMag.com. You You've go. been a fine representation of black porno women all over this world. Hey. And you should be now, proud did of Chanel yourself. do movies Thank too? You. We did not find that out. <coughs> Chanel will be doing a movie with me later. Mm. <laughs> I made right. some of that brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that chocolate thunder. <laughs> Have you done a couple of pornos? No. Not yet? Mm -mm. Nope. Not going to do it? Nope. Mm. She doesn't spread. She Are won't. you a dancer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Where do you dance? Um, I actually travel a lot. I'm working on my website most of the time. I really don't dance as much right now. I'm concentrating, concentrating on my website right now. What's the? Have any of you girls ever accepted uh, money from men for uh, sex? Of course not. No. Mm. No? Mm -mm. No. No. I don't believe any of you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's your story. I'll stick with it, too. You know what, Howard? You said something earlier today that I think is apropos here. With this kind of talent around, why is Regis a millionaire? <laughs> I'd rather see you girls being millionaires. All right, thank I you. I also want to thank the white girls of Mystique Magazine. That's M-Y-S-T-I-Q-U-E magazine.com. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Howard. Uh, had a great time. Thank, thank you. Thank the you. Beautiful, we had fun. We had fun. The beautiful Roxanne. And uh, Roxanne, you, you. can we see you stripping anywhere? No. At, at my own personal house, I strip. Really? For, for your my, boyfriend for or, or your mirror. husband? No, no, just for myself in the mirror for fun. You do any lesbo no, stuff? Um, actually, I'm on the cover, not lesbo, but I'm on the cover with uh, my girlfriend Amy Miller right now. We're on the cover of Mystique Magazine. Together. Oh, I, and, and she's your girlfriend? She, yes. You she's enjoy, my friend. That's a girl. But uh -huh. you enjoy sex with her? Yeah, she's pretty. <laughs> so you're primarily attracted to women? No, I like men. I see. I love see, men. I'm not clear. Are you having sex with the girl on the cover? No, no, no. We're just posing together. I see. Yeah. I see. But and, I love men. And uh, Cynthia, I want to thank you. Do you do women as well? Oh, no. I like men. You That's do. It. Men, You're men, men. Men. Well, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> we learned nothing, Where Robin. Do you get, <laughs> I, I don't think we have an answer to the question. Where do you get Blacktail? I've never seen that. At, uh, Where do I buy <laughs> Blacktail <laughs> magazine? On your newsstand. It Which is on the newsstand? <laughs> Every one of them right here on 57th Street. They have Blacktail? Yes, they do. And if they don't, I have it right here. I think it's on 125th Street is where you get that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's worldwide. Nationwide. Also in the village, you can find it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. All over in Canada. All right, baby. Okay. Take it okay. easy. Nobody's yes. looking to fight. It just know. was. I thought it was <laughs> funny. We're just looking to make some love. That's all. That's when all. Gary said he didn't know where to find Blacktail, that's all. <laughs> well, you got a lot of it right there. You got a lot of Blacktail sitting right here. Yes. I'll tell all you that. Over. It's a great name for a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Who is uh, some of your more prominent subscribers? Is Spike Lee a subscriber to Blacktail? 
He should be if he's not. He certainly should. All right. Colin Powell? <laughs> Colin Powell? All right. All right. Huggy Bear? <laughs> mm-hmm. How about you? I notice a black tail, though. I read it. I do. They don't airbrush the girls, do they? No. No. You real. see every blemish. I see a lot no of pimples on girls' this. asses and stuff. Because <laughs> well, it's for real. They it's don't for real. I like that. Into- I got to tell you, I like mm-hmm. it. I think I saw one girl, I swear it was a gunshot wound. <laughs> oh, come on. So what? But that's for real. Put it up there. Yeah. Let me take a look at what I'm getting. Hey. It's Don't airbrush. like the real thing, baby. You bet. Honey, you are a wildfire over oh, there. Oh, that's why it's dynamite. Oh, you are dynamite. Pow. Blow us up. Check out the magazine. All right, baby. You and our yeah. website. And uh, the girls of Mystique, you're hot chicks, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Nothing you, wrong with hot you. chicks. I don't care what you know. you got to check out my, the Mystique website also. There's a lot of beautiful women. Yes, baby. What kind of posing do you do? Do you, do you show your uh, beef? I do very classy posing. Oh, I bet you do. You gotta check it out, Howard. We also have What's a magazine. Classic? I think the white chick should kiss the black chick. <laughs> Come on. Uh, and and dynamite. I heard you can shoot eggs out of your crotch. Is that right? Yeah, I can shoot it all the way over there to you. No way. You got an egg? How did you get in there? <laughs> you put it in there, and you do. She's like a control. chicken. <laughs> Is it true that you can do that? Sure. You don't have an egg here, do you? Uh, <laughs> I could lay one in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Vinny's like a hen. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the next time we have you back here, you're going to have to do that for us. Sure. If you want your studio all messed up, why I not? don't care. All right. I don't have to baseball. clean it. I'm a big star. Oh, I don't wait, have to Casey, clean it. Wait, Casey, you have an egg? Casey, you got an egg? Yo, Howard, I don't got an egg, but I got a container of white out. Yeah. That work? Oh, Can you shoot out. that? Yeah, shoot that. No, that's, oh, no, that's, oh, that's gross. Around. Hey, Howard, uh, uh, I got an apple. You got a silly putty egg? <laughs> what? I think what happens well, is guys, like, if guys hold like a wiffle ball bat, right. and then and then she shoots and they hit. It's like a it's like a she's it's like, like a, a ball machine. Yeah, a ball mm-hmm. machine. It's a um, it's a big thing of bachelor parties. I've heard about this. Yes. Mm-hmm. No kid, what do you charge for that? As much as I can get. What do you charge for a bachelor party? Let's start at like three fifty and up. Three fifty. What do you got there? A munchkin donut? For... No, but then we do <laughs> other. Ch- can you shoot out one of these? You got a munchkin donut, and Tom C. might have a golf ball. Maybe we can do that. A golf uh, ball? No, golf ball. I hurt someone. You I did. I gotta see that. Well, why don't we use your balls? How about right. that? You got it, we baby. We shoot them out. What do you got there, Ganji? Ganji got I've something. I've never seen the crew work so quickly. <laughs> Ganji, what do you got there? I have a big rubber band ball. Oh, that's, does that help you out, baby? No, we need eggs. Is, eggs. It, uh, is, it, is, is it hard-boiled eggs? Or, or I hope no, someone's getting it's eggs not right hard now. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, a regular. Yeah. So when you hit it, it splatters all over the place. Well, let me tell you something. The next time you're here, I'm going to get you to do this. Where do they hold these by. bachelor parties? Man. Anybody else shoot anything else out? No? No. All right. Yeah, all right, we're going to take a break. And we'll be back right after these words. We'll do some news for you. Hi, this is Gary Delabate, the producer for The Howard Stern Show. I'm Howard's right-hand man. I set up every aspect of the show, such as booking guests, sorting through materials, and keeping the show on track. But my true love is making sappy, estrogen-filled home videos to girls that won't return my calls. And I don't know how else to say it. I, 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 lost, I lost my lover... And I lost my best friend, and you lost your lover, and you lost your best friend. Okay, so th- that part's pretty even, but you gained a lover, and you gained a best friend. I gained a couple of lovers, or I gained one lover, but I gained no friends. I have no... I, I take true pride in all my blubbering and boohooing. There's nobody there th- to come home to, to call, to tell all the great stuff, and, and like right now, my life is like at a nine, and my personal life is at like a two. You know, and it's been so hard up until that point. I always thought that my, like, you know, that they were kind of even. Like, I wasn't really happy professionally. You know, I didn't really have everything I wanted personally. Now I have, I really feel great about what's the way work is going. But, and, and of course, my curse on that is to have no one to share it with. So, in a lot of ways, it sucks. So, if you have ever lost your best friend and your lover, or you feel like you would like your personal life to raise from a two to a nine, or if you would like tips on removing every ounce of testosterone from your body, please keep listening. I'll be waiting with a skirt on. Thank you. Chuck, you're on the air. What's up, Howard? Hey, Chuck. First thing I'd like to say is, Baba Booey, you got to be the biggest dummy I've ever met in my life to buy him a present like that. What happened? Your teeth getting away of your brain? Now, this, his intentions were good. It's just he didn't put much thought into it. But yeah, I know, right. but obviously he did that. I mean, who wants nose trimmers for Christmas? I your grandmother know. gets you something like that. I know, I know. And first thing I'd like to say, Howard, how come you got all this money, but you can't get none? Can't get chicks. You can't get chicks. Why? 
He doesn't apply himself. That's it. I, I, I'm an underachiever. Maybe it's my odd looks. <laughs> no, and one more I thing. I'd like to say apply. F Jackie. You what, Robin? I think you don't apply yourself. That's it. Very Robin, hard. Howard, you got all those strippers in there, and you don't get any. He I could know. have any one of them. I, I could. could get them. I'm like Ganji. I don't know what to say. Yeah, care. but I do. I want him to come in there and teach you a few things. No. Come on, Howard. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my own. Hey, Howard, one more thing. I can do your job easily better than you can. Good. You know why? Why? Because you're a moron. <laughs> well, sir, being a moron in this business helps. So. Hey, and I'm going to be in Vegas the, with the time you are. Good. Where are you staying? You're not coming. You called me a moron. I don't I'm like you. I'm coming. Hey, honestly, F I can you. do your show. I know you could. Honestly. I, there's enough people doing it. I don't see why there can't be one more. You're going to have me on? No. Why? I don't like it. Because you're afraid I'll take your job? Exactly. And F. Jackie? Right. And Big Teeth Baba Booey? Right. The only cool one's Robin. All right. Thank you. I'd banger. <laughs> oh, he is annoying. He probably could do the show. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Beth, you're on the air. Hi. I just want to say, Chuck, you're a loser. And I don't even think you could even get a chance to take Howard's job. Like, like uh, I mean... Who do you think you are phoning up? If you have a problem with him, what are you doing trying to phone him for then? Right. Don't you think? There you go, Beth. Like, what's his problem? How old like, are you? I mean, you're God. You're God to us. My husband and I love you. Yes. You're the best. If it wasn't for you, the things you do for us, like I'm Canadian. Right. Okay? Yes. And my husband and I have been dying to get your E channel because we have a satellite just yes. to watch you. Yes. And I want to say something to you, Chuck. You're the prick, man. You're an idiot. Who do you think you are phoning up Howard? Like, and you could take his job, you wouldn't last a second. You know how much stressful he has to put up with with people like you phoning and saying ignorant comments? And then you say ignorant stuff about Robin. She couldn't be banger. good looking, could she? Like, no. no. She's uneducated. She's got to be you? really gross. Hello? Yes, I agree. No, don't you agree? Yes, thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you for the call. I, think, I, I just, like, I know I'm, I don't have much time to talk to you. And I, it, oh. I, it's, you know how long it's been for me? Imagine you're married to this. I want to hold you and you want to let go and hang up on me. You know she's annoying. I want to get your channel. I want to know what channel that so we can watch it. Every sentence ends up too. It's like what? Let's break balls. Sorry. Which channel on the satellite? Oh, I like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what? What? Right. What are you saying, Jackie? For your Tell you going to Canada or something? Arrange a date. Like we watch your show every Saturday night. Toronto or something. Right. But your E channel is what I'm talking about. Tell her what. You'll meet her at the CN Tower. Hello? By the way, we are coming to Canada. You are coming to Canada? Yes, we'll be in your area. No way. And I like your sound of your voice. I'd love to meet with you. Would you? And your husband. Would you? Yes, I would. It's the second week in February. Really? And My I... birthday is February 26th. Well, I will you have... Know who I'd like to meet with? Chuck. Well, I'll have a private meeting with you and your husband, and I'm going to pick five other listeners. Okay. And we will have a private meeting. Okay, and I just want to say your, your sense of humor... You're so hilarious, Howard. You're hilarious. We watched your movie. You know that it's goof went nowhere. <laughs> she, she's she's off on her yeah. jet. You got another goof? <laughs> you know what? Do the thing you're you want to be her Chuck. friend and give her like the for a prize if she <laughs> jumps like the buses. All right, I'll give her Jackie's number. <laughs> and I'm being serious. I'm not saying it to suck up to you, Howard. It's the truth. Well, let me say something to you, and, and I mean this with all sincerity. I hope you can see that. Okay. I'm somebody who's been famous now for 20 years. That's right. And I'll tell you something. I don't even know how old you are. I don't even care. I'm 30. All right. I'll, I'll tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I have made very few friends in my life, and I'll tell you why. Because it's hard to know when people are sincere or they just want you for your fame. That's right. And you, and maybe I'm crazy here. No, you're not but crazy. But you are one of those people that I feel has a sincere voice and a sincere manner. Yes, I and do. I and I really do feel I could be friends with you. I, I don't mean forget all the radio stuff, forget all the the, the hype. I'm talking about I could be friends with you because you understand me. I understand you 100. percent You know what? You put up with so much crap. You're, you're all right. Now she's buying it. How well you deal <laughs> she with, with that easy. If it wasn't for you, look what you. All right. Now I'll move into the friend thing. I'll give her Jackie's phone you're number to call. So much for us, and, and you get people mm. like that calling you up. I mean, Casey. What is it? Nine two two nine four zero eight five one six area code. I mean, your, right. your employees are great. You're awesome. You put up with so much crap, this Howard. And I'm, I'm just telling you again. I'm being sincere. I'm telling you right now. You're God, man. You are God. Now, let you're me put best. her away now. You do a lot. You've got a lot of experience. You hey, listen. I'm, uh, I'm hearing what you're saying, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I do hear it. You know what I mean? I, I listen to you, and I hear what you're saying. And, I, you and, and I'll tell you something. I want you're, nothing from you, though. I don't want implants. 
I, that's I, the I, point. I you haven't no asked job. me. That's the point. You haven't asked me for one goddamn thing. I don't I want so, nothing from you. I, I want to meet you so I can shake your hand and say, you know what? I'll tell you You're the, the truth. Best, I don't know if this will go anywhere, but I would love to be your friend. If you want to, do you want to speak off the air to me? Sure. All right. I'll give you a number. I'll say it once, and then I'll bleep it off the air so no one else gets it. Okay, what's the number? Do you have a pen? Yeah. All right. 516. Yeah. 922. 922. 9408. Don't repeat it. No, no I won't. So you want, do you want to meet with me and my husband? Well, I'd like to speak to you on the phone privately and see okay. if we can have a friendship. Okay, that'd be great. And you know what? You're a giver. I want and you know what? You know what? You. You're a giver. You know what? I've been a giver all my life, just like you, Howard. Yeah, you're you vulnerable, and that's I appreciate that quality in you. And I'm being sincere. And you know what? Like I told you, my husband, I worship you. Not because you have money. I didn't. I, I'll tell you, honest to God, truth. If you were someone on the street... That means she worships me because I have money. money. Yeah. When she goes, I, okay, I don't I worship you. Yeah. Giver. You do so much for people, oh, man. okay? You do anything. You'll do anything for yeah. anybody. And I'm being sincere. Let me find out what time she's okay, going to call. you're a good person. And, and then oh, you, you are so sweet. You are so you know sweet. I uh, Believe you know me, I'd, is, I'd love to buy you a car. You know what, Howard? You know what it is? Hey, hey honey, let me... What I'm time are you... of you. Give me a... What time are you going to call? I'm going to call you right back as soon as you're done. Uh, Yeah, wait till the show is off the air. Oh, okay. What time's it off the air? 11? Because Robin has to do her news, right? Yeah. yeah. Did, did oh, I give her oh, the right Robin number? There? Did you? I don't know. Oh, my I gosh. I'm sorry, it. Robin. I didn't even know that you... <laughs> did, is, did I give her the right number? Yeah. It was the right number? Uh, I got... You five, sure it's one, not six? six, six eight, eight. I, I think it's... Is, is that... It's five, wait, 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 wait. No, no. It's it's 516... Yeah. 922... Yeah. 940... No, 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 no. Don't say it. No, no, no. Can someone give me the right number Sorry, for this woman? <laughs> Jackie, what? <laughs> no, no, they, 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 I, all roads lead to Rome. Oh, I see. <laughs> I got to get this woman the right number. I don't want to lose her. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 9468. No. No? No, no, that's, no. Not okay. that's not it. No. That's not it. All right, please. Don't please don't you give up. You want my number, number, Howard? Stop helping, John. No. All right. <laughs> get out, John. Don't give, give me, me your out. number. Call me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, only because I don't want it to... Leak out. Right. Oh, okay, Howard. That's no problem. Read me back the number you have. 516. Go ahead, quickly. 922-9408. Okay. Thank Is you. Is that it? Yes. Are Thank you sure? You. Yes. And right after the show. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just you. want to say I love you all. And you know what, Howard? Love you too. <laughs> I love you, buddy. You're God, man. Thank you. You know what? Thank you. I hope that Chuck... You know what it is? People are so envious of you. Right. Because you don't yeah, take I, their crap. Yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Kim, are you listening? What? what? Hello? Yes. What the hell is she on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I on? Yeah, what are you What am on? I on? What yeah. am I on? What is it? What's your problem? Why? Why? Because I'm sincere and you're not? Why? Because you're a groupie? Because you want something from him? Is that why you're phoning him? You're... I'm phoning him because I worship him. Because he's... Like, he's like, God. why? Like, he's like, God, why? Lady. He's God. You're only oh, phoning because wow. you want something from him. Far are you out. Jealous? Funky, oh, or Al Funky. You jealous? Eh? Of what? Are you jealous? You know you are... Is that what it is? Because I talked Back to Howard me. Stern, man. <gasps> Howard Stern. Wow. You and are you wet? Did you wet yourself? <laughs> it's like, what education do you have? Are you ignorant or what? Well, pardon me. Oh, Where like, are you from, I, man? like, what are you like, from? like, what are you God. From the like, I, like, really? Yeah. Two idiots. Uh, excuse me. I'm not yeah. W E T. Excuse what? me? Yeah. Two idiots. I'm very sexually Trump. attracted to Howard. I think he's uh, he's an excellent man, and he does a lot for us. And you know what? I think you're ignorant, you're uneducated. Oh. And who do you think you are talking to me like that? Like, who are you? You're retarded. You, I'm retarded? You, you know what? You sound like the biggest what kind of education you have you that from? ever lived. Where are you from? Where are you from? Eh? Wow. Where are you from? Why? Where, where are you from? Not, what you, not, not you the actually stupid ass state you live I'm retarded, in. but you're the one saying that I'm W-E-T, and I'm sexually, I, I, I'm trying to get sex from him. I don't want sex from Howard. Howard can get sex from whoever he wants, but you know what? He's a man. You know what? And he doesn't what? want what? it. He doesn't want people like you, because you're garbage. Okay? Oh, he, oh my God. And you know what? Like, really? You know what? Like, really? Like, like really? really? You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Tell you know why you're on the me. air? Because you want to suck up to him to, to take his money. Why, he yeah, has you're right. I do money. want his money. He works hard for his money, and he has to go and give it to you so you can look better for yourself. Just because you're insecure, sweetheart, don't take it Why am I so entertained by okay? Honey, I got big, beautiful breasts. I don't need anything oh, really? from Howard. Well, I'm a 34D, and they're natural, sweetheart. So there you go. 
What'd you do? Get the implant? What do you need? What do you need from Howard? What are you phoning him for then? What do you want Howard for? I think so. So you can suck up to him, pretend you don't like him, be phony? Honey, he, I think he, she hung up that broad. Yeah, you put yeah? her in her yeah. Boy, I Why tell you, hang up? I'm loving you. Why is she hanging up? Why? Because she's afraid why of you. She wanted to suck up to you. That's exactly. Why. Wanted what the are money. You? What are you, a money? You're not the bank. She you're wants the money. She's an uneducated pig. She wants the money. Like that? The money. Yeah, she wants your money. Right. You know what? Yeah. I'm sorry, Howard, that I lost my temper and I apologize, but I think she's an uneducated person. To speak like that on of the course. air like that and disrespect you like that? Of course. Listen, okay. call me later, will you, with that number? Okay. Thank you. Do, like, do, do I sound retarded? Retarded? You sound brilliant. I, I'm brilliant? Yes. You know what? I You're love you, You're my best you, friend. I love you. Know you what? And I'll tell you something. I'll put my hand on a Bible, and I'll sign a declaration and say, I don't want nothing from you. I did not call you, okay? <laughs> and, I'm, and I don't know if she's listening to me. She's a dirty person. This means she wants like something that. from me. She, she keeps saying over and over again yeah. she doesn't yeah, want nothing. She, wanted something. she yeah. keeps bringing, she keeps bringing talking up. to you. You know what I mean? She's insane. Sure, you're a beautiful man. You're handsome. But you oh, know what? God. I'm not sex. I don't want sex from you. That means she I wants want sex you. from me. I, I don't want. I, she you know do what I'm anything? saying? She wants Why sex and she wants money. Like what do you think her problem is? What do, what, do, what do I think her problem is? Yeah, what do you think? She's jealous of you. She's jealous, yeah, because I'm talking to Howard, man. Of course. Honey, call me later, please. Let's Let's hook up. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. I like you because you don't want anything. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words. Well, you know, you talk about Howard Stern. Howard Stern. You think it can be stopped? Ah, Howard Stern Show! Hey, Johnny. Hey. You're an actor, right? Uh, I was at a certain point. Johnny Depp, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he can help you out. J.D., would you, uh, you know when these celebrities get up and they read stuff, uh, like at a, an awards thing? You know, you don't know about tribute thing. For the World Trade Center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you think they sometimes look a little... False? False. Retarded. <laughs> yeah, a little retarded. Well, no, you know, it, it, the problem is the, uh, the teleprompter that's about 300 yards away. Is that it? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Why can't you just bring <laughs> papers problem. up with you? Everybody knows you're reading anyway. Yeah, but I don't want to bring a paper up because I can't read from paper and then look up at the camera. <laughs> you can't do that newscaster thing? And, and listen, I'm all for helping out. I'll help out anyone. We raised three and a half million dollars. I'm all for helping out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yo, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, but I, I just think I'd get in the way. I'd like to so go see the concert. you're not going to go? I don't know. I can't decide what to do. I want to know what I'm supposed to read. Just go hang out. Well, if you ever talk to anybody, you might find Because I want to get up and read something like, uh, I think we should kill Osama bin Laden. You know, something like this, something radical. Yeah. Well, you'd be the only one doing that, that's for sure. What? Johnny, where do you stand on all this? Why do you have to read? Why couldn't you just say whatever you felt like saying? Because I don't feel anything. No, because, because the stuff that I say, they throw me right out. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't want to be everybody's buffoon. I don't want to be the guy that gets up there and then they go, oh, it's disgusting, and they You'll throw me like up. You'll be Gilbert Godfrey at the Emmys that one year. Yeah, I, I just know whatever I say will be misconstrued. Like, I once did a telethon. The only thing I can think of like this, I once did a telethon early on in my career. Easter Seals. Easter Seals. And I got up there, and I got in the wheelchair, and I started rolling myself around in it, and I go, hey, this thing's pretty comfortable. I like it. And I was like, I, I thought I was being cute. That's cute. They threw me right out. <laughs> He, he really true. said he got in the wheelchair. Here's a but it's about crippled children. He got in the wheelchair. Said, this isn't so bad. I go. I'm sick of walking around all did the you time. Really think critics would go. Oh, Howard did a cute thing. <laughs> I, don't, I just put, I just end up screwing it up. You know what I mean? And it's a serious cause. I mean, I'm all for raising money. For the, everyone knows that. I mean, God knows I'm as angry as anybody. But and one would think you could forget yourself for a moment. Yeah, please. What would you do, Johnny? Are you going to do any of these? Uh, I'm not going to be here, you know. I, I've uh... You've abandoned the country. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You live in France. I abandoned the country three years ago. <laughs> Don't the French hate Americans, though, Johnny? Uh, no, I mean, to be specific, Parisians have a slight problem with Americans every now and again. But, but I, mean, I understand. Aren't they French? At this point, Parisians have been walking around with uh, I Love New York t-shirts on. Oh, well, yeah, right. Yeah. They yeah. have. It's a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, don't buy it. <laughs> you don't believe it. As soon us. as we ask them to, if we can fly over to airspace, they no. get pissed. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's your take on all this? On, on everything that's happened? Yeah. Yeah, who, who do you want to kill? I mean, it's just it's the weirdest thing in the world. It's the, it's the most devastating atrocious thing ever. It's um, the worst. I, I, I mean, because you strike me as like one of those pacifist dudes. I don't know why. Here's what I... 
listen, I, I wouldn't say I'm a pacifist, but I, but what I think what I think they should do immediately, if not sooner, is is uh, create about 300 million gallons of liquid LSD, 25, and saturate Afghanistan at this point. <laughs> right, now, would do it with LSD. Now, what would that accomplish? Well, at that point, because even, I mean, a, a liquid LSD, it, it, you know, as small, as tiny as a pinhead. Yeah, I've done it, so. So that would send you spinning for about two days, minimum. <laughs> like a glass of it would spin you out for about three weeks. So so that could just calm the situation for a minute. And then you could send, like, people dressed like, like the Teletubbies. <laughs> and freak them out. <laughs> and just do anything you want. You don't make faces at them, whatever. No. No you know what? He works with Tim Burton. <laughs> you know what? That's not crazy, though. What about, okay, if everyone. You know, I, got a, I have a feeling the Rumsfeld has thought of that. <laughs> See, I don't think you're kidding. I, I think what you're saying is taint the water with LSD, let's say, over the way they're going to do biological stuff on us. That way, you're not killing anyone who's, let's say, civilian. Exactly. And then you walk in there, and all the goofy dudes, you just freak them out and grab them. They're just tripping. Snatch them up. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. T giving everyone acid? That. What's that? Giving everyone an answer to open them up a little bit. You know, but then the government has this whole drug policy. Well, hey, this <laughs> Sounds is war. Sounds hypocritical. <laughs> Why don't we just tell them we're God when they're on acid? <laughs> and then they'll understand everything. Yeah. Or just, you know, like, yeah, project some weird film or something for them. I can't see you living in France. You see, here's a guy. What, why did he leave? See, he. Ha why did you leave America? I actually, initially I left America to, to go and do a film and then, you know, fell in love, had a baby and... That was it. You married now? No. No. Well, not officially. <laughs> you don't believe in marriage, right? No, it's not. A, I mean, it's a bad. It's not a bad thing. I think I, you know, I'd wait until my daughter was old enough to sort of participate. <laughs> yeah. Walk marriage. you down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now your problem is this: you're so friggin' good looking. I don't know a girl. Who, I like. You know, <laughs> Remember poor Kate Moss? She almost did herself in when he left. Yeah, I mean, no girl has ever <laughs> tried to kill herself over me. <laughs> You know that. I can't even get girls... And here's one of the most beautiful girls in the world. <laughs> yeah. And she can't live without him. I know you don't want to see anyone kill you themselves over you, but you got to feel good on some level <laughs> when chicks are ready to kill themselves uh, over you. I would love that. <laughs> I mean, God almighty. Who is There's that? no way you could ever be married because you just have too many opportunities. <laughs> and you owe it to the women. Yeah. <laughs> Although, i got to tell you, I interviewed Paul McCartney yesterday. And the dude is serious. He married Linda 30 years, and now Linda dies. He's right back in a serious relationship, getting married again. You getting hitched again? Yeah. I mean, what an amazing guy. Could you ever be satisfied with one woman like that? No. Well, Hello? Yeah. Hello, Johnny? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Could you? No, I was just pondering it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that LSD? Could you ever be satisfied with one woman like that? Yeah. That's not true. You don't cheat. I'm Person. no cheater. You aren't. <laughs> No, uh -huh. he, he tells the broads it's over. Right. Oh, uh -huh. you mean uh -huh. when he wants to leave, he just goes... Yeah, you've even said in terms of marriage, don't stay... To, if you start having desires to be with another person, don't even fight it. Just go do it, right? Well, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're thinking about it and it starts to rot your brain, I mean, you may as well just go out and you know, hit the streets, so to speak. Hmm. Somehow I think... Reckon? Yeah, I, I agree. Because otherwise it's just going to get ruined anyway. Well, yeah, you just got to tell them, you know, if something's going, something's going sideways and... uh you know, we got to... I'll be back later. So when you told Kate Moss this, what happened? What did she do? Did she, like, just jump out a window or something? No. That's so great. God, I'd no. love to... I'd love to be you. You're the coolest. You're the coolest guy. You're, you're a great actor, as well as being really good looking. I never yeah. seen the movies, in, but he's cool. Uh, oh, it doesn't get matter. out. <laughs> oh, he's get out of here. I've seen that 21 Jump Street. It's the last I've oh, seen Oh, he him. hates yeah. that. Will you stop? What, 21 Jump Street you hate? No, I said I saw that. Yeah, I love that. Johnny hates it. Oh, you hate does? that Johnny? Well, I, I, actually, to be honest with you, I, I only saw about three episodes. <laughs> oh, you I gotta tell lot, you, man. man. Yeah, I, I don't know if any if word ever gets back to you over there in France. I love you, man. I love your movies. I saw your new. You saw his new movie. No, yeah, you it. guys were all there the other day. We went to see From Hell. We loved it. Oh, good. You guys saw it. Yeah, loved it. it. Beautiful movie. Uh, it's tough. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's Jack the Ripper. I love. I love all Jack the Ripper stuff. I'm it's really great. into him. Johnny plays a uh, detective who you know figures out what's going on with Jack the Ripper and who's doing this thing. Lately, he's been in a period detective mode. Yeah. Yeah. From Sleepy Hollow to this. Yeah, this is the bleak period. Yeah. And every friggin' broad I meet goes, oh, Johnny's so great. 
Johnny's choices in film are so... And I go, you know what? That's all right. He's just... He's taking work. No, no, no. He's not. He turns down work. What have you... Tr do you turn down, like, really good, like, commercial big movies on purpose? Well, I mean, there's been a couple of this sort of uh, come come through, and uh, it just, you know, they just didn't seem like the right thing, you know? That like what? The seed was tainted somehow. Like, what's the biggest movie you ever turned down because you thought it was just lame? Well, you know, it's, it's, it would be unfair of me to say no, what, 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 what I turned it. But, you know, I'll tell you, I'll put, I'll put it to you this way. I, I, I read about, <clears throat> I labored through about 15 pages of Titanic. <laughs> it's a horrible movie. <laughs> and, and, you know, I was sweating and, and, you know, it was horrible. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't get through it. So you knew it was horrible, but you, you probably see yourself, hey, he's a great director. I know this is going to be big. I don't care. I'm but not going to do it. You knew it was going to, I mean, I knew that Titanic would be would be massive. But then you wind up in the astronaut's wife. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? Hey, you know, it just seemed like a good idea at the time, you know? It'd be cool if Johnny Depp would Revenge of the Nerds. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm but you see, I watch every Johnny Depp film. I've seen the good ones and the bad ones. Mm. Well, did you, you haven't seen uh, the new one. I haven't seen the new one yet. It's great. From hell. It opens today at movie theaters everywhere. And uh, I got to say, it's uh, we, we had a... I mean, an incredible experience watching it. it. It's really good. It's shot well. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it kind of looks like a Tim Burton film, actually. It's... Yeah, they, they really did a great job. The Hughes brothers really, really kicked it in the ass. Man, Heather Graham looks good, too. What's That's the one part of the movie that, we, that mystified me. All the whores. Yeah. There's five whores in the movie. Heather right. Graham being one of them. The other four have no teeth. They all look about 45 years old. <laughs> I don't know, ancient. Heather, Graham, Heather Graham's the hottest whore, and none of the guys are banging her. <laughs> she strange? can't get work. <laughs> yeah, she can't get laid. <laughs> but it's cool. I didn't know any of that stuff about Jack the Ripper. I didn't know anything about, like, who was behind it, who Jack the Ripper was. I mean, is that all true? No, um, it's just it's one of the theories. Oh, okay, I got one it. Because nobody does know he was never caught. Right. Yeah, and your acting was real good. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that. real good, man. English. What, you know how Johnny's a, like, a real down-to-earth guy because when, you know, our band played his club once. Yeah. And he was like there like loading in the equipment, you know, helping us move the stuff. That's all an act. That's yeah. eccentric. Yeah, that's eccentric. <laughs> Believe me. Paris. I did that just so you'd say that. <laughs> what a life you're having, though. I mean... When I think about it, terrorism has got to frighten the hell out of you because not only are you good looking, you get the best looking broads, you got a great career. <laughs> I mean, you want your life to go on. It's a dream life. But he was the one, we were getting on his case not too long ago. For what? Because I remember a quote, something like, you know, he goes to Hollywood and right away they're offering him movies. <laughs> You know, when he got off the plane from Paris, they don't even let him breathe. Immediately, they're saying, Johnny, we want wow. you to do this. Johnny, oh, that's we horrible. want you to do that. Oh, yeah. And that horrible. was tough. That's why he had to leave. <laughs> that happens to me. Artie was, was in strange, a... Though. I mean, to, to, be, to get off a plane and within 45 minutes, you know, uh, have two, two separate people pitch you, you know, stories about oh, God knows what. <laughs> What's your story? Do you have formal training or something? Formal training in, in in what arena? Acting, <laughs> no. handling checks, and interviews. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah. When I when I uh, when I first moved out to Los Angeles, way back in '83, I was a musician. You know, I did that for years and years, and then um, started acting just to be able to. You know, somebody gave me a job and I could pay the rent for a while, so I just did it for for that really, and then started studying. You know, figuring that. Uh, Somehow, this is what I was going to be doing. Yeah, you're a real actor, man. I mean, I, I am just such a fan. Did, did you said, ever? You know, we've talked about too. How how come he's never gotten an Oscar? He's so good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I always talk you up. Hey, what, have you ever been rejected by a chick? <laughs> like, oh yeah, really? Right. Yeah. Who? Like, what chick is like, 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 has there been anyone that we would know that like said, you know what, Johnny? Blew you off? Yeah, I, I'm not really interested. Um. Boy, I, I mean, someone that you would know. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. You know, just. I mean, but through throughout my life, certainly I've been. Yeah. I mean, I've been devastated by girls. Really? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes me feel good. Yeah. But we all have. 
I don't, I don't buy it. I, not not any time <laughs> recently. I mean, I just can't imagine. I mean, Kate Moss tried to kill herself. I mean, that's the oh. ultimate. That's the. It took her years. She's she just getting over. She him. still can't get over you. No, she didn't try to kill herself. That was all like press stuff. No, of she course. She's just getting What's over him. Her? I know it. Of course. What is her story? Too? She was always arguing with you. I go, you were guys were always fighting and tearing up hotel rooms. Yeah, why are you guys fighting? No, the, the hotel room incident actually wasn't a fight. We didn't. We weren't fighting. What were you doing? You were partying. You were no, having I was, sex? <laughs> yeah. Were you having sex with her? <laughs> Young I man? I was in a I was in a foul mood, you know. You're pretty One wild. Of days. <laughs> and um so I you know, I assaulted a, you know, a, a, a vase and then a couch and uh and I was arrested for it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, can you imagine? A bad mood, you know, it was just you know, like any other day. See, yeah, that's but you why... haven't had a bad mood since she left. <laughs> yeah, she's a pain in the ass is what you say. <laughs> but you know what's amazing to me? Like you get a hot chick like that and then you're even still in a bad mood. <laughs> I mean you're able to be yourself. Because they won't stop yapping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it for you, John. I know it. I've had a lot of hot chicks. Yeah, you haven't had any hot chicks. <laughs> well, I've had chicks, though. <laughs> and they won't stop yapping. <laughs> a couple of guys want to say stuff to you. The new movie is From Hell. Uh, what am I going to say to you I, that I haven't already said on the air? I think that you're a brilliant actor. I'm sure you've heard wow. that from everyone. I wow, love the movie you. Blow. I thought that was incredible. Donnie wow. Brasco. Donnie oh Brasco, Ed love Wood. them all. Yeah, Ed Wood, Ed, Ed Wood is Edward great. Scissorhand. Yeah. Edward Scissorhand is my favorite. I mean, Jesus wow. Christ, man. Sleepy Hollow was great. Yeah, you, you, you're something else. And you know what? Hey, what the hell? Who deserves broads more than Johnny Depp? I don't wow. think anybody. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever? Do you have to ever work for a girl's affection? Do I have to work for a girl's affection? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like, like. Do you like this a, French girl you're with now. Yeah, like, look, I'm, an, I'm an old man now. I'm an old married man now. You know, no, you're I, not. I, you're 38 years old. That's nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I, I, you know, I'm in a, I got a, you know, I got a kid and stuff. I go to bed like, you know, 9:30 at night. I'm, you know. Let me understand something. So you meet this broad that you're with now, the one you knocked up, right? You know, she used to be Lenny Kravitz's girlfriend. Yeah. So you know she's hot, and the thing is, you meet her. Do you have to like wait weeks before you can sleep with her, or do you just like? Is there any work involved? Oh, there was work. It was. There was work. Yeah. You had to yeah. pursue her. Yeah, you know. Listen, you know, I'm not. I'm not the kind of guy that you immediately, you know, trust. <laughs> <laughs> but this girl is beautiful. Really? Yeah. You had to actually tell her to get undressed. Really beautiful. <laughs> Did you guys make love the first night, or do I you? Ha- I, I, I grovel. Yeah. <laughs> get undressed. Do you even speak her language? <laughs> Can I ask you something? When you take off your clothes, do chicks like faint? <laughs> <laughs> they do it with me. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine, you know. I, I I just can't. What that's like. Yeah. It's so much fun. Being Did you have a messed up childhood at least? Oh, yeah. I had the, the, the best of the worst. Were your parents uh, mean? Um, They were a little confused at times, yeah. Where I, are you from originally? I was born in Kentucky. Wow. Oh, no wonder. That's bad. Yeah. yeah. That's, which explains a lot of me. Yeah. Did no your parents, more. like, split up at an early age? And did they, yeah. They did? Yeah. Was your dad and mom abusive to you? Um, yeah, now and again, yeah. What did they do? What kind of people were they? They were pot farmers. Were they in the clan? <laughs> <laughs> were they in the clan? Yeah. Hey, hey a- we got to go get the niggers, the kikes, and the Puerto Ricans. Hey, here's our son. If there were some in, in Kansas. <laughs> you know, when you say Kentucky, Kentucky me, yeah. I just think of toothless people in a trailer. Hey, here's my son, Johnny. This feller can act. <laughs> get out there. Is that what it was like? Were they well, like that? <laughs> no, you know what? I, I, you know, my, my family, thank, you know, thank God, weren't in the clan, thank God. So. <laughs> the Grand Our boy Johnny's going to grow up to be the Grand Kegel. That's this, legal to you. This feller's going to go this, work man. for the Jews in California. <laughs> <laughs> It's a secret plot to take over. Hey, Johnny, are, are, like, are you in touch with your parents at all, or are you, like, totally estranged? No, no, no. I, I, we're, we're in touch. I mean, I'm still real close to them. And you got to support them and stuff? You got uh, brothers and sisters? No, they pretty much take care of, you know, they, they take care of themselves. Uh, yeah, do you ever call up your dad and go, you know what, you prick? I got, tons, I got tons of money, and I'm living in Paris, and I'm not sending you yeah. anything. Hey, Farmer John, I'm in Paris. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why'd you go back and farm? How are those Kentucky summers, Dad? <laughs> I'm getting me some Paris poon time. <laughs> <laughs> no more plowing the fields. <laughs> Doggies. God, man, I wish, I wish I had the coffee you guys were <laughs> Come on. I think they put that LSD on us. No, no more. seriously, Johnny, uh, do you, uh, you know... 
I'm not laying any more peat moss. I'm laying cape moss. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Yeah. Is it like that kind of thing? Hey, by the way, you want to go switch to being John at some point, or you still want to be Johnny? Johnny's okay. Yeah, no, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny was what I was raised with. So Good yeah. for you, Jonathan. I hate when guys go. I'm now John. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Depp. Like, Usually Johnnies like, don't have that problem. Like Ricky Schroeder. Right. I'm it's, Rick. it's Billy's who want to be William. <laughs> William. His parents couldn't William pronounce, Baldwin. His yeah. parents couldn't pronounce Jonathan. Yeah, that was a weird one. Yeah, well, you know what? Gonna, since I kept changing my name to Reverend Jonathan. <laughs> since, since Billy Baldwin became William, nobody's even talking yeah, to him. you can't get any work. <laughs> no one knows who he is. Reverend Johnny Depp. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I, I, I'll just throw this in, too. Gilbert Grape, man. Great. Oh, movie. yeah. I forgot oh, yeah. about that. That yeah. rules. Yeah, that does you, rule. You know, man. I got a question for Johnny. Um, he's, he's been in a lot of great movies. I love them all. But I actually like 21 Jump Street. I thought that was a good show for the time. Do you look back on that? Are you embarrassed by that show? Hey, shut up. We're talking about yeah, his parents yeah, and yeah. Yeah, He's been there already. Yeah, that we was talked my about that already. What's the matter with you? <laughs> we, we Stop listen taking to us this. back. I'm getting going forward now with this in-depth interview. Hey, how's that get, that Kate Moss? Yeah. Be quiet. Get out of here. My son's on the television. <laughs> so your parents... Well, mom, that was an amazing trip. combination of French and Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing, the television. <laughs> so I'm saying, isn't it amazing that, like, your parents... You got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got one brother, two sisters. What do they do? Are they hot? They sit at home and get they jealous. They talk about Johnny. They talk about Johnny all day. They're all real hot. They work for Johnny. <laughs> you got a hot sister, I bet. <laughs> Does your sister look like you? Yeah, um, yeah we all kind of look alike. Yeah. God, I got to meet her. Why it's Johnny with boobs. Movies? Johnny with boobs. I'd go out with that. <laughs> That's good. You're not kidding. Man, oh, man. <laughs> hey, Johnny. I have done that a couple of times. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's true. That's true. Hey, uh, Johnny, a bunch of people want to ask you questions. Okay. All right. The new movie from hell is really great. You got to go see it. Johnny uh, investigates Jack the Ripper and his tons of... It's a pretty violent movie. Good movie. I mean, you got to be into the gore. I am. Yeah. I yeah, love you gotta, that. You Give me ready. my gore. And I'm glad they didn't, like, hold it off in light of world events, because people do still want to see gory movies. It seems that way. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, come on. We can handle what it. What else is there to do? Yeah. Ralph, go ahead. Uh-oh, I lost Johnny. Oh, oh, no. You there? No, I'm here. Lose Ralph. Don't lose Johnny. Yeah, wait a second. Where did Johnny go? Wait a second. What line what are you on, Johnny? Johnny? I don't, uh, I'm on line three. Know. He doesn't know. Uh, Hold on. I'm so confused. Hold well, it, Johnny. All right, we're, Johnny's we're, there. We're All right, Johnny, here I go. Here I go. You ready? Okay. You still there? I'm going to yep. lock you in right now. You still there? Yep. Okay, here. I don't want to mess know what up. You're doing. Lock right. in, Johnny. Ralph, go ahead. There I am. All right. Hey, you know, I'm just curious. Like, how calculated is he? Like, when he gets tattooed, you know, when we get a tattoo, it takes us like 600 hours to decide. Yeah, Ralph and, and I were down at the tattoo place uh, this past weekend, you know, and right. it takes us hundreds of hours. They're there all day. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like I'm moving at an inch to the left, right? He's got cool, cool tattoos. Do you just like throw them on, or like what thought goes into them? Yeah, what thought goes into your tattoos? No, I, I don't. And then we'll I mean, discuss your clothes next, but go ahead. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, no, I don't just throw them on. I, I, um, but I never got anything off the wall, you know? I never got anything off of a. Uh, Winona Ryder, right? You never got anything design. off the rack. You right. Just, you, like, you have your own designs. Well, I just, you know, yeah, I just kind of draw something and the guy does it. You draw it? Yeah, me or him or whatever, yeah. Really? Yeah. It takes you a while, though. You just don't run in there. No, no, it definitely takes a while. And it's, I mean, you know, it takes a couple of years of, you know, thinking about it. Okay, he's just like you guys. Yeah, okay. then he's like us. All right, so he's calculated right. like us. Now, how about the clothes? How calculated is that? Because he's got, like, a look going on that's kind of, like, you know, dressed down. He, he always looks cool. It's like, you know, you just throw stuff on, or you, you sit in the mirror for a while like the rest oh, of us. this is the game. Wow, you know what? You know what? <laughs> dressed down is, like, the kindest anyone's ever been. Because generally, they, people the say that, you know, Ralph, they want to give you. me like a quarter. Right. Ralph, no so, offense. These are the gayest questions I've ever heard. Gayest well, conversation. this is how Ralph is around the good-looking guy. Yeah, this is the I gay interview. I'll get to your clothes uh, later. How do you plan your tattoos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. And your look. How, how, long do you how do you plan your work? Look. No, because yeah. Ralph's always saying to me, Johnny Depp looks real cool. I wonder if he stands in front of the mirror and like tries stuff on or just... And the facial hair thing. Yeah. that's yeah. kind of... And then you're like, I got to get back to planet hey, Johnny, how calculated? Are you is what we're saying? <laughs> okay, <laughs> how calculated? Yeah, when what regard what, what, getting dressed? And yeah, stuff? your look, your tattoos, the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, my, it's, my biggest fear in the world is the, is the mirror. I, I avoid the mirror at all costs. Which, well, which you should is, see what I do in the mirror. You got yours covered in cloth. I have my, dark my, cloth. my my mirrors are covered. <laughs> my mirror is covered in coke. Marty, go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Howard? Go on. You're on with Johnny Depp. A rare interview, right, Johnny? You don't do many interviews. <laughs> And after this, he won't do another one for a very long time. Hey, come on. We're having fun. <laughs> this is fun. That's right. Kentucky. I like that you're like a pretty chick in the sense that you're insecure about your looks. Yeah. I'm a wreck. 
I like that. Go ahead. I couldn't believe what he did in Blow when he let him, you know, they made him a little soft around the middle and that gray. Pillow, that pillow they put in his yeah. shirt. <laughs> I love the movie Blow. Marty, go ahead. Good. Listen, Johnny is a very cool guy. Besides being super talented, getting all the babes. I was on a British air flight with him going he, while he was filming uh, from Hell, going from Prague to Cornwall. Yeah. And he was just, uh, first of all, he hung out with everybody else. He just sat on the plane where everybody else did. And when you get off the plane, there's a long customs line to get into England. British Air makes a big deal about how they take the celebrities and they cut them through tunnels and everything else to avoid everything else. He stood in line with everyone else, just like anybody else, waiting to get through customs. Why do that, Johnny? Why, why uh, did you take the tunnel? Yeah, why, you, you, uh, why don't you take a private jet? What are you, a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny, what's up with that? I thought you were cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, is that true? You really stay in line with everyone else? <laughs> Oh, you know, I was, you know, uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Happy. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. You don't get the whole private jet treatment? Nah, you know, you know, I don't like that kind of stuff. It makes you feel weird, you know? Really? I'd love it. Again, Boy, give it I to told me. you, that's why he left the country. Yeah. <laughs> he could have all that. He doesn't want it. Yeah. yeah. But you're not trying hard to be humble. I mean, this is genuine. Yeah, this is not calculated. <laughs> wow. But do you think that would destroy your art? <laughs> Yeah, my art. What kind of fun are, are you me? like a super? I don't have any art. Hey, Johnny, what's your quote now? I mean, like you could, be, if you did Titanic, your quote would be like twenty million a film. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you like a super rich guy, or are you not that rich? They give me like you know one hundred and twenty-five bucks and a yeah. clean pair of underwear. Yeah. No, are you up to like what do you get? Seven million a film, or are you like up to fifteen million? You know, it's never. I never get to, even if my films fail, or if or if my films do well at the box office. I never get the credit for when, when they do well, so they, they've kept me, you know, they, it, it sort of uh, fluctuates. It could, you know, it could be some, it depends on the film, the size of the budget or whatever. You've got to be a super rich guy, though, right? But he had that club ah. and a, a couple of other things. Oh, we're all things, struggling, other, man. Other business really? things. Yeah, you still got that joint on a Sunset Strip? What joint? You know that uh, joint. What's it called? Oh, uh, Viper Room? Viper Room. Yeah. You still got that place? Yeah. I've been there. Of course you've been there, but they don't let you in. I couldn't uh, get in. Yeah, you stand outside. <laughs> Yeah, what do we got to do to get in that place? <laughs> All right, let's see. How do you get in that joint? <laughs> is, do you make money with that club? Yeah, let's see. Let's no. hear, let's hear no. some. Let's hear some. No, no club makes money. No, they don't make money. It's just no, a place no, where you club. go. Why would you be in that? Because you go with your friends and it's cool. Yeah, so your own little club. Yeah. Uh, here's. Let's hear a chick freak out over Johnny. That's what I love to hear. Go ahead, honey. Hi, Johnny. Hi. How you I would, doing? I would just love to say that you are the most amazing actor there is, and you always pick the best films to do, but I want to know, what were you thinking when you did The Ninth Gate? I like The Ninth Gate. Oh, I thought it was horrible. I'm sorry, Johnny, but the whole movie theater booed. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I, I understand. Well, that's good. I mean, a, a boo is a reaction. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Honey, this ain't a way to get a date. Honey, you ain't going to be going out with him anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Maybe she's doing that, you know, that thing where she's saying, hey, you're not that great. Go out with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what movie I haven't seen that you've done and everyone tells me is good as Shark a lot? Oh, oh that's yeah. not one of my favorites. What the hell's that? He's great in it. But until he shows up, there's no reason to be really? there. Sure. Really? Oh, he saves wow. that film. What's wow. that? Well, that's a good, that's a nice compliment. Uh, let's see, uh, Kelly. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Howard. Uh, it's not Kelly. I just want to ask you what's happened with your Saturday night TV show. How long are we going to have to watch reruns for? All right. That's not, that's a, that ain't a Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp question. No, it wasn't. I just, I, I, get out of here. Oh, but I want to know, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're in France. You don't care. Yeah, you get that in Paris or what? <laughs> what do you do for fun, man? Are you a fun guy? Who are you talking to, me? Yeah. Am I a fun guy? Yeah. I told you, I'm like an old, boring married man. Do you go to you know? strip clubs? I, no, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I take care of my kid. I, you know, I do you don't smoke like, weed anymore or anything? No, nah, I'm like, you know, I'm like, a, you know, I'm like a, a... Who are your friends? Over in Paris, who do you hang out with? Who do you I hang out with? with? I Sean hang out Penn? with my girl, I hang out with my daughter, you know. Sean Penn? Sean Penn. <laughs> no, I don't hang out with Sean Penn. That jerk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Marilyn Manson you hang out with a lot. Manson, yeah, Manson. Whenever, whenever I'm in town or if he's around, yeah. Yeah, I don't really... yeah you know Manson, right? Yeah. yeah. But do you ask him if he thinks Manson hit on you? Hey, do you think Manson's gay? Do I think he's gay? Yeah. I don't think so. He had his hand on my leg the whole night, telling me I look good. That's gay. <laughs> that's gay. Would you say that's gay? Nah, it's just you know, maybe it's just he likes you very much. He's yeah. being affectionate. I bet your Kentucky parents think that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> What you hanging out with a fruit for? Hey, Jen. <laughs> hey, Jen, you're on the air with Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi. Hi. 
I didn't know what to say. I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, wow. Good Why don't you hit on him like every other chick <laughs> going to. on the planet? It's played out now, isn't it? <laughs> you know, how could a chick even approach Johnny? I mean, sure. I'll give you a resume. Never mind the films you've done. Yeah, you're, here's your resume, Johnny. Cheryl Lynn Fenn, Jennifer Grey. Uh, you know, let me see what else I got. You got uh, your new girlfriend who's hot as hell. What's that? Perry Dees. What's the first name? Vanessa. Vanessa Perry Dees. Winona wow. Ryder. Why Nona Ryder's hot? Oh. Yeah, especially when Johnny had her. Yeah. <laughs> you got her when she was like 13, right? Yeah. Oh, no, stop it. Uh, he dug his son. <laughs> He's on the rider. <laughs> so, Johnny, are you concerned at all how the movie's going to do this weekend from hell? Yeah, he's on the phone with us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You yeah. must be concerned. <laughs> you got to be concerned. I've been peddling my ass nonstop. There you go. Um, no, I mean, do you worry about that crap or you don't care? No, you know, really, it's none of my business. You know, I, I hope that people go see it. I, I mean, it, I don't know if this is, you know, I don't know if this is uh, a film that people want to see right now. I, I mean. They do. I'm telling him it's good. From yeah. Hell is good. I'm not saying it because Johnny called in. In fact, I told him I yeah, thought before, it was good. Yeah, yeah it, it's really, really good. It was good. really good. It, was. Yeah. it is good. I think I think the Hughes brothers did a really good job on it. And, uh, yeah, and it's good. It's got a lot of blood in it, a lot of slashing, a lot of, like, it's a mystery, you know. I, I like all that. It's just really good. And it's a good period Thanks. piece. Thanks, and, man. And, and, anyone and you who, did a good job with that accent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're a good actor, man. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Did you ever see my movie? No, but, you, you know, I didn't see your movie because I was bitter because your movie killed my movie. Did it? Off. Which one? Which one? I think your movie killed, uh, I believe it was Donnie Brasco, wasn't it? No. no. Really? Maybe. I think <laughs> it was Donnie Brasco. It came around on the same time as Donnie Brasco, I think. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No. And Donnie then suddenly private. All you, could, all you saw was, like, you know, billboards, posters, everything, Howard Stern, private part of the whole thing, and... You should rent my we movie. Didn't stand a chance. You should rent my movie. I'm telling you, he's good as you are. You'll learn a few things. All right, you sure. rent Donnie Brasco this weekend, and he'll rent private. I've seen Donnie Brasco a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Yeah, I was but, upset that I wasn't that you didn't ask me to be in your movie. You should re believe me. I would have put you. You played your wife. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're a hot chick. <laughs> your sister yeah. Play hey, wife. <laughs> hey, hey, Johnny. I would have done it, you know. Why don't you rent my movie? Huh? Rent my movie and watch it. I will. All right. I will rent it seriously. All right. And uh, I, I look forward to um, uh, meeting you one day. Me too. Because I think it'll be a thrill for you. I'm a genius. <laughs> that I know. <laughs> hey, John, so I'll we be... Have, I know a lot of people who, who, who know you and stuff, and uh, I've they? heard only great things about you. Really? Yeah. Who talks about him? Great, great things. So could you mention the people who talk about me? <laughs> well, Tracy, my, Tracy Jacobs, my agent. Yes, uh -huh. Tracy. Yeah, she's very nice. She said... She said a lot of great things about you. Yeah, so. she's real nice. She's real cool. Yeah. And uh, do any hot chicks ever talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All of them. Like, why doesn't Kate Moss tell you yeah, what a cool she guy? Didn't I tell am? you, <laughs> you thought it was cool. What about why know a writer? Yeah. Mm. You know? Do you have Kate Moss's number so I can call her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, John. I'll be in Paris next oh. week. Can I come over? <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah. All right. What time? You want a wake-up call? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, good luck with the movie, and everyone go see From Hell opening today at movie theaters everywhere, and uh, hope you it's come in. It's been a pleasure to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you so much, you guys. You're all, all right, right, man. Take care. Take care. You will. Right. Bye. Party, you're all right. <laughs> I'm trying to network. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come I want to be in From Hell, too. <laughs> it annoys me that he hasn't seen my movie. He's, I've seen it. He's one of those guys that, you know, he doesn't even care about Hollywood or anything else that's going on. He just does what he does. I think it's too painful for him to see my movie. An amateur going on there and doing such a brilliant acting job. What about the accent you do in your movie? What Tough? accent is that? Don't you do an English accent in your film? I do several accents. That's right. <laughs> Johnny's got to go buy his cheese and bread now. I picture him walking around like with, with a beret, <laughs> you know, buying cheese and bread. One of those long black cigarettes. Yeah. He seems like a cool guy. Yeah, I he think he's right. a cool guy. Yeah. Johnny Depp, Leave good him. actor. I believe one day he'll be one of those guys at the Academy Awards getting the honorary uh, Right, Oscar. because nobody's recognized him for individual work. They'll just do the whole lump sum thing. Yeah. Well, I hope we weren't just scammed and that was really Corey Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Corey could have done that good at Johnny Depp. You don't think so? No. All right, I got to take a... What is it, John? Like, and, and, oh, Johnny just called back just to say thank you and thanks for yeah, having him on. That was nice. <laughs> it's like, it's the guy's that's a really good guy. Nice. Yeah. He he busts equipment for John. That's what a kind of guy he is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, 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 he helped, helped carry our equipment. He what? I put my <laughs> amp over there. <laughs> <laughs> John, Johnny, could you? <laughs> 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 we don't mind a dog. 
Yeah, it was great. That's give me a beer. That's the night I hung out with Helena Christensen all night, man. <laughs> what? At, at Johnny Depp's club. I hung out with Helena Christensen all night. Who's that? Helena yeah, Christensen, the, the supermodel. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what good did that do you? <laughs> Helena Christensen. I don't know. I got to hang out with her. He got to talk to her. her and Michael Johnny Hutchins. Banger. She got, yeah, yeah, Johnny banged her and John, I did, and John got to look at her. I did get laid, though. Did you? Yeah. I got to take a break and then we'll be right back. <laughs> that really hurt. Yes! It is a bigger injustice to this country. This is a circus, it's a national disgrace. Gary tells me Pamela looks incredible. I it, told you, it's amazing. She's eight months pregnant, and she looks incredible. I didn't even notice. She's eight months pregnant? Yes. That's I, what I could not believe. I got to see well, this. I wouldn't even, <clears throat> does she, she look great? She's wearing the cutest little dress today. Really? Yeah. Better than the it's real doll? It's got, like, little spaghetti straps, but they're, like, undone. It's oh, just, there's a glow in my pants. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me see this. I got to I gotta, I gotta get with her. Oh, oh my God. But Pamela I don't know Lee. Where she's carrying this baby. Oh, she's so cute. God, I want her so bad. I hate to get all mushy like this, Robin, That's but I'm mushy. in love. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, don't walk so fast. You are pregnant? Yes. Can you believe that? Oh, what a piece of ass. <laughs> what a piece of ass you are. <laughs> oh, I can't stand you. Uh, what? I can't, I can't even stand you anymore. I'm so horny. You didn't even know she was pregnant, did you? No. I had no idea. Eight and a half months. Yeah, she's almost wow. finished almost with dead. her pregnancy. You're glowing. I'm glowing. Are you glowing? I glow when you're in the room. Mm -hmm. You make me happy. <laughs> He's glowing. You're so pregnant. He's here. glowing. <laughs> you're happy to be here? I'm happy to be here. I love coming here. Really? Yes, even though you abuse me totally, but I, you know. What? I really don't. I, actually, you're pretty good when I'm here. It's just when I leave. <laughs> am, am I really what mean do we to do? you? Well, what? I don't think you're mean. I think you're just, you know. Oh, because I play your Playboy tapes? You do? Yeah. I didn't oh. even know that. <laughs> the one where you talk about a guy's butt being your favorite part of oh, the uh, man's body? <laughs> oh, I, and, and I talked to, I had Tommy on the other day, and I did talk. First I, of all, I got to say something. What? I am totally outraged that that tape of you and Tommy that was stolen from your home. Yeah. Is, is uh, uh, the judge ruled, I read this in the paper today. Yeah. The judge ruled that it's okay to sell the tape. That's your property. It, uh, you know, it's, it's so disgusting. It's just whatever. You know, I hope their mothers are proud. These guys that are selling this. But I, mean, I don't know how this. a judge could rule that. Well, you know, it's. By the way, steps. the tape does not make you look bad. I saw the tape. <laughs> I got to tell you something. Can I, I just, haven't even seen the tape. Can I tell you I something? Never, we never watched it. You, you know, never? We taped it. Wow. I don't even know what's on this it. is like with you know with Tommy's crummy camera. You look yeah. incredible. I, yeah, I write. I bet you do. You really oh, do. Well, gee, thanks. I'm glad you saw it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. You know how to please your husband. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Thank you. Oh God, I know. I knew this. Well, you know what? It's just disgusting. They're like whatever. You All know, right. It was so your private like, moments. It, yeah. And that's why I like the tape because. I'm unplugged. It, Oh, you are unplugged? Oh, no, here I am. I'm plugged in. I'll plug you in. <laughs> you might need to turn up the volume or something. No, I got it. I okay. got it. Loose connection. Your breasts are gorgeous. My what? Your breasts. Thank you. <laughs> you really have great breasts. See, those, are, those are mother's breasts. They're mother's breasts. I don't care what they are. <laughs> I'd have sex with you even though you're eight months pregnant. I it's really the would. the best when you're pregnant. Is it really? It's you have sex best. even now, right now with Tommy? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I haven't seen him. I, I saw him, like, we were apart for a month. So right. I was home for a couple of days. And, and you got to miss that. walk. That you, <laughs> really? That much? Yeah, these two have sex. All the time. All the time. That is I what know. love is supposed to be like, Howard. Yeah. I tell you, I really saw that you are in love. Even though I shouldn't have watched the tape, when I got a hold of it, I said, this is wrong. This is their private moments. No one should watch this. And that yeah. was the 50th time. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, yeah. But I've watched it, like, 20 times. I have. Oh, I admit I have. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I only watched once. I didn't know what I would be looking at. <laughs> what, what did you say about Tommy? I don't even want to know. What did you say know. about Tommy when you saw the tape? What did I say? What did you say? Well, I can't remember. Oh, what I remember. I you just you fainted. <laughs> Do you believe how big Tommy is? Oh, I know what I said. I, the next day I said Tommy was like a woman with large breasts. He, he could not control it. It was <laughs> everywhere. And you guys have the most fun. I told we have Tommy so this. so much fun. We like, have the most fun out of any couple I know. You do? I bet. We're totally in love and, and happy. And I've never seen a couple like that. You guys call <laughs> each other. You, you, now, your name for Tommy is Lover. And baby, his name, yeah. Baby and Lover. Baby and Lover. Yeah. And you never even call each other like Pam and Tommy. No, it's I don't, baby I don't, and I lover. Call him Tommy, no. It's baby and lover, and the whole tape, baby and lover. And I said, God, <laughs> I that's know, real love. That is so romantic. <laughs> Are you done with the video camera now? Will you not allow Tommy to tape you anymore? It's just, 
Well, I wanted to, can you imagine? I mean, I wanted to tape the birth of my son. Don't. I thought the last thing I wanted yeah. to do when this came out, I was like, this is horrible. So really, I, I would have never thought, I would have thought if someone stole something out of my house, they would not get away with it. Explain this. this to me. Yeah. This, Tommy told me this. The safe was in your house. A gun they, safe the size of a refrigerator. And wheeled out behind a carpeted wall. They had to move um, half a million dollars worth of recording equipment on wheels to get the safe. And then put everything back and the recording equipment. Nothing else was stolen in the house. So when the videotape was stolen, you went, oh, my God, that yeah. is such an intimate tape. Well, I didn't even think about the tapes because we had a lot of stuff in the safe. And we had a lot of our, you know, people told us to keep everything in the safe, you know, while, while construction was going on at our mm -hmm. house. Right. Oh, man. Whatever. Yeah. So it's, um, but, you know, it, it, believe me, we're on top of it. And even though the judge ruled what he did yesterday. Do you understand the ruling? I uh, can't figure, if someone steals something from your house, you mean it becomes their property? I thought they go no, to jail for no, stealing. it's part of a much bigger thing. These these guys are definitely in trouble. These guys are definitely going to get theirs. Otherwise, I wouldn't be smiling here right now. Really? Yeah. No, they, they are. Would you hire the mean, mob? You know, people that, people that, <laughs> people that, um, you know, are, that are buying it or seeing it or anything, everyone's. Everyone's kind of putting themselves at risk because there's. there's really, I saw on. it. I mean, am I at You're risk? We didn't buy it. I haven't tried. I didn't buy it. Somebody buy mailed it. it to me. I swear. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I know. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so it's. it's I didn't know heavy. I was at risk. I'm heavy. not. You You've got the tape. I'm. I'm my hands are clean. I, I, I got rid of the it. tape. By the way, never touched it. I got rid of the tape. I felt guilty <laughs> having it, and I got rid of it. I swear I did. Really? I felt it was wrong. I do feel it was wrong. It's wrong. It was destroyed. Because these are very intimate moments. They are. You know, it's just sick that people would really want to see it because oh, you, know, no, it like you have your own life. You are so beautiful. Well. I don't have a life like yours. <laughs> I thought it was incredibly romantic when it was your birthday and Tommy just rents a boat. Yeah. And Tommy doesn't even know where he is on the boat. And nobody knows how to drive <laughs> the boat or anything. And Tommy steers the boat with you-know-what. <laughs> Honks the horn. Honks the horn we, with it. We never, ever... Oh, here's a Ralph. He's in love with you, by the way. I'm sure like most guys. Go ahead. You know, I, I know a guy who's selling it out of his house. Oh, That's wrong. Really? And he's What's got his like address? A, I, I don't have his... I can get it for you. Yeah, uh, my assistants in the other room were taking the address. Really out. good. But anyway, you it go... It doesn't make you look bad. There's like tape, a the constant yeah. flow of traffic, and he's just got stacks of them. In, wow. Like, oh, man. It's an instructive... Is it he's in no, hot. I, I know. I know. Hey, why don't we have the discussion else. we're going to have now uh, on the phone later? How hot is Pam today? Oh, Incredible. God. Right? Incredible. Tell me what you'd do to her. <laughs> what would you do? I just I, I can't believe she's pregnant. <laughs> That's Stop. it? That's what you're going to tell me on the phone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph's gay and he loves you, it. right? No, I'm not gay. He's not gay. All right, get out of here. How good does she look? She looks wow. great, man. She's you know what I dig about you? She's like, even you dress, like, you see how you have, like, the two front straps, like, hanging off, like, they're not even tied? <laughs> do you see that? Like, that whole thing? Uh-huh. And, Oh, that's, you know how to dress. <laughs> and, and look at what she's got going on with the hair. Like she's got like the go-go dancer hair. I'm hot squad today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, great. The, the I'm hot squad with my boots 60s, uh, yeah. headband and the whole thing. Yeah. I'm just a geek. Oh, yeah, you're stop. some geek. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you love that? Her. Like little pieces of hair hanging in her face. <laughs> how long does that take? I mean. You guys are it, funny. She's just perfect. You can ask her. Funny. You can ask her. How long does it take to get yourself together like this? About an hour. Do you plan the See, whole thing I out? I can't do it myself. I'm terrible at my own. Do method. you plan the whole thing out? Do you know what you're doing? Well, when I came to New York, I planned on what I was going to wear. You did? But yeah, I was really worried about what I was going to wear here. I'd love to be a gone. part of that discussion. Yeah. But she really? knows exactly what to do. Remember that, um, what was it? Some movie magazine where she had those big boots on, those black boots. It was a <laughs> yeah. great movie For barbed wire. No, it was movie line. And she just ran out and bought them or something. Yeah, you know just what to she wear. Just, boom, she gets Is it. it that you look good in anything, or... Uh, I just like to have fun with what I wear. I know that I don't like to be, like, this fashionably correct person. But even the videotape, when you're just naked on the boat, before <laughs> you and Tommy do it, you look good. There's that, no fat on you. There's no cellulite. That Howard, <laughs> what? I, I don't want to, like, concentrate on the tape, but I have to say... You know when there's a really beautiful sex symbol like Pam and, and yeah. people can o are always looking for fault with that person? Yeah. And you look at a beauty like her and you say, oh, well, I bet, you know, she probably stinks in bed or she's probably cold. Or yeah, she's you're good in bed, by the way. After I saw the video, right, I said, yeah. Pamela Lee is the most perfect woman that ever walked the earth. What you right. said to yourself is all those things I ever said to myself to make myself feel better before, they weren't true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have to just kind of accept the fact that those tapes are out there. Yeah, yeah. let me tell you. It's, it's horrible, but they'll, they'll get there. No so one will see will, it. Will, I just saw it. You, know, you, you should be proud of that tape, I mean. It's <laughs> great. There's nothing embarrassing. You look great, and that's with a lousy video camera. Imagine if you incredible. had incredible. You guys should shoot that on uh, 16 millimeter or, or bump it up to <laughs> 32. Should yeah. You well, should shoot on 35. You should redo it and sell it. Really? Yeah. Tell Tommy to bring in a 35 millimeter camera. Yeah. What's yeah. the matter with it? Can, can, can I say something about Tommy Lee? Seriously, aside from being a Motley Crue great drummer, all this, and, and be being married to Pam, 
This guy can have sex and hold a video camera and steer a boat at the same and time. Drive. And drive. And, 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 and he's directing you. He goes, baby, p pull your hair back so I can see your face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, this guy's unbelievable. He really is talented. He's very talented. I he's had no wonderful. idea. The guy That's holds awesome. the camera through the whole thing. I know that, you know, yeah, well... You it's know, difficult. I thought it was funny. At some point, she's trying to get him to stop. Like, baby, you know, don't. Yeah, I think Tommy's a bit of a pain in the ass. I think sometimes you get really mad at him. Of course. But I think with Tommy, you can't like yell at him too much. Russell will freak out because he gets like nuts. No. You gotta, you gotta no. watch yourself with him. He's actually he he he's not like that though. Really? No. I mean, he is. He gets he gets angry at things, but not at me. Because like at one point, you're in the bathtub and you said, "Hey, Tommy, please, I just don't want to be on camera." And he's like, "Hey, <laughs> like it's almost like you know how Tommy has mayhem tattooed across his belly." Yeah. When Tommy walks in the room, there's mayhem. There is. There's All no right. rest. There's no. There's, there's no, no relaxing. Well, it's his no. world, and you're gonna you're gonna comply with it. I, I mean, that's the impression I get from the tape. Seriously, like it's Everyone Tommy's sucks world. But us. That's what we say. Does he, does he even sleep? He probably doesn't even sleep. He's just. Yeah, is he wired or what? No, I mean, he's, he's pretty wired after he, after a show. I mean, he's right. like it's hard for him to settle down and calm down. He's just a big kid. Yeah, he walks he's in the room. Like the, he's the most awesome dad because him and Brandon just like they spin themselves in circles. I just have to sit back and watch until they stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, then they're both out. They both have a nap. And Tommy will walk in the room in full Halloween mask makeup. Oh yeah, with but it's makeup not Halloween. And, uh, I put, that, that? Makeup, I put oh, that, you, that makeup on him. I, oh, you did. Me. I always put makeup, nail polish. I dress him in my bikinis, my rubber dresses. I. You I'm like the most ultimate man because I can do whatever I want. To. You hate when he crosses his legs and pretends to be a woman. Uh, that's on there too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is the most disgusting thing. Hey, you I hate no, that. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Why do you hate that so I much? I think that's the ugliest thing. <laughs> you, know, you know what? A man should have a penis. It does not look right. Right, right. But it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I couldn't even deal. I just hate that. I don't know why guys. You do never that. saw you, you haven't seen the tape? I haven't seen no. Because, you should watch it. You should read. It. Well, you guys should sell copy. it. You know what you I ought do to do? I do not have a copy. You ought to sell it. Want to yeah. buy, buy one? Let me sell them yeah, for you. Sure, let me no. <laughs> let me let me sell them for you. I'll make you fifty million dollars. Yeah, You'll never sure. have to work again. I yeah. swear. I want to work. Oh, you do? I don't want to sell our private moments to people. No thanks. I'm telling you, that's what your next movie should be. Just you and Tommy doing stuff. Private, <laughs> private. Just you know what? It should be like real world. Yeah. We get offered movies all the time. We I'm telling you. No, you don't need to be, make a movie. This is it. This is your movie. This is it. This is the greatest you movie. Get any better than this. <laughs> you don't need movies. No, no. You guys okay. have to talk about Peter. Not this. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Who's he? Who is Peter? Yeah. Oh, who are you? You dating Peter. a guy named Peter? No. no Peter. Oh, I thought Tommy was enough for you. <laughs> I brought my jumper cables. What is that? Well, that's how they electrocute poor little animals to make fur coats. They attach the uh, jumper. Oh, I thought I was going to hook generals. you up to those. <laughs> no, I was gonna hook you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> It's disgusting. I'm in love with you. Oh, there, I said it. Come on. This so is now, what is the deal with this nude billboard? They have it's a sexy. Here, I got Times it. Square, and they Look censored it. it. Look at that, man. Imagine yeah, that's but that's not wife. what they're showing in Times Square. They is cut out the breast. Oh, really? They cut yeah, that up? Yeah, above the breast because mm -hmm. they thought that was too risque. Which Look is at your ridiculous. body. Are you proud of that? <laughs> I am now. I mean, I wish I had that stomach right now, but... Mm. Yeah, but... You will. Believe me. How many months are you pregnant? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Can you believe it? Well, look at her. I'm All out. girls should tune in when we show this on TV. This is how you're supposed to look when you're I pregnant. I saw you on Letterman really? last great. night, and you looked great. And I said to <laughs> Howard this morning, you're not going to believe this. She's almost through with her pregnancy. You can hardly tell she's pregnant. And she's the sexiest, prettiest pregnant woman I've ever seen. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> how to go on Letterman? So good. I, it was, you know, I've never done Letterman before. He's, he, I was a little scared. Oh, really? Yeah, because you hear that. He's scary. He is. He is. He's a weirdo. <laughs> He's a freak. <laughs> Well, he liked me. Well, I, I think I'm he, sure. he was really nice, but I was more nervous, I think. Did you wear a short little dress? No, I actually wore a long dress, really tight. And I think it's so, I think women, when they're pregnant, they need to wear sexy clothes. And you feel so sexy when you're pregnant. I mean, your hormones are out of control. Because you're not even wearing panties today, are you? Today? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Oh, you are? I very rarely know. do. Wow. Even but, during the pregnancy? Well, right now I am. Yeah. You know. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's all right. That's cute. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's cute, cute when you have a cold. <laughs> Yeah, that's attractive. Mm, man. Laughing. <laughs> God. No. See, this is okay for a woman to get pregnant if she looks like this. Right. You know, when a woman gets pregnant and she looks like eighty pounds, yeah. ninety pounds How come heavier, other women gain like all sloppy, pounds. with a big fat cottage cheese ass. <laughs> I don't understand how that happens. Well, you know, I'm lucky. Me my neither. Mom, my mom, she she just got a little tummy and then it was gone. You take pride in your body. Well, there's some people the who when you work out all the time. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you if you did. Three times a week, Tommy would say, Pamela, just sit down and put your feet up. And I would burst into tears. I was like, I don't want to sit would down. Would you I yell at the women in our audience that they should not pig out when they get pregnant? And you're eating well, healthy, right? I eat healthy. I eat very yes, healthy. Yes, you do. 
I eat all the time too. No drinking during the pregnancy. No, I really? haven't drank since November. Tommy's and I, we haven't drank since last Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, he hasn't. He's been sober this whole time. Because on the video, you look like you're having some real fun. Yeah. On the boat. But that was before then. How about when you're on the boat and you're naked, and then Tommy brings that guy on to stock the boat with food? Oh God. And, you're, and he says, "Cover up, honey," and all you have is a little tiny washcloth. <laughs> God, is that sexy? That and guy. the guy's staring at oh, you. No. Imagine that guy like hits the jackpot. We scared those people boat. on that boat. How about when you jump off the boat nude? And Tommy's nude, and, and his wow. giant genitals are, wow. are, are, are like flapping says, in the breeze. Come on in, lover. Yeah, come on in, lover. And then the fun begins. Oh, guys. We got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Here's what happened when we tried to have Pamela Anderson read this ID. You're listening to a man who believes Cody and Cassidy are the Antichrist, Howard Stern. I can't say Antichrist because I'm too much of a spiritual person. You really can't? No. You say that, can you? No. I can't say this one. I can't say Antichrist. Who's Cody and Cassidy? I don't even know who that is. Cody and Cassidy, aren't they, um, Lisa, um, no, um... Lisa Gibbons? No. Yeah, yeah, Robin, no. Oh, no. Robin Regis and, Ka Regis and Kathy Lee's kids. Oh, no, I can't say that, you guys. Jeez. You're listening to The Bomb, Howard Stern. This is Pamela Anderson. How do you handle Tommy? I swear to God, I mean... So that big. amazed me. He well, is really God, big. I've given birth twice now, so it was it was a, it's a little easier pre preparation. Yeah, Could you I was ever be? Say, that was tough a few times. The first time. Let's say, God forbid, this happened. Tommy died. Okay. <laughs> and oh. and you had to be with another man. I would never be with another man. You couldn't be. I couldn't. Be. You're ruined, I aren't you? Want to be. No, Even a black guy can't me. fill you. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying after Tommy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Well. It's unbelievable. All right, let's yes. let's get to some phone calls, too. Okay. Yeah, Pamela's going to be in this uh, PETA promotion. You're yeah. going to see her yeah. posters all over the place. She's helping these uh, animals. You're against fur, right? Yeah, I, I'm not yeah. into fur. No, I, I feel bad for animals. It's terrible. If, if people knew what they did to them, they would never wear fur. They electrocute their nuts, right? They electrocute oh. their nuts. Oh. Anal electrocution. Anal! Oh. I'm into that, so I can't complain. They, it's disgusting. I did that to Ralph they last week. Them, they skin them alive. I liked it, though. It takes 160 little chinchillas oh. to make a chinchilla coat. Why people don't realize. Them alive? Look at Ralph staring at Pamela. They snap their necks, and then they, they're I would not be, quite dead I would yet. be into anything, she said. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Well, I'm no, against no, fur. It's horrible. If you tell me I'm for it, I'm for it. I'm against whatever. I haven't even looked at Pam's face in the last 10 minutes. I can't take my eyes off your body. Oh, God. God damn it. Are you going to get your, your tattoo removed, I read somewhere? No. Your barbed wire tattoo? No. I've gotten more since I got my barbed wire tattoo. I didn't see any tattoos on On my you. back. I have one on my, my back. What do you got now? A, um, it's just a design. I got it in Tahiti. Just really? Can we see that? Can we see it? I can't show you because it's oh. on my back. Yeah, that's no big deal. Just take a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> What's a big deal? Don't be we've all seen I you. I mean, I we've, we've all seen the really. tape. It's no yeah, big deal. I'm not pregnant, though. Okay. Casey, go ahead. Hi, Pam. Oh, hi. Um, I want to buy your tape. <laughs> she's not selling it. She's against it. I have to see this tape. Oh, no, go away. No, you don't. It's a very private it's her thing. Private life. You, know you give take yourself tape. with your boyfriend yeah. or your husband. And, right. Get your own and, life and watch your watch your own tape. I saw it because I didn't know what I was watching. Or yes, make us a fair a exchange. One. You tape your most intimate moments and let us watch that. Or us. Send, you know, I should give our address. I should give a post office box, and everyone can send us their intimate yeah. moments. I'll play you my uh, tape. I no, really I will. Did. I'll play you more of it I if you want. Naked tapes, though. You that's do? Fair. No, you it's don't. Only fair. It's you only think Tommy fair. looks funny when he hides his penis from you? Wait till you see me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like, that's He's not, not funny. I go, I'm not hiding <laughs> anything. <laughs> I don't have Probably much. Have, yes, because you know no. you wouldn't say it if you had a small one. No, I do. Talk about your penis. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so. You would never want to be with me. I could never have you. You would laugh at me. You would. You know what I said when I when I saw the tape. I said, I'm not even a third of that. No, oh, well. I swear. I mean, even a third of that would be good. No way. Yeah, that would be true. Really? true. Yeah, it's true. Poor Tommy. <laughs> and Tommy gets so horny. Whenever you guys go driving, he has to jump in the back seat with you. Well, I think it's a combination. I think it's both of us. Yeah, yeah. Do, that, just that, was, that one was disappointing because they jumped in the back seat and then you didn't see what happened. Yeah, Tommy, for some Tommy reason... Tommy got serious. He got rid of the camera. I know. That was <laughs> weird. Moment. That's when oh sex God. is really good. And the other thing, when that the was the off, moment... Means it's really but you know what really freaked me out? When Tommy was driving, he's wearing those shorts and the shorts don't even cover... His, his his stuff. <laughs> right. His goods. That's, That's what right. I was saying. Like, they're all, it's all, it's everywhere. Yeah. Uh. And then Pam, Pam, you do a funny thing. You go, kids, I am so lucky. I, and you go, wait a second. I can't show this to my kids. <laughs> kids, you can't see this. Look what mommy has. <laughs> She's like, look how lucky mommy is. I'm like, oh my God. I know, we're, we're you having another boy? Another boy. Yes. I bet she's going to be hung like Tommy. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, that would be a good thing. Yes, let's yeah. hope. And pass on the family you know, <laughs> characteristics. Your other son, big like Tommy? Well, he's just 17 months old, but I'm sure he's headed in that direction. Really? You can tell already? Jeez, lucky kid. <laughs> Heartbreaker. Aww. He's probably bigger than They're you right so now. Crazy. I know. Aww. I've seen babies that are bigger than me. I swear to God I have. I'm not kidding, Pam. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't want to have sex with me. Well, no, I can't. No. But, but I'm saying even if Tommy died. Tommy's not dying. Yeah, he might. He might die young. He might die young. He's he's, no. he's, a, he's a maniac. He's not a maniac. He is so cool. You know, he gardens. He's like this little tattooed freaky Pierce guy running around in the garden. Really? I yes, can't he's picture very funny. No, I saw what he no, does. He, he gardens. No, he so You're trying to take a bath. The guy busts into the room. Well, and you're looking at certain little moments here and there, but he's actually pretty normal. He's really? really down to earth. How about when he was he's like, like a- he's like you. He's very, very sweet and down to earth. And then when he does his thing, he does his thing. He's really nice. He's How really about like guy. what? How about when he's on the movie set, annoying everybody with the camera? Yeah, that's good. That was great. <laughs> he annoys everybody on movie sets. Yeah, like, Tommy's coming down today. Oh God, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that means you'll be in the trailer <laughs> a lot. What was your question for Pam? <clears throat> oh, I wanted to know if she was ever with any women. No, I never have been with another woman. I believe you. I've never. Been I see you're way too into guys. I've been, you know, I've been propositioned many times. I've been I asked bet. a lot of times, and there's even a time in my life where I'm like, you know, am I really, am I even interested in this? Hmm. Am I even curious about it? And I'm like, no, I'm not even curious That's about it. That's why I dig you. You're into I really, man meat. I, I, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. Wow. I've never even experimented or, or kissed a woman or anything. I really haven't. Don't you think Tommy's arms look bruised sometimes? He's got so bruised? many tattoos. Yeah, I mean, because he's got so many tattoos. I can't even imagine him any other way. I look at him, and I don't even, I don't even know if I see tattoos or what I do. And you love the just, tattoos. I love, and it's really cute because I bring my son to this little class, and he gets stamps at the end of the class, and he knows how to say tattoo, and he just runs up to me, tattoo, and he has like what if I your roll kid up his sleeves, and he's got little stamps off his arm. <laughs> what if the like, boys? Daddy. What if the boys say like at uh, fifteen they want to get tattooed? Would you let them? It's up to them. Really? It's up to them. At fifteen, you'd allow at them 15, the choice. I, you know, I, oh, I wish you were my mother. a little younger, maybe seventeen. Really. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. It's always weird, you know? They'll probably rebel against us. They probably won't want any tattoos. Yeah, they'll probably, probably be very like straight. Straight-A students, yeah. not drink, you know? They'd be like, who Yeah, right. Knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? He's a little madman already, so. Right. He's very much like Tommy already. So. You know how many friends your boys are going to have who want to come over to the house and <laughs> oh. sleep over? Do you realize that? You're allowed to. Yeah, I mean, seriously. be like, you're not going over there. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Imagine Our that's your friend's so mother. Fun. Yeah. Oh, God. And she's running around in heels. and fun. You're there. <laughs> You're the party, honey. <laughs> Let's face it. Our house is great. It's unbelievable. We're like a bunch of kids. Oh, I can't A bunch of you. kids. That sounds fun. What kind of shoes are you wearing tonight? Shoes? Yeah, I got to see. Look at this. Oh, go -go, oh pink go-go boots. Go-go boots. Oh, look at Ralph. What are you doing He's in here? He's going to go out and get him shoes like, oh. My prenatal orthopedics. We should just bring guys in to look at you. Oh, look at, you know what's it. great? Isn't that enough? You know what's great? I don't know if she planned her? this, but her boots match her button. Her fur, her fur, her fur button. button, her pink. Did you did you plan that? I did not plan it, but when I put the button on, my friend did say it matches. I saw your movie. You did see my finally, movie. I saw your movie. So it was private great. part. Oh, thank you. It was great. I saw it at home. Finally, we got the tape and we saw it. It was really good. You and Tommy watch it together. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. And he was oh. he sat quiet during it. Yeah, we sat through the whole thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Usually, I fall asleep halfway through. Were you guys naked when you watched it? I don't think so. I no. believe you were. I don't think what so. is your Baba Booey? Pam has to leave this oh. second. Oh. You're kidding. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, do you really want to know? Yeah. She's, uh, she's going to go be at Kathy and Reed. Oh. oh. Are you going to wear that outfit? Well, I want to change if I have time. Don't. Don't change. Oh, that's so sexy. But I've already worn it on your show now. Show so that you. witch what a woman's supposed to look oh. like. Oh, God. Beautiful. Oh, What's your God. next outfit? What do you got it planned for the region? I have two options. What? Depending how much time I have. What? Pink or purple. That's not really a big option. Are they dresses? Just dresses, yeah. Yeah. I think this is perfect. Yeah, I love this, this outfit. This, this is great. You're, you're hanging, you're like, it's like you're bursting out of it. Like little Annie Fanny. Bursting out. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's a good thing. I like bursting out. <laughs> yeah, my voice doesn't drop five octaves. Rock goes, oh, Jordan, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, Gary, could you move your block in my view? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Pam, congratulations. Thank you. On the fact that you are the PETA spokesperson. <laughs> the PETA spokesperson. Yes. Whatever you are. I don't know what the hell this is all about. Well, you have to talk about it. You right. have to and they, about let's it. not electrocute the nuts of animals. Let's not Stop buy buying fur. fur. Stop let's, buying fur. That's like the first about thing leather? you can do. There's all, well, leather is like, it's going to go eventually, too. I'm well, leather's sure cool. No, yeah. you know what? Big it's, deal. It's, it's just cows. Yeah. I'm just checking. Fur, is, I'll, fur, I'll is, the big, fur is, the, is the first thing. You so know, we're against fur? We're totally against fur. Well, if you're against fur, I'm against fur. Thank you. Everyone should be against fur. Are you a vegetarian? 
I'm no, I'm, she eats meat. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up! I'm telling I'm you, I've seen her. it. I've oh. seen it. I'm just against all forms of animal abuse. I mean, really? I think it's just disgusting. It's really horrible. And if everyone knew exactly what they did, just you know, educate yourself before you buy a fur coat. If you, if people should watch these tapes that Peter have, and that's worse than any horror movie that you'd ever ever watch. Really? It's just horrendous it's it's you sick. got animals at home snap little um beagles legs in half and oh. and um they, i'm for that they, oh, oh god it's, i gotta admit so, i like that it's so That's awful fun. really it's awful it's, it's yeah, i feel bad for animals too let me snap your leg in, they leave them in a pile and they're not even all dead yet yeah. and they skin them for their coats uh, and uh. they crush them and it's so wrong it's horrible. I'm getting it's so horrible. upset. It's I need like someone to hold me. Now, now that I'm a mom, now that I'm a mom, I mean, I look at it as like, you know, if, if someone, I mean, really, you skin your child and wear this child's, you know, skin on your back. I mean, it's just horrible because they're innocent victims. They're, they are, they're unsuspecting. They're, you know, it's, it's horrible. I can't even, you're I can't, smiling I can't, because I can't concentrate. No, I, can't, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm so busy looking at you. I'm the only one who can hear you. I can't help myself. Don't hold it against me. Don't if you, wear any fur, Robin. If no, you put I a bag over your head, fur. maybe I could pay attention to what you're saying. <laughs> Whatever you say. Oh, man. You're against fur, so yes. I'd like to be against your fur. I mean, what is the difference? Oh. I mean, unbelievable. You're a beautiful woman. If you were against hair, I'd shave my head. That's right. You could be speaking Chinese right now. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you are fur less, I noticed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm against fur. I told you. You are, you are gorgeous. <laughs> Listen, Pam, I love having you on. I love being here. Congratulations on the uh, new baby. Thank you. In advance. Thank you. Tell Tommy congratulations on having the life I wish I had. <laughs> okay? How do you he is the luckiest now. man so in the world. I'm going to go see him in Texas. How do you come up with the names for your children, by the way? This new Just, one's going to be named Dylan, I yeah, hear? Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. Dylan. Really Not after Bob the, Dylan. No. Not after the 90210 no, thing. No, no. Someone said that to us. And it's like, as if we watch 90210. I watch it. I've never That's watched that show. show in my well, life. Well, they, they have a life. I don't watch TV, though. Yeah, I'm just playing with my husband. Right. <laughs> I mean, I saw what they I would never watch TV. <laughs> if I had you, you'd have to be it. I mean, our house is so fun. I mean, really. You can, oh, when you're really? in L.A., you should come to our house and see I'm, our house. Believe me, okay. I'm coming up. And make sure Tommy's out of town. She didn't invite you, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Look at Ralph. Like, Ralph's like, hey, I get to okay. go, too. You're not going. They don't want you there. They don't know who you are. I wish I was here earlier. I could stay longer. I know. This sucks. This you sucks. have to leave. We it have sucks, so much ground to cover. But all right, the next time. Next time. I'm hardly ever in New York. I mean, I can't believe I'm here eight and a half months pregnant, but this was really important. You did the right thing. Yeah. Believe me. Who cares about the baby? It's the animals we have to worry oh, about. Oh, God. That's right. She has to do it. Listen. Pamela Lee. And uh, P PETA have gotten together to raise awareness about the animals and their nuts and uh, their uh, <laughs> anal electrocution. Am I correct? Who's that guy? You get, oh, you're Peter. from PETA? He's from PETA. You know, also, you know, you, yeah. you think of, when, you, when you're using products like Procter & Gamble or Colgate and Palmolive, make sure you, you check into it and see if they're testing on animals because the laboratories are doing horrible things to animals as well right. and all sorts of different things. So just, you know, you can really make a difference by doing little things, cutting out certain things in your life. Tell me what, I'll do it. <laughs> Tell me. Don't wear fur. That's You're from PETA? Yeah. That's what we're yeah. You got a big penis question. like Tommy? <gasps> you better. <laughs> Pam, I love when you come on. Thanks for coming Thank in. Uh, congratulations on everything. Thank you and very much. Uh, say hi to Tommy for me. I will. Luckiest man in America. <laughs> we'll go see him in concert. He's still yeah. touring. I know. Yeah, we Cheap heard trick. from him the other day. That's With right, Cheap he Trick. Told us. Great Cheap double trick. bill. I love Cheap Trick. I'm me so too. excited. Huge fan of theirs. I'm so excited. We're going to take a break and uh, we'll come back with the news after this and. I'll walk Pamela out of here, oh, as I do okay. all the guests. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll be back right after this. Oprah Winfrey was given an honorary doctorate degree. At if I could be sick every day, I'd never even look before I leaped. I would always be sick. I would always be sick. Oprah Winfrey was what? Given an honorary degree, a doctorate, I suppose, at Spelman College yesterday. A doctor of foodology. Where, where? She's now the, the head of the food. She's now a doctorate in food. Where she addressed the graduating class. Yeah. Here's a little bit of what she had to say. Oh, you got it? You were there? Oh, excellent. Robin covering the world. It is. Thank you. It is a wonderful day. And at this moment, at this moment. This is a woman who could barely read. <laughs> You ever seen her on that show when she has to read from a card? She can barely get through it. She's getting an honorary doctorate for what? But I love how people take on these airs when they speak oh, for college. Oh. It is a wonderful day. Yeah. And at this moment. Yes, yes. This Very moment, serious. <laughs> this moment. 
<laughs> moment. Uh, moment. This auspicious occasion. You know, let me tell you something. This, uh, and most of the kids in the audience can barely function. They want their diploma. That's they want all. their degree. Yeah, fat Oprah bastard. <laughs> And if you can just revere this moment, hold the moment, because life is so wonderful for you at this moment in time and space. The wonder of it, we don't even realize the... Real alive. Real Realize. <laughs> we don't even realize. <laughs> unlimited possibilities and choices that are before you right now. The future is so bright for you, <laughs> it burns my eyes. It burned my eyes. I guess it's a black college, so she got a little... It's low. a black female yeah. college. She had to put on that black thing. It burned my eyes. <laughs> I'm the doctor now. Holy mackerel. I'll be wearing the white coat and the stethoscope. Hey, where am my stethoscope now that I'm Dr. Oprah? Where are my patients? Where's my... <laughs> I'm open. I'm open for office hours. <laughs> now hold hold on here. Hold that mayor. Where am I stethoscope? I got my first client. I am ready to diagnose. Now let's see. Uh, first I got your tongue depressor. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am Professor Oprah. <laughs> Where am I sandwich? Mmm, <laughs> boy, that's good. Mmm. These tongue depressors are popsicle sticks. Don't say tongue, it make me hungry. Mmm, <laughs> all right, take three ass burns and call me in the morning. Mmm, <laughs> where's my ass burns? My ass burns. <laughs> Your ass burns, Oprah? Stick, stick it out, out the, the window. window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you threw with that stew sample? <laughs> now, nah, that's outrageous. <laughs> I'm Dr. Oprah. Where'd she get a doctor? I think that William Cosby. Bill Cosby. William H. Cosby. Well, he PhD. did actually go to school, Howard. Yeah, he, you know what he wrote his, his thesis on? <laughs> uh, television. <laughs> I tell you, this uh, doctor outfit, I look like a snowman. <laughs> I'm a vision in white. Where's my scrubs? I need to get to the OR. <laughs> Where's my MD? My MD stand for many dinners that are coming up with horseradish and potatoes for everyone in the house. I'm happy today to get my doctorate. Now I'm a doctor. I'm Dr. Winfrey. <laughs> now I got the knife. I'm ready for surgery. <laughs> Don't mess with me. What you need, hernia? All right. Step this way. I got my doctorate. I'm Dr. Oprah. <laughs> Are you finished? Let me go on. I can go on all day with this. <laughs> um, there's going to be a 17th James Bond film. You got an appendicitis? Oh, dear. You got insurance? Cut away. <laughs> Cut away. <laughs> Great with you, Dr. Stedman. <laughs> Even my boyfriend don't have a doctorate. Just me, Ofra. <laughs> He's my nurse. He's my sister. He's my nurse. Stedman, you run the medical office while I go do the TV show. <laughs> now, my doctor room is a major honorarium. And uh, I'm telling you, I'd be one brainy, beefy bitch. I never even knew I could have a doctorate. <laughs> or less alone, a PhD. Will you stop? <sighs> I'm talking about James Bond now. What about the bacterium in your buttocks? <laughs> Don't that need to be cleaned? <laughs> Fart ain't good enough. James Bond, number 17. Wow. James, and who is James Bond? They say they're talking to Timothy Dalton again. Oh, really? I heard they were talking to Clarabelle from the old Howdy Doody <laughs> series. <laughs> no, apparently they're talking to Dalton. Dalton is their Bond at this time. Really? Even more intriguing, though, is that Anthony Hopkins might want to play Bond's primary antagonist in a new film. Hmm. 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 That's an interesting show business tidbit. Yes, I think that would be fun. Hmm. What about me as Bond's foe? <laughs> you want to do that, too? Aren't you a little busy? Uh, yes. All right, we'll be back right after these words. What's going on here? More in a moment. <laughs> If I get mellow, I don't stutter. I just like to calm. Yeah, well, who needs you that way? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but actually, it, no, I was there all night. What? I was there all night. Yeah. But, you know, what? you know how normally the police are very cooperative with us? 
You know yeah. what I mean? The, the, last night they would they they didn't they didn't care who I was. <laughs> having a fit were. over there. Fred, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get them on a roll. And they were you know pushing me around. I got this one. I mean you you, you got to hit the tape. It was just it was just a man, you know. Oh, I was just not, oh. they got in between me and Jack, you know. You and Jack. Yeah, you know, me and Jack were rapping. You know what John said? He said, seriously, wait, stop for a second, Fred. Right. You know what he, he said? It's just the cops were really mean to him. Uh, and I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're nice to the cops. We're What's excellent to the cops. What the Nobody cops could be doing? better. I said to him, like, well, the, right after I got Liza, <laughs> uh, right after I got Liza, um, this one big detective who was just working as a security guard that night from, yeah. uh, from Midtown South, supposedly, yeah. comes over to me and goes, and, and takes me and goes, you are not going on the street. Why? What, why is he doing that? I go, I, I'm, I'm a reporter for Kerry. You are no reporter, and that's it. I go, you're going to turn me anti-cop. So then, yeah. so then I go to the, I, so, so then I go to the, another cop across the street. I go, I, and I go, guy, man, Stutter and John, the Howard Star Show. I'm from the Howard Star Show. He goes, I don't care where you're from. So I'm like, oh, really? Man, yeah. The cops said, yeah. This is, this is hey, cops. What's your three, deal, man? Three or four. And then the next, then You're I, starting to feel like a black guy who's been going a hundred miles an hour in a car. Oh, man. Then I try and get Liza again, and then I have a fight with the cop on the on the on the on the on the on the tape. And this is where, and my first interview with Liza, this is where Stutter really screws me up because I can't get the whole question out, and then she and then she walks away from me. Okay, but but my disguise was impeccable last night. All right, that's why they knew you. When I open my mouth, I'm doomed. Hey, Liza, how you doing? Can I have a question for XRK Radio? Yes. <laughs> I, yes. 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 She's into her thing already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Into her thing. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? All right. Uh, you so fragile. Hello. 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 Um, how are you? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, free tickets tonight? No, we don't. Do you? No, no. Uh, <laughs> What'd you ask her if what she's free? What was the question? Do you have free tickets tonight? Yeah, that was the first generic question. Yeah, but where's the second question? The second question is the one I get stuck on. Uh, free tickets tonight? No, we don't. Do you? No, no, no. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what are you trying to say here? Are you, are you struggling right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm struggling. You're now. nervous? And now, and now, like, the other TV camera crews get us, so I got to now wait for the next So what one. is the question that you're trying to ask? Now I'm going to ask her when uh, she's in the, uh, you know, when she's... Yeah. <laughs> during the show, that she go to the lobby when she has to fart. Oh, okay. Oh. So now I try to get it out, but it just doesn't happen, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm doomed. <laughs> so, like, you're... Right, the silence now is you trying to get the word out. Yeah, then yeah, but then she moves away, and now I'm so like, you can't even get started. Watch, now I'm so just you're going through all your weird wor facial tics. Yeah, I, I, this is where it just really blows. <laughs> all right, you know? okay, we're stuttering blows. Yeah, yeah this is okay. where I could really, you know, be a. Detail. It never blows. Never, never curse your stuttering because you would be out of here so fast. <laughs> you're such a drag otherwise. Oh come on, I'm your pal, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look who I'm playing cards with tonight, stuttering John. Hey, he's your buddy. He yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing there. I'm nostalgic about the clothes and everything else. I mean, everything seems to be just coming back so nicely. And this show is wonderful. I saw it in uh, California. <laughs> Oh, so someone else got a hold yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm like... And listen to the Hollywood BS. Oh, yeah. Everything's wonderful. The clothes... Everything's coming back so nicely. Everything's coming back so nicely. Like, like all according to Liza's plan. <laughs> it's coming back nicely. <laughs> Everything is coming back nicely. As opposed to those other things that did not come back nicely. <laughs> it's like all those stupid songs I sing. Yeah, they got to get back to me eventually if they keep pouring through all this old stuff. <laughs> so, you, so the other reporters are there, and you're going into those weird yeah, facial yeah, tics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying. I'm, 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 and John goes into this facial tic where he starts he to purse. He up. He starts to purse his lips. You feel like he should throw a fishing line in his mouth. Because <laughs> <laughs> he gets stuck in that one pose. <laughs> <laughs> Liza. <laughs> what, what do you think is different about this versus all the other formats that the show has been in? I think it's much more understandable. And uh, the music is... Like, where are they going to play this interview? <laughs> I think it's much more understand. I think the clothes are coming back. To I mean, where are they going to play these interviews? You never hear these interviews anywhere. <laughs> So beautifully by the orchestra. The new orchestrations are great, and just the choral sound is amazing. The choral sound. 
and not. Boy, I tell you something. If I ever have a show, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite Liza. Yes, because she will say all the right things. Yeah. The orchestrations are great. The orchestrations, the choral thing, so beautifully. Yeah, but she's the only. She's always the celebrity who manages to get cornered and can't find the car. Right. Put her in wrong <laughs> cars. You know. Oh, yeah. Right. Here we go. Wasn't she the one who you were interviewing once and she ran, she into, ran into the wrong limo? She ran into the wrong limo <laughs> to get away get from you? She had to get out again so I could get her again. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she didn't recognize you at all? Yeah. No. Well, no, especially last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then she bonks her head into the car. <laughs> I can hear her in the limo going, "Who is that guy?" That's <laughs> yelling. <laughs> oh, Liza loses her Help me, help me! Because this is the third or fourth. Oh, oh my yes. God, I, the orchestration is beautiful. The this is that. Then she gets in the car. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> and the story is real clear in this. Meanwhile, out of the corner of her eye, she probably sees you're still standing there. <laughs> Sweat. Yes, <laughs> 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 the orchestration is. Excuse me, young man. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Somebody get the police. <laughs> He probably wants to give him a Heimlich maneuver. Somebody help him. He's choking. He's choking, damn it. I'm Liza. Super Liza. I'm Super Liza to the rescue. This will help bring in a younger audience. I think so, yeah. It depends. The prizes are what's holding back a younger audience. The prizes. I like it. I is that you? Out. That's me. Oh, yeah. like that. That's that me is not Fred. No, that's, 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 that's me winding up. I can't get it. Because every time he starts to go, somebody else asks. I questions. swear to you, that's John. Yeah. Shh. Wait, I'm turning Fred's microphone off because I thought that was Fred. He's overlapping. Right. It depends. The prizes are what's holding back a younger audience. <laughs> I like it. I always have. <laughs> so you're at the theater, Liza. Do you go to the lobby? He's with me. No. <laughs> oh, man, I stutter like a maniac. So you never got it out? And she no, no I, I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it out. That's where I stu- hey, hey, you, you think, moron. <laughs> write all those questions. You think the good with the bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, got, I, I, I will say that I get the question out with Jack. So, you know. Yeah. All right, Jack Nicholson. Hey, Jack, can I ask you a question? Right, here's Jack Nicholson. The XRK Radio. What's that? Can I ask you a question for the XRK? Uh, sure, what? Your sister is your mother. Does that mean that you send your sister a Mother's Day card? Uh, uh they're both dead. Are you a Howard Stern fan, Jack? What? Are you a Howard Stern fan? Howard Stern, you never heard of him? Did you ever do coke with John Belushi, Jack? Oh, Let me close the door on my face. Oh, man. So the question was, if your sister is your mother... Do you send your sister a Mother's Day card? Because his sister, his sister, he was w- raised as, uh, you know, with a woman in the house that he thought was his sister, but that was actually his mother. So they're both dead. That's what he said. They're both dead. Uh, happy ending. He doesn't have to send any cards. <laughs> so then, like, one- they're both dead, you <laughs> jackass. <laughs> that was horrible. So one of the cops were pulling the wire. That's why when I asked him about you, I was I couldn't even have the mic. So then, so then <laughs> what I got are the cops worried about. You're not going to hurt the guy. I know. So then, so then I got him up to the door and asked him if he ever did coke with Belushi. And that's when he slams the door on my. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, what a good interview. It was worth waiting for. <laughs> but you know, there's Jack. Who's Howard Stern? Who's that? I'm not aware of anything. <laughs> can you, can you oh, just play boy. the next one just for a second, <laughs> just to see what my night was like. This is me and Liza again. I got it when she came out. <laughs> Liza, the only star he can get. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Liza. How are you? Can you ask a question from the director? I to get to talk to you. This is wonderful. Uh, it was... Th- What's the problem, sir? You're the problem. I told you before. What do you mean? Now I'm going to lock you up. Get your off me, you fat bastard. Now move. F*** you. I ain't... I'm, I'm uh, in the move. press. What do you mean? Where is your freaking credentials? My credentials in my yeah. pocket. Yeah, let me and see them. Handcuffs are in my pocket. Now move. Relax. Relax. Have a microphone. Have a gun. Walk on the move. sidewalk, move. please. Walk on the sidewalk. That's a cop? Yep. Hey, thanks, guys. What a Are you cursing at cops? <laughs> you're lucky. You're you're in one Jeez. piece today. This is the second time, though. You know. But you didn't know he was a cop. No, I didn't know he was a cop. But it turns out he is. He's he's he's, he's a detective. He's a what? Detective. <laughs> He's a detective. 
Man, what a night. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. What was it? You weren't doing anything wrong. No, no. And there was people getting autographs. Everyone was there. He had to What's he going to do? He's going to lock you up. Yeah, he's going to lock yeah, me the up. The prisons aren't busy yeah, enough. Yeah, you know, some of those other wackos will probably yeah. hurt Jack. He's uh, handling John. Now. Yeah. I guess uh, you can't you can't lock up half the people who murder people in this country, but he's going to lock up John. That's good. Him we can take care yeah, of. Yeah, John you can handle. That's good. You fat bastard. Yeah, that, well, was, uh, that was pretty wild. That was, that's, 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 that was uncalled for. No, it wasn't. This is the second or third time, man. Was the guy fat? Yeah, he's a All fat right. bastard. His <laughs> name is Fat Bastard. That's he's not called Brian Brian Dennehy looking guy. <laughs> What's his problem, man? He's an, you know, you're allowed to be Hi, out on the street. How are you? Can I ask you a question from the director of Arcadia to get to talk to you? It was wonderful. Um, it was... What's the problem, sir? You're the problem. I told you before. What do you mean? I'm gonna lock you up. Take your hand off me, fat bastard. Now move. Hey, this is like the Rodney King tape. I know. Yeah. But he, yeah, he grabbed my mic. Grabbed my. You weren't doing anything. Yeah, yeah. But you, I, you got a you got a ten million dollar case there. I know. It's a Rodney King tape. Can we all just get along? <laughs> so then I pleaded with another cop. I said, "Guy, you know what? What? what he goes, get the hell off the street, dude." Oh yeah, tough guy. Huh? You know, so that yeah, was it. Tough guys. So I was afraid of getting, getting thrown in jail. Yeah, great. Get the hell off the street. There's, there's mutant rapists running around yeah. on the street, but John should get off the street. Well, you know what happens. These guys get overexcited when they're working security for stars. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they, they do. I got to admit, sure. I've had cops do security for shows that we've done, yeah. and they get completely wild. Yeah. <laughs> they get nuts. They're like, okay. I, Nobody's getting near me. No one gets near <laughs> My sister uh, was thrown down a couple of times. <laughs> it's bouncer mentality. Yeah, they, they get nuts. They forget that they're cops and they start to think they're or like. Or that, you know, people are people. And, and he's like I think they think four. they're like the bodyguard in. Um, Whitney Houston. Yeah, movie. Whitney Moose. Was, he, like, they're going to run off with lies and marry her. <laughs> Meanwhile, you right. know. <laughs> lies don't look too good. I told you, the face looks like a manhole cover. Oh, geez. Really? Yeah, it's all like old cracks in it and stuff. Oh. I like that myself. <laughs> wow, John. Jeez. I'm looking at the press. Wait, the press is down. What do you mean? Where's your, where's your credentials? Your credentials? My credentials are in my yeah. pocket. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Handcuffs are in my pocket. Now move. Relax. 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 Have a microphone. Not a gun. Walk on the move. sidewalk, move. please. Move. Bag. <laughs> Bag. <laughs> Fat bastard. <laughs> you called him a fat bastard to his face? Yeah. yeah. Oh, tough guy. Well, after he grabbed me, what was, you know, I had to say what he, what he, what he was. <laughs> you're, just, you're trying to describe for your radio audience what he was. <laughs> you know, it is radio. Well, that's good, continuing to report even yeah. under uh, stress. You know, I, uh, the Hindenburg disaster was just the same thing. As, <laughs> as shook up as the guy was, he kept talking into his microphone. <laughs> Get out of the way, please. Now the folks between us, this is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the yep. world. Oh, it's just a great Oh, all the humanity and all the friends. I can't do it. I can't uh, talk to people. It's just out there. Oh. It's, 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 oh. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, it's just like they're masses. Fucking wreckage. And everybody's kid, I'll be free. Oh, look at all the dead fat bastards. I, I'm going to step inside where I cannot see it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. I, 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 I listen, folks. I, I'm going to have to stop for a minute because I've lost the voice. This is the worst thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> Uh, see, he stopped. Yeah, he you stopped, kept going. Yeah, I kept going. All right, I got to do the news. We got we got to get uh, going with the show. All right, we'll, we'll listen to the last one. Yeah, don't think it was Daltrey and Ant Whistle and you know, Daltrey is upset that he doesn't have a part in your movie. Daltrey? Yeah, he he wants a part in Fart Man. Yeah? yeah, that's what he had. And Ant Whistle? Ant Whistle? Ant Whistle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's the guy who wrote? Uh, who's the guy? The lead singer in the Who? I mean, who's the lead guitar player in the Who? Pete Townshend. Who? Pete Townshend. He was running around all day yesterday going, Pete Townshend. Yeah, yeah no. Townshend, right? That's I right. didn't correct him when I heard him in the office. That's I how you spell it, no? Yeah, we almost corrected him. We realized, yeah. let's get him to say it on the air. <laughs> Pete Townshend. He's not saying that as a joke. No, 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 no it's not no. a joke. I swear to God. I thought, is it, isn't there an H in his... In, in, yeah, it is. You're right. No, you're right. That's, that's the way you say it. How do you say it? <laughs> Pete Townshend. All right. All right? Yeah. Hey, you're right. Well, I would, I would, if there's an H in there, I, 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 who knows? Yeah. All right. Pete Townshend. <laughs> Pete Townshend. <laughs> That bastard. <laughs> All right, Pete Townshend. Thank All right, you. man. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me on. John Townshend. Stuttering John Townshend. <laughs> All right, man. All right, thanks, bro. Hey, you want me to leave? Yeah. We, right, we were right. doing news. How could he possibly get through his life thinking that's right? I don't know. Because, well, then why would they put the H there? Never heard of the who? 
Yeah, the who? Pete Town. All right, wait, wait, wait. Oh. What, what do you mean? I mean, all right, Townsend, right? Townsend, is that, is that what you said? No, Townsend. The Wahoo. The Wahoo. The Wahoo. <laughs> the, the Wahoo. The Wahoo. The Wahoo. The Wahoo. If you want to stay for the news, fine, stay. It's okay. You're invited. You can sit here. You did a good job. You can help me with the names. Yeah. <laughs> Robin has trouble. You can help me with the names. Hey, Robin, you shouldn't talk, man. Too many people call and go, Robin. <laughs> Are you going to criticize Robin? No. Here we go. Oh, Pete, Townsend, we go. Pete Townshend has been around for a, uh, a long enough time where everyone should know how to say his name. Some of these names are new in the news. Yeah, please, John. Yeah, but Robin says, like, Bo Jackson's a basketball player. You know what I mean? You know, come on. So, I'm, sitting, I'm not reading, John. I'm talking off the top of my head, and Bo Jackson plays baseball and football. Yeah, but a lot of times you, you screw that stuff I never up. heard of screw that up. He's making that up. That's off the top of his head. Now they can call you. Did you have a gig tonight? In Pahiladelphia. <laughs> in pa, Pahiladelphia. <laughs> I never heard of a silent H, man. So, you know, come on. When are we going to Pahiladelphia? Because we beat the Zoo Keeper. Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, listen, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> this is Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, go ahead. Hello? Hi. Yes, Mary Ellen. Hi. Um, I had written a letter to you and Robin back in December, and um, I had spoken to Anne Marie yesterday, and evidently, I guess it never got to you all, and I had refaxed it yesterday. Um, my father is, is dying, and we are gonna, we're losing our house because we can't pay for his medicine. And my daughter and I are going to be on the street as of um, the end of the month. And I have tried to get a loan from everywhere I could, and I can't. And I have some jewelry that I can put up as collateral, and I could sign any kind of waiver or anything that you'd like. Oh, that I like? What do I got to do with it? I'm just asking for some help. Oh. No, well, unfortunately, we can't help you. How did she get into this uh, dire strait? My daughter was molested two years ago, and I didn't work for a year. And I got into a lot of debt, and now I can't get anyone to rent to me because I'm so much in debt. Mm. So you could see this coming? Yeah. No, my father wasn't diagnosed until five months ago. No, 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 that you needed to get a job. Oh, I'm working now. I've been working. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, you know, we get a lot of calls from people who all need money. I Seems like, need be in your condition. Yeah, and if we give our money to you, we're going to be like you looking for money. And there's plenty of people in our lives looking for money that we have to support. Yeah, we have to help our family. I got tons of people who are all on the dole. <laughs> you understand what I mean? You, your trick is to find some sucker, I mean man, to pay for it. No. That's, you know. That's, that's, what? That's true. It's not true. How do you I, figure this? You There's only about ten people in the world who actually work. The I rest, of, the rest never, of the people are figuring out how to get the I'm money on from the them. Phone, trying to get it out of. Yeah, I, I, I have listen. never not worked in my life. No, honey, I'm, I'm not saying I don't feel bad for you. After Believe me. My I, daughter was molested. That was the only time in my life I didn't work. Sweetie, sweetie, listen to me. I, I'm not calling you. Uh, uh, you know, a. Why uh, did you have to quit work? I, I was suicidal because my daughter was molested for ten months. I didn't find out till a week before the wedding. Been doing that to her. Oh. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> what, what, what are you I thinking? I was molested. Nobody quit work. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> kept working. <laughs> Look at me. You're stronger than I am. I, I felt that I failed my daughter. And I ended up being hospitalized. You well, mean, you're really you, failing her now. You mean your daughter needed you and you went into the hospital? <laughs> you're really <laughs> failing her now. Well, listen. Uh, no offense. I can give you a two hundred fifty dollar gift certificate to uh, buy dot com. You want that? No, thank you. Because we won't have any electricity. We'll be living in our car. Oh, you thought you had a job? Huh? Why'd you sell your car? I can. I owe money on my car. Uh, Otherwise, how am I going to work? Yeah. I'll tell you, life's a bitch, man. Having to go out and make money. Believe me, I hate it. Every day I, I get out. I, I don't like it. Work. Every day I drag my body out of bed at 4 in the morning, I go, there's got to be a nicer way to do this than the way you I'm know, doing it. Be so 
waiting, but it never worked. Yeah, I know I know what you're saying, but you know what it is? We get about a thousand letters a day from people like you and thank you guys too. Yeah, please don't don't hold it against us. It's just that if, it's just that if we start if we start dipping in, we're gonna we're gonna be end up I know that there are other resources out there for you. You just <laughs> haven't told us what they are. Yeah, what are they, Robin? I don't Quick. Know. You gotta go we have tried for a year to keep from losing the house and keeping up with his medicine. Say hmm. he is on disability. The state will not pay for his medicine. What, 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 kind of, what kind of disease has he got? He has got diabetes. And they won't pay for his medicine? Heart, they pay for the insulin, but he's got heart disease, and he's got blockage in every artery of his heart, and his medicine is about six to $700 a month that the state will not pay for. My sister and I have been paying for. And your sister, what does she do? She works at a hospital. Want a uh, gift certificate of Prince's Ski Shop? No, thank you. Really? Are you turning down everything? Uh, it's I know, but not. I'm trying to help you out. You're just turning everything down. I I don't so, get it. I don't. What well, do you look like? You know, oh, she's a week late. She's, you know, a week ago we could have took her, taken her to Las Vegas and played for a hundred thousand. Yeah, you should have called us. I I have. I would have. I would have played since, for you. I've been calling you since December. I sent you a registered oh, letter in December. Registered. Oh, I see. Well, you know, listen, I mean, there's got to be, uh, you know, you should call. Is uh, What's that rich dude who gives out all his money? Uh, he lost all his money. I mean, he gave it all away, <laughs> okay, that right. Percy Ross. Yeah, you see Percy Ross. <laughs> you see what happened to him? He was a soft touch. You know, if I if I end up giving everyone money, I'll I'm end up calling radio shows. I'll be like, hey, I lost all my money giving it to the fans. I'm not asking you to give it to me. If you just read my letter... I would pay you back every month. <laughs> you haven't been able to pay back anybody else. I have to pay back us. You ain't going to pay me back. Yes, I would. Really? Yes, I would. <laughs> She's good. Are you good looking? <laughs> I think I am. Oh, maybe you could pay me back. Hey, did you take that guy to jail who uh, yes. molested your daughter? Yes, he, he was sentenced to 10 months or uh, 10 years. Oh, good. Well, that's one thing. Well, that's good. Something happened positive. You should marry a rich guy like Anna Nicole Smith, and you'd have like a half a billion dollars. And you know where you find that? Where? At the strip club. Hold on, Brian wants to speak. Maybe he has a solution. Let's see. Mama, Brian. This is funny. Mama, 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 my uh, cat got hit by the car, and it was playing a body test, and it could have worked. It's a Brian, Brian, body what body happened to you? My cat. My cat, Timmy. Your cat, Timmy? What happened? He got hit by a car. Oh, wow. I got put in a body test, and I couldn't work. <laughs> this is a real compassionate guy. Uh, Can I so spare some money? I would you I like a uh, Would you I like skate. Would you like a trip for two to Key West, ma'am? No, thank you. you well, could, that's a fresh start. Nobody knows you that. <laughs> includes round trip airfare, four days, three nights, courtesy of the beach. The film starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Now available on video and DVD. Howard. Yes, honey. I don't think it's funny. I'm I just saying. My father is all I have. My mother died when I was nine years old. Oh, I'm not calling up. I have worked for the past year and a half. What do you want to say, Robin? Go ahead. I can't say anything. What do you want to I say? I can't say a word. Oh. Robin, please don't. I understand you were molested. How old are you? 35. Okay. All right. All right. What are you saying, Robin? You know, we all have parents. All our parents are going to die. You know, it's it's not like a surprise. No, yeah. I understand that. But the fact of the matter is that after the end of this month, he is going to be gone. He's going to move with my sister because we can't afford to keep up the house anymore. Uh-huh. I cannot get... Why don't put him in the home or something? No, he's already moving with his sister. This is the problem that's taken care of. Why are we crying? Because I have no place to take my 14-year-old daughter. Then you should start working on that now. I've been working on it. I cannot get anyone to rent me because I am so far in debt. What are you talking Somehow about? Now everybody finds some place to live. We well, do? We're, we're yes. going to be in the car. There's not even a woman's shelter here. I've already checked. Uh, what are you saying? Kevin says he has a worse story than you. See, that's the problem. That's Listen, what is it, Kevin? To try to win some contest of who has the worst Hold on, story. let's see. Kevin, what's uh, what's your story? Listen, this, this woman's whining. Let me tell you something. Uh, about a week ago, my wife 
take her to a uh, hospital to admit her into an institution, wax out, all depressed and everything. She leaves me for some guy she met in the mental institution, <laughs> leaves me and my son behind, okay? See? You know? Go ahead. I'm not caught in here whining, oh, give me this, give me that, Aren't you know? You taking a year off from work? You I'm working you... right now, as a matter of fact. Should... I deliver newspapers, for Christ's sake. I got my son with me right now. I'm not sitting there whining, oh, give me a handout. Come on, you know? All right, my well... wife left me for some crackhead, for Christ's sake. All right, thank you. Thanks. Uh, hold on. Maybe somebody else has a solution. Paul, go ahead. Hey, hey Howard. Howard. Well, hold on. Let me see if I have someone, maybe a rich guy calling. Yeah, go ahead, Paul. <laughs> I'm not calling with no sob story. It's this lady... She's putting on an act. All she has to do is open up the phone book. She could find a hundred different places that she can get help at instead of calling Howard Stern Why for a handout. Me? Why don't you tell me? You Why don't you open the phone we book? Call, call a hospital. Call something for your we father. And Howard. Everything. The hey, Howard. Society, everything. Yes. I, I, would, I would be happy to volunteer for any one of those three things that you just offered her. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll use them. Thank you. <laughs> Take it easy. All right. <laughs> Listen, this is the I wrong show to call for a handout, honey. Yeah, I don't I know what made her call. Yeah, you don't hear Jackie <laughs> dipping into that pocket or Fred. He's into the whole thing enjoying it. Yeah, he... he Bouncing right off of <laughs> Eddie says he's a surgeon, wants to give you $25,000. Is that right, Eddie? It's inoperable. He is inoperable. No, Eddie? He was I will give, with him. I will give her $25,000. You will? Just as long as I get the bank of daughter. Oh, that's oh, wrong. Oh, that's God. terrible. Right. They make it twenty-four thousand. You can give me oral. <laughs> Sir, you are sick. Fifteen thousand. I'll stack the mother on top of her. Oh. <laughs> we'll have a seafood yeah. salad. All right, thank you. Well, my good God. Well, what would you feel if that was your fourteen-year-old? Oh, I would feel awful, Howard. awful, awful people. <laughs> awful people, ma'am. Well, listen. What can I tell you? You're going to have to. Um, Go to a different show, I think, because... Who's uh, next on the list? No, I'm not <laughs> going. There is no one else on the list, Robert. I just called thinking that I could ask you to help me. Have you and ever I, heard us help anybody before? Yeah, we don't help anybody. I don't help my own family. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you call us? I'm still trying to figure out how to get half my money back. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? I have, because I've listened to the show since I was 16. Years old. Oh. And I have heard. <laughs> You've heard what? I've heard you help people <laughs> to give money to the homeless. I know that you. Yeah, we use them. Right. We, take, <laughs> we want to take pictures of them blowing the money. <laughs> oh. Don't you get it? We're not good people. We're the worst. <laughs> Are you kidding well, me? I, I can't think of one nice thing we've ever done for anybody. Yeah, we sit around racking our brains. We wouldn't give a we wouldn't give a a, a, a person with leprosy a penny. <laughs> I don't believe that. You're better off than most people compared to what we've turned down. I don't believe that. Oh, it's the truth. Absolutely. What show are you listening? You show your to what, where do you listen out of New York? No, I I moved from New York. Where are you now? North Carolina. Oh, there's a show. Don't you must be listening to a different show. We don't go out till six thirty there, evidently. <laughs> yeah. Now we we are very uh, heartless. heartless. Know, we you are a good person, and so is Robin. Robin is not. Heartless. I can I can tell you heartless. that. <laughs> Robin's all right. I'm horrible. Uh, I you know once a year I might do something. But hold on, I here's Greg. Know, Maybe yeah. he has a solution. Oh, please, Howard, I'm please. looking for a solution. Would you give me a chance? No, these people want to make. Well, they maybe they do and maybe they don't. There was a guy there that said twenty five thousand, but it, it turned out he wanted uh, he wanted to do weird things. Uh, yeah, it wasn't free and clear. Let me see, Greg. Go ahead. You have a solution for this woman? Uh, no actuality, I do, ma'am. I'm sorry for the last caller who said he wanted to bang you. Thought that was very very uncalled for. Uh, I represent a corporation who's willing to take over all of her debts. Go ahead. And uh, we'll put her to work. I'll fly her in from where did she say she's from? North Carolina. I North Carolina. Have a job. I'm sorry. I do have a full time job. Well, I know actually I'll be able to take your debts over, and you'll be able to work them off, so this way you don't have any uh, creditors coming and look for you. You'll work for my company. It's uh, misskitty.com with one S. If you go to the website, you'll be able to email me. <laughs> what an audience. What people are coming forward to help? Howard, it's an, it's an all-actuality thing here. We can do this. What do you do uh, on Miss Kitty? Very, it's a very, very... Uh, well, tasteful. what does she have to do on MissKitty.com? It's uh, MissKitty.com 1S. It's a very uh, mature, uh, light porn adult website. Oh, I'm not and she's got to do light porn? Well, no, her daughter. No. No, oh, oh, that's wrong. No. That's not funny. That's not funny. I have I'm a daughter so, that of course. I've got to raise. I am 
not going to do that. Of course not. Of course not. I don't expect you to do that. Mutsy, what is it? Mutsy. Howard, it's Mutsy. Does this lady want to become a prostitute? I'll be her pimp. Well, I don't think she's looking for that. Are you looking for that kind of work? I don't think so. You're a decent no. lady. Does she mind having her teeth pulled out? We'll get extra money for that. Oh, oh come on, Mutsy. You're compassionless. Jerry, what do you think? Al, one, she would be living in her car. She ought to take that gift certificate. She might need the clothes to keep warm. Why not take but, the Princeton um, Ski Shop gift certificate at least? Yeah. Hey, oh, Howard. You. Yeah. Yeah, why don't she just bring her father to the hospital? So she's in so much debt that it's his own thing and he may not be living. Just bring him to a hospital, an emergency room. Say, hey, come visit in a couple of days, Pop. See ya. You know what? You could call, like, the governor's office of your state. I have. And they, oh, come on. They, they they got all kinds of programs and stuff to help people like you. Yes, we're on a two year waiting list. We oh. have been since May mm. because he's a veteran. I got to tell you something. I got a lot of people in my family with problems too, and I, I you know I'm kind of filled up with them. I, I just can't. That's the bad part about being on the radio. You know, there's a lot of people that come to you with problems, and yeah, honey, our job here is to sort of lighten things up for people. Yeah, but like for people like you who are in bad shape, we just try to make you laugh. That's our that's our that's we, how we that's do. how we pay you. <laughs> that's how we pay you. That's the best we can do. Howard. Do we lighten your load? Do we make you laugh? Yes, you do. Well, that's all we can do. I we did everything. We did Already. everything we could do. I would give you, I would pay you back everything. I understand, honey, but I'm tapped out right now. I'm hurting from the divorce. You, you know, I got, hardly make I got problems, too. I know that. I'm sorry for you. You want problem. his kids to go without food? Yeah. No, I don't. The kids want new computers. <laughs> Nikki, you're on the air. <laughs> what is it, Nikki? Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Hi. Um, help this Howard? woman out. Yes, please help this woman out. I have to get to work. What? I have to get to work. I do. I work every day. What? I work she says she day. works every day. Oh, please. I'm a single mother. I have a $700 apartment. I work for $10 an hour, and I do what I have to do to keep the roof on my head. Right. Where are you from, honey? I'm from um, Jamaica? Boston. Boston? Huh? Where, where were you originally from? What's that accent? <laughs> I'm from Puerto Rico. Oh. And she's making it. And she's making it. She's yeah. a Puerto Rican and she's making yeah. it. Yeah. If I had to suck a d***, I'd suck it. Honey. Oh, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> <laughs> hey. Do you know, just to keep the roof over my head. You're saying you do all... I had to bleep you. You do oral on guys if you have I to... I do make... whatever I have to do to support my daughter. I'm a single parent. And you've given guys... My daughter. You've given guys oral to do it to... Uh, to support your daughter? I do what I have to do. How I much have you, to do anything, I do it. How much you charge for something like that? Huh? How much you charge for something like that? Um, 200. 200. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not a filthy pig like you. Oh. Oh, please. <laughs> you are disgusting. Just like. <laughs> and what is, what That's is the worst. Great bitch, you f***ing little crybaby. <laughs> All right, thank cry you. Baby. At least my daughter That's won't to, work. Work to be a whore like you. Did, huh. did you go to school? I went to high school, went to Catholic high school on Long Island. And, and, and what experience do you have? Do you work in restaurants? Can you I flip work. hamburgers? Are you no. handicapped? No, I'm not. I work in security. You Okay, so keep making work overtime if you have to. There is no overtime. I work a second job part-time. But I've been helping support my father for the past year. You just, I don't know. <laughs> all right, thank just you. Just put your know because you're doing. a whore. And whores do not know anything. Uh, Anyone that would be trying to raise a kid by use it. doing you gotta sexy face it. Use it. men are the pigs. <laughs> okay, thank you. Use it, because I know how to use mine. Yeah, well, you're a filthy, disgusting <laughs> pig, and we should send you back oh, where please. you came from. All right, thank you. <laughs> Wait, there's got to be someone who can help. No, out Howard, there's, there's no one. There's got to be. Ha, have, have faith. Everybody. Have faith. You know, there could be some compassionate person out there, there. who's having trouble getting through. Zach says he can help. Well, how can you help, Zach? Hey, Howard, how you doing? Yeah. Let me tell you something. She just said her dad was a veteran. I have a friend who got divorced. His dad was a bad alcoholic. And just because he's a veteran, they gave him a place to live at the VA hospital. He lived there for free. He got his medicine for free. Everything he got was free through the you VA have hospital. To get, yes, and we have an application in. Well, there and you go. So, so we should be working on that. Two years. He two years? Oh, I, do I don't believe that. Monday. That's, a, that's not right. Listen, if you people could pull some strings, 
anything. Go ahead. I have, we have. I can't everything. do I anything. Why work? does everybody think I'm God? I well, can't. you're telling me that I'm a liar. No, I'm I telling can't. you that if you call the veterans administration, a veteran can get a hospital. What would they have he those hospitals? Need to be hospitalized. The hey, VA Howard. hospital. I'll tell you what, honey. He does not need to be hey, hospitalized. Howard. Of course he does. You're telling me he has seven hundred dollars. He can't go there and get his medication. He's got That's blocked what we arteries. Called what? She said before that she uh, she's been paying for her dad for a year, but then before she said he was only diagnosed five months ago. I know. We've been paying for his medicine. He has had diabetes. Why did you? Need, you said that they were paying for the for the insulin. He just started on insulin. His his diabetes got worse. I and don't know. He's just been on lady. insulin for too much. You know what? I don't, hey, I don't I'll take care what you think. Shop. What? I'll take that that gift certificate from Prince's Tea Shop. I'm a snowboarder. I can use it. All right, give this guy the Princess Ski Shop oh, gift certificate. Hold have on. Have a good time, dude. Have a good time. Thanks. Thank you for your time, Howard. Well, listen, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not insensitive. Well, I mean, I am, but well, I, I mean, I think that's going a bit far. Out. But I, I'll be honest with you. I don't really want to give my money to you. You work very hard. I work hard for it. I know you do. I'm sorry. I, I please you, forgive you me. To, you know, sort of took care of everything. You didn't fall apart and stay off the radio just because you were bad things happening in your it's life. It's not. It's not that I'm not charitable. I do give money to charity. I, I just, know you, do. you know, I just, uh, you know, maybe you ought to contact a charity, like the Salvation Army or something. Would give you all my old junk. But uh, I don't know. Well, thank you very much. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm trying I'm on the phone here working it trying to and find George out. George W. Bush says go to the churches. Chauncey Hayden says yeah go to the George W. Bush is giving all our taxpayers yeah, money to the churches. churches. What about, about the money. church? Go to the church. They got tons of money. Do you have no idea the kind of dough they have? They don't part, that church don't part with a dime. <laughs> they got more money. And they still want money from the government. They should sell those goddamn buildings. They're housing those churches. And they'll make millions and she billions could of dollars. Go live in one. You could live in the church. You, you, they live like kings over there. Chauncey, what is it? Howard, I think I have a solution for this woman. What is it, honey? Does, does she have a computer? Does she own a computer? Do you own a computer? No. No, she doesn't. Chauncey, well, if she, she can get her hands on one, she can go to a cyber cafe, because on eyata.com right now, we're doing the praise that pays. Oh, and come on. you got to be kidding me, Chauncey. No, it's a hey, solution. Chauncey, no of hey, Chauncey, no, no offense. Are you going to stop using me or what? I'm trying to help this Yeah, but don't Howard. call up with that dumb Have website. Don't call up with that dumb website. That's going to be I'm, out of business in a year. Thank yeah, you. Just for I'm, I'm just trying to help. Shut they up, can, they can up, give away $10 million. What is that? Well, if she goes to the... Uh, oh, okay. Please just for argument's sake, how much money was the woman looking for? But how much you need? $8,000. Oh, Jesus. 8000 not a quick uh, little get-me-over-the-month loan, honey. No, I know. I had, we were, we were a week away from getting married. Oh, and please, with to, that guy. That was two years ago. Yeah, please, forget that Robin, guy. Robin, he went to jail. I, I understand, good. but that was a long time ago. I don't want to hear about how he's still affecting your life. Yeah, yeah, forget that guy. Oh, well, okay, Robin. Bruce, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, man. I'm Listen, I'm this with this the town with no blacks and no Jews up in the mountains of North Carolina. I got the solution to this woman's problem. All right, what is it? I, I got a house in Salisbury, North Carolina. Do you know where that is, ma'am? Yes, it's about 25 minutes away from me. I will let you go live in that house, and you'll be about four blocks away from the Veterans Hospital in Salisbury, and they'll take care of your dad, and I'll let you live there for one month free. Wow. See, there you go. There you go. How much, um, is the, how much will the rent be after that? I mean, do it. $500 a month. Hmm. And what did you say? No blacks or Jews there? Well, where I live, I live up in the mountains of North Carolina. Is that Salisbury? No, I live oh. at Grandfather Mount oh. in Mortimer, Mortimer, North Carolina. And there's no blacks or Jews up there? No, you remember I called you a long time ago and you asked me if the name of my town was Utopia. <laughs> <laughs> <How dare you? laughs> that is funny. I'm funny. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'll you fix it up, Howard. Me. Really? For real? For no shit. I mean, no lie, buddy. Really? Hey, I'll you hear it. that, ma'am? He's going to give you a house. That's right. That's nice. Free of charge. Is that really for real? Free month, free. Isn't that nice? And then I could live there after that? Exactly. Well, there you go. Yeah, three see. bedrooms, one bath, nice big old house. My audience is very good. Thank goodness for them. Honey, I'll hook you up with this guy, if you're on the level.
I'm on the level, brother. You check me out. No problem. Well, there you go. And there's no one else living there. Nobody, well, nobody else living in the house is empty. Okay. <laughs> hey, Howard. What? Can I win something? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to let me win, brother? Well, ma'am, ma are you there? Yeah. All right, hold on. Uh, well, give this guy something, Gary. I'm going to give him a $250 gift certificate. Gift certificate to buy.com. That's a good that's a good old website. And they get all the way up to the mountain. They sure right. do. Rock and roll, hard. All right, hold you. on. Hey, can I have one, can I can I can I do one other thing, my brother, and I'll leave you alone. Yeah. Okay. I live in Mortimer, North Carolina, and I run a little teeny country store. It's about the size of uh somebody's dining room. It's called Betsy's Old Country Store. Tell people to come up and see me. All right, hold on. All right. All right hold on. This lady needs this your help. This guy's gonna help you out. That's right. Hold on. Be careful. I don't know about that guy. I don't think she was looking for a house. She was looking for $8,000. Well, hey, she got a house. She don't need the 8000 I need a place for my daughter, Robin. She needs a place 20 minutes from where she is. Well, good. I'm glad this is happening then. I don't know. I don't know if I trust that guy. I don't know if I trust anybody. <laughs> yeah. I have lost all respect for you, Robin. Uh, ah, well... You joined the club. That's yeah, right. really. <laughs> There's not too many people around here that have yeah, any respect for her. I'm short in that supply anyway. All right. Well, listen, we'll be back right after these words. We will be back. We'll be back with the Howard Stern Show in a moment. Howard Stern. <laughs> Well, they say call yeah. me if it doesn't work out. So you're, that really means you're good. And you I must still, have some technique, and dude. I still talk to these women regularly. Uh -huh. We talk on the phone. We all uh, we all get along. They're still waiting to see. Because I wasn't a jerk. <laughs> you close your eyes and go, I can't believe this. No, I don't. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why you go to therapy, man. you, you got to be the happiest guy alive. I'm not the happiest guy alive. <laughs> you got to admit. I, and, and again, I'm not saying that, this, that you're the that you're but... When you sat in your basement the, next to the shark tank, you probably could have never imagined that this was, 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 was going to be like. I'm sure you could oh, imagine Oh, that's what it. killed me. I could imagine it. No, but, but, right. but you probably imagined something that isn't even near what it is. What are the jumping that's in the tank? That's true. What are the, <laughs> <laughs> the sharks? You had a man-eating shark. You wanted to jump in there. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Can I smell your finger? Oh, I tell you, he's going over to your... Don't get you free. You would only smell that. The next hey, time. You, you have to scrape in the walls Howard, with the right. I hate to stop this, yeah. but we got to do Winfred's money, and then we have to let the next Miss Howard Stern in. Uh, Mrs. Howard Stern, Arxina Fedorova. Ah, the next Mrs. Howard Stern. You think that... <laughs> it's pretty hard to pick up a chick who just speaks Russian. You know, in some ways it's easier. Who okay. cares? Right. She talks less. Not hey, right. speak the language of love. A couple of people have a couple of questions. JB, uh, go ahead. Hey, Howard. Since there was like this span between uh, when you announced everybody that you were separated and you actually were, right? I'm wondering if any of these women like questioned your credibility. Yes, they right? did. You're just saying you're getting separated. They did. They said to me, "What is this?" A lot of women don't like the word "legally separated." It sounds like you're still married. And I mm -hmm. said to them, "Look, the way I understand it is, I said this is what you have to do for a year before you're divorced. We're not together anymore. Legally separated means you're not married." Uh, but they, yeah, they question it. Right on. Well, I, I think as like a fan, I think a lot of us always hoped that you were banging these women anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I never did. I never cheated on Allison. I was uh, very honorable that way. No, that's and I cool. Never, and, and, and I, you know, I didn't want to screw up my marriage that way. That's not the way to do it. I screwed up my marriage. Otherwise. Another way. You found yeah. a better Evidently, way. Evidently, I found a better way to screw up my marriage. Maybe it would have been better if I had banged a little. with honor. I don't know, but it just uh, it all fell apart. Maybe and then once be I, but once I was single, I was like, hey, I don't want to be alone. I've, evidently, I don't. I, I want to meet some chicks. I don't no. like being alone. I don't. I like having a woman in my life. That's respectable, man. Well, hey, thanks. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm no homo. Sounds like you like having several of them in your life. I didn't no, have several. No, he really needs a woman. I need a woman. <laughs> I needed a woman. He needs a woman. He just needs to date a bunch to figure out which one it is he needs. No, yeah, I mean, not which is just fair. Take the no, first one totally who comes fair. along. Yeah, I mean, you date to figure out who you like. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know I what I like. Right away, he was not going to remain single for very long. You wish long. that Beth didn't come along for at least five years, so you had five years of just. No, no, it's been a great. He would have had a long uh, <laughs> yeah. relationship okay. with somebody else it's before she came along. It's been great. But also, it's been great being with Beth. And here's another thing: like you always bust on our old producer Einziger. Right. Isn't your period of time and his period of time about the same? I think his is shorter. Yeah, mine's probably shorter. Right. Yeah, but Howard yeah. had more yeah. chicks than no, I. No, but I'm saying that like, the, like I don't know about that. Him, I know, I know. It sounds crazy, but I didn't predict that Beth and I would be together. So it just worked out that way. But that's what happens to people. That's what happens. I learned my lesson. You know, me and Benji have been writing down names of chicks we think uh. each other bang. <laughs> How's that list? 
<laughs> Doesn't look good. Star Jones. <laughs> look him real bad. Carney Wilson, and 1990. English speaking women. <laughs> Chauncey Hayden, you're on the air. Hey, Chauncey, hey, it... do you accept what? your loss to me in the beauty pageant? Yeah, I accept it. And do you hear the kind of role he was on? So you know he must be attractive to yeah, somebody. Uh, I know. It's, it's, my, it's, I'm ugly, it's my fame. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um, we know that. Go through a period where you had jungle fever. I'm not going to even answer your questions, Chauncey Hayden. Oh, you're so bad. The reason why I asked, because I interviewed Robin Gibbons. Yeah. And when I asked her if there was something going on between the two of you, she paused for about a minute before she answered. And then she said? No comment. Which oh. means, and I think to most journalists, always means yes. Well, we were on the air. We talked about that we were going to go on a date together, and we did. But uh, I'm not going to... How'd it go? It, was, it went fine. In fact, we went to uh, some place called La Pastis or something. Pastis. Oh, the French place downtown? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't right. like it. No. no. I like Robin. I didn't like uh, Pastis. She's hot. She's so hot. I didn't, I didn't say I had sex with her. You said it. I didn't. I'm just wondering. Wait. Okay. Hey, Howard. <laughs> What about Jade Barrymore? What about her? Did you? No. That of course was, not. That was our second oh, guess. Oh, no, the older woman. That was our second guess. That's the second guess. Well, the older the woman. first yeah. guess was what? Well, it, no, no Jade Barrymore. <laughs> Jade Barrymore is a nice lady, but no. Not my, she's too small for me. Howard, is it true that you told the girls who came to your apartment on the indoor date that they had to dress down when they passed the doorman? No. No. Never. Not there were never, never any dress never, codes never. I was never, instructions listen, given. You're insane. <laughs> hey, how, guys, question. Some of the girls you were banging, you ever, like, as you were banging, I'm like, I can't believe that I am banging this. Yes. Oh, yes, I was. Now, John, why do you did you say the strictly American? <laughs> American. Thank you. I believe he might have traveled. <laughs> I don't think so. I, uh, I think, did you ever do it Long Island style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it strictly American? No accents? No, uh... Uh, no. Is it through... Is it true? Howard, how do you know your name's not going to end up in a book by any of these women? I don't know. I don't care. Hey, what am I going to do? If that's, if that's what people have to do, then they have to do would it. But I would it? hope not. I would hope that they had some class. And I think that uh, that any woman that I met, I, I thought they were pretty classy women, actually. Hey, no one said anything anywhere. Yeah, because they were classy you know. women, and they don't want me but talking about them. But a lot of times, them. women don't tell for the longest time. Is it time. true that these women were threatened that. by thugs? How, by the time... I've had all of them killed. By the time anybody <laughs> squeals on you, you'll have that little oxygen thing on your nose. Don't worry. No, but, but the point is, it's not a question of squealing. It's a question of, like... They Maybe you'll squeal. Maybe you'll be the one who squeals. I won't. You never I know, know that for a fact know. I won't. He won't. I'm grateful life. to anyone who will have sex you with me. Never know. I will never squeal. Never the only way, the only way how never I would, say never. The only way I ever think you would squeal, like if you had a gambling problem or a drinking problem, no, I think, like not even that. I'll tell you what. I'll take. First of all, I don't have those kind of problems. Right, you know. Number two. Number two is is that the only way that I would tell a story about this is if the woman came on the air and wanted to talk right. about it. If she said to me, "Hey Howard, I want to come on here and talk about dating you," and I and I would, I'd say, "Okay, I have no problem with oh, that." Oh, maybe that'll happen. I now. say never, say that. never. Oh, that's a great. Oh, I just got this year's birthday show. I got the idea oh. for it. This no is, birthday. This is your life. <laughs> Can we do this? Again. Is your life? I don't think. I think these women are too classy. You know what? When I, did, I I'm telling you, I dated, dated a bunch of classy women. You know well, what? Give I, me the names. How you I want to know. When Robin and I did This Is no, Your Life, were nice. when no, no, they were classy women. They really were. They were all pretty, like, they were all I have bright, no idea would noble you women. Classy, you'd have to give me some names. They were bright. They were noble. They were uh, noble. sexy. Yeah. They, 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 like, have, had, they have titles? They had morality. Oh. They were like, you know what? It's not about sitting and squealing about stuff. And it was cool. The, I'm just telling these you. these people? I, this? I, respect, I respected all of them. <laughs> hey, Howard, the, the, well, you guys want to play even too. during the Bukaki. What? <laughs> you guys want to play too? They wrote a name. They thought uh, they got the older, the older woman. They got it. They got a piece of paper. Can I give it to you? All right, give me oh, see that. <laughs> Grandma Moses. Barbara Bush. Uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, for crying out loud! You guys did. They're, they're, they're insulting you, aren't they? The penny crone. Oh, oh, crazy. Let me ask you another question. Did you ever get into some like uh, freaky like, yeah, stuff? Yeah. What do you consider freaky? What do I consider freaky? Candle wax, bondage. Well, he told us about I've the tying up incident, I've but I'm talking that. about like, you know, golden shower. I've, I've had a little of that. Oh. You, you have which Wait a way? You let somebody do that no. to you? No, oh, you crazy? Oh, yeah. you, 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 you got to say that. Likes to put it. No, no, no. That's Wait not my thing. You, you ever have anybody do that to you? Hold no. it. Hold it. 
Everybody's talking at once. I don't know what happened. No, yes, no. That's it. <laughs> I get it. We got, we're so far well, behind. You know, the, this is your life idea is a great idea. Yeah. Howard, do you recognize this voice? He's performed the water need sport. Howard, with a water water. Water. Yes. Okay. What Howard, about one last a... question. What? Did you ever date a female TV journalist? TV journalist? No. TV reporter? No. Not Penny Crow. No. Not Barbara Walters. Oh, I, I bang Barbara Walters. <laughs> you know what? I would tell you about that if I did. I would I would tell you about that. Oh, Ever, dear. like, try to bang a famous celebrity and, like, she turns it down? No. No, no one turned me down. Ever had anybody who was related to each other? No. <laughs> what, like the Barbie twins? No. Yeah. Mother, daughter? No, I didn't get that, unfortunately. No, well, that's it. I guess that's the... Well, there's a any, ton of questions. Any Pittsburgh platters? Oh. No, no, no. That's not my thing, baby. I'm very loving. You know what? If you do that, don't ever admit it. Ever fly to L.A. to meet this, like, uh, you know, one of these chicks? Sure. And sure. Yeah, sure. Did anyone cry when you said you didn't want to see them anymore? Cry to you? No. It wasn't like that. Did anyone cry while you were having sex with them? <laughs> no. Have you ever taken a day off from the show? Like, leave early on a Friday. Anybody need a Friday no. off to get out there? No, have to do no. Something. Never interfered with the no. show. Do you I'm have sure. any uh, CICs with uh, friends of yours, chicks in common? What? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I do. You do like, with friends? You, you've had sex yeah. with a chick who's had sex with yes. a good friend of you. A couple of times. Really? Different, different people, yeah. Right. yeah. Wow. Yep. Now that's stepping over the line. Well, no, they said, hey. You didn't bang my wife, did you? Coast is clear. Coast is clear. The I think name, I could have. The friend's name doesn't rhyme with mouth, does it? No, 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 no. We don't no, share no, that. No, no, not Ralph. <laughs> Who is it? I think I know. No, you don't. I Write it I down. Do. I mean, I don't want to. Sure. <laughs> Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> Write down the friend's name. <laughs> That's great. Bobby, what is it? Hello? Yeah, Bobby, go ahead. Yeah, Howard, I have uh, two quick questions for you. I'm a little nervous, so hang in there. Uh, is all the woman Kathy Lee? No, uh, I wish. I would tell you if I banged Kathy Lee. <laughs> and the one, you know, the, and the one that's gonna rat you out is gonna be Ralph. He's he's the one that's gonna write the book on you. I don't think so. And you don't think so? No, Ralph would just we'll, be dead. We'll see when the, when the money when the money's there. I don't think he'd do that to me. All right, man. Take care. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. That's why he's my friend. All right, so uh, play. I got nice friends. They don't do that. Both play. It'll be sick. Pets? Right, yeah. Yes, it's a, it's a what? Thing. Both bunnies and pets. You've had both. Well, I don't know. Were any of the playmates? Yeah. Were any? No, you, you, please, dude. You no. could, Howard, to take your own words from you, dude, you don't forget something like that. He doesn't forget. Were any, uh, were any of the playmates? <laughs> were any of the playmates' last name of the year? Oh, Jesus. I would only be with the, of the year because I'm so special. Oh. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh. I was just doing so hey, Dave, go ahead. Oh, Dave, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I want to take a guess on uh, who you bang. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Angie Everhart. Well, first of all, as, as I said on the air, Angie and I uh, were going to go on a date, and we did. But I'm not going to talk about if I banged her. Hey, Howard, here's a question. That's it? No, what do you mean that's it? That's it. I mean, what am I going to say? I tell you, I ain't going to sit and give up these chicks if, if some of them, uh, but, but Angie's a nice girl. All right, you told me you were once with a woman who was married. You said that happened a couple of times. A couple of times, yeah. Who, you can, you know who the married women were, Gary? Ooh. Gary's, I mean, Gary thinks he knows. I know one of them. Mary Delabate. <laughs> I know I know one of them. That's why she's not talking to me. <laughs> How come she's not talking to me? I think I know one of the married women. You probably don't. I probably do. <laughs> hey, hey, Howard, did, <laughs> would you bang any of the chicks in, uh, that were in private parts? Would I bang any of the chicks in private parts? First of all, I wouldn't answer that, but the answer is no. Uh, what? I didn't bang any of the chicks in private parts. You wouldn't answer, but the answer is no. Yeah. I mean, you know. No what? <laughs> the answer was yes, you wouldn't answer. No. <laughs> it, what, what, you think I banged Jenna Jameson? I told Jenna, you I never banged a porn star. Jenna, Mary. 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 Never been with a porn star. Who else? Who's that other hot chick guy in there? Chick in the bathtub? No. Melanie Good. Melanie, Melanie Good. Oh, how about that other blonde? Amber. Amber. Yeah. Amber, uh, Amber no, no, no. He, she even said Ther she Theresa had a crush Lynn? on him. She her. claimed she was into me. But Come on, she you didn't, didn't bang Nicole Bass? <laughs> Nicole <laughs> Bass, I bet. <laughs> All right. Uh, man. Boy, I, I feel I feel embarrassed because it makes it seem like I'm some sort of like... Uh, listen, you had a, listen, you you had had a, a good run, You right? had a good run. You hooked up with somebody that there's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah. I don't think you... Listen, there are people who are in your position who... Abuse that. I don't think you ever abused being a celebrity. I think that you, I you celebrity. You no, I mean, I think I. 
Because if he did, he'd be all over the tabloids and he'd be all over the, the people coming out of the woodwork. Like today, okay. Today in the newspaper. He might have been abusive. Hey, today in the newspaper. 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 Today in
I can't remember that. I thought it was Draka. No, that was another Russian who was here earlier. Oh. How much money do you think Oxana, not a hot name, Oxana. Oxana. What's that for short, Ox? <laughs> oh, here comes Oxana. Wait, I got to take a look. Hubba hubba, honey, you're cute. Oh, my she didn't hear. She didn't understand. She doesn't understand. I can't. How can I pick up a chick if uh, you are very cute, babushka? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, babushka. Now she's totally confused. Very think, cute. I'm going to tell Miss you. By the way, Miss Universe, Oksana is here, and also her interpreter. And your name is? Faye Greenbaum. I fa oh, Faye. Faye. Faye, uh, how'd you learn to speak Russian? and I lived there for eight. I always figured if you knew another language, you could always make money being an interpreter. Do they make a lot of money? No. You don't? Oh. No. You ever work well, for UN? Uh, yes, but not as an interpreter. No kidding? Yeah. So what age did you lose your virginity? Never mind, Oksana. <laughs> I can't remember. It was so long ago. Right. Mm. Are you a communist sympathizer? There are no communists. That's right. They're all gone. See? Yeah, what were you doing living in Russia? Yeah, why are you living in Russia? Why would you do I that? I was a dancer. Oh, you oh, were you a were. dancer? Oh. oh. <laughs> By the way, um, I think you should... Uh, hello, Oksana. Hello. Sorry. I study English on a couple of days. Look at you. Hey, what are you speaking? You speak very well. You no. speak pretty good. <laughs> that was good. You speak good. By the way, the gentleman over there is a billionaire, and he's in love with you. His name is Arthur Lang. He invented the Microsoft chip. She, he's right there. Right Oksana. over there. Arthur Lang is a billionaire. I see. Arthur Lang. Nice to meet you. He invented Velcro. On a Velcro. Hey, can you get that microphone close to you? I love hearing you speak the Russian. And um, he requested to meet you today, Arthur Lang. Arthur Lang. He saw you. Pleasure. Yes. With what pleasure? I'm ready. He owns a space shuttle. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Something she can believe. He's of the of the New Jersey Langs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, Jersey. Langs of New Jersey, yes. Uh, uh, all right, here's a couple and of facts. He lives facts. in his mansion. Here's a couple all of alone. Here's a couple of facts about Oksana. First of all, uh, I didn't see the Miss Universe pageant, but I saw your pictures the next day. You're a hot chick. There's no question about it. You stand five foot ten. She's probably saying, hey, isn't that guy an idiot? Did you say this much? Yeah. I, I don't like, remember saying that much. I think she's adding stuff in. <laughs> Thank right, you here. much. Let me give everyone some facts. Oksana's prizes for winning the competition include $250,000. Did Ooh, you know that? Very nice. No, I did not. Now, is that a scholarship or is that dollars? Yeah, what, what are you doing with the money? social security. First, I have to get a social security. Oh, they don't even give you the money, huh? No, they they uh, they put it on my card. On a card? What kind of What kind of card? <laughs> Telling her about this card. She's got a Trump raid card at the casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I get a feeling she's never going to see her money. I she, know. She thinks they put it on her Social Security card. See, so, Faye, what do you think she's going to do? You think she's going to move back to Russia, take the two hundred fifty thousand, live like a princess, or is she going to stay here? I don't know. You're going to have to ask her that. I'd rather yeah, ask you. Like being it's quicker. a billionaire in Russia, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you take the two hundred fifty thousand, move back to Russia, and then be Absolutely. like a millionaire? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, but not, not entirely. Yeah, she wants to live in, you want to live in America, right? America. America, yeah? My relatives live here, and um, I what? think it's possible for me. Your relatives live here? Oh, the slaves live here. The slaves were here. <laughs> the slaves were here, yes. Slaves and we still have slaves here. Uh, See, for two no, months. not slaves. <laughs> 250000 here in America after taxes and everything, you can't live like a princess. But over in Russia, you can live, you can live really, really well. You could probably buy linen If you live with the guy who invented Velcro, you could live very well. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> 
Wait till we get to the sex questions. <laughs> I'm Miss Universe now, not Mrs. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> ah, my little Shvia uh, now. Uh, <laughs> all right. She also won a two-year scholarship to the School of, for Film and Television in New York. I never heard of that. that. Where is that? <laughs> I got... I would learn English first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, before I get yeah, into film and television. Film and television. <laughs> I think that school's in my apartment. I think that's where the classes begin. Uh, and you teach you. Yes, you yeah. Teach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, she also won use of a Trump luxury apartment for a year in New York City. Okay, that sounds good. All right, and she and she lives in the Trump luxury apartment with Miss Teen USA and Miss USA, so I guess she has to How share. How many rooms in there? That's correct. <laughs> Boy, that's a raw deal. It sounds like it's another name for Trump's apartment. It sounds like a dorm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, all right, she stands three. five... Five foot eleven, which I like. I love tall chicks. Mm -hmm. Tell her chicks. Chicks. Russian is what? She has an IQ of one twenty eight. So this is no dumb broad. You were a cop. I saw you in a cop uniform. You look way smoking hot. You were a cop in Russia. Yes, of course. But I teach civil law at Saint Petersburg. No. Oh, you teach no. the law. Yes. Yeah, but could she, like, shoot you and karate chop you? I'll give you a fact on her. That's funny you say that. Yes. She knows karate, as okay. I do. I'm a brown belt, as you know, I'm sure. Shotokan. Yes, I uh, uh, like to do my kata for you. So she was a karate master? Your karate uh, she, master? She doesn't do karate. She does, uh, it's a Russian... Uh, Russian fight. karate? What's that, yeah, running? Was to be running. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you the chance to get, be convinced. Uh -oh. Oksana has trained in the martial arts. She says she loves to fire weapons. In fact, this is the most impressive statistic. She can assemble a Kalish... N Wait a second, let me say this right. A Kalish Nakov rifle. How do you say that? Kalishnikov. Kalishnikov rifle. No matter, I hate the uh, Russian <laughs> language. Right. I can't speak I it. See, it's, it's beating you. A, a, a Kalishnikov rifle. Kalashnikov. No matter, Kalashnikov. Kalashnikov. Kalashnikov right. rifle. Kalashnikov. In a matter of seconds, you can assemble a rifle and shoot someone, can't you? Yes. Uh, 18 seconds. 18, 18 seconds? Yes. Can you imagine yeah. that I'll, this I'll training? I had training in St. Petersburg. Look at the you, you got a little cute I'm face. I'm shot from... Can you imagine this hot broad coming up to your car in Russia and she's and a cop? And you take it. <laughs> you take it. <laughs> Let me get down to this. I ask her this. <laughs> did she ever, did, do guys, when she was a cop, did guys try to bang her? Oh, my. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Mike <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> What's she say? very serious, and so everybody who sort of tried to come on to me just got shoved away. Well, when did Miss Universe lose her virginity? <gasps> when did Miss Universe lose her virginity? <laughs> <laughs> Universe, Miss Universe. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm joking. I bet How the many guy años? <laughs> How many years? <laughs> I'm 24 now. <laughs> yes. And how old were you when you gave it up to your first man? <laughs> how about you? 16. <laughs> First man? <laughs> man or woman? Man oh, man? <laughs> 17. We're all laughing. All right. All right. Let's get down to it. Took your ass with a feather? So what do you think? <laughs> do you think? What do you think? What? Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> you have, do you have boyfriend? What are you leaving Fine. out all the uh, verbs for? Because I don't. I want to get to it quick. Yeah, I just because I miss universe, not misses. I already said I miss universe, not misses. No oh. man in her life. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Do you find Artie attractive, man over there? Uh, 
Sure. Then, yeah. sure. Sure, but, sure, but not for me. <laughs> She's the very right. diplomatic, Miss Universe. <laughs> sure, but not for her. Do you shave your private parts? Go ahead. Uh, we, we, um, might have, uh, what is this? Sneasel. Sneasel. Do you shave your sneasel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your schnitzel sneasel. <laughs> Of course. Of course. Completely? No. 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 So there's a little landing strip. <laughs> That's correct. Wow. There's a little fuzzle on your sneasel? <laughs> a little fuzzle on your sneasel. Is penis size important? For me, no. No. Well, then you met your match. <laughs> Now, when, when two other women in the apartment, how does she sneak in her boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what did you mean by now, I've met, now you've met your match? I am very small. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. But I think you're so kind. Yeah, no problem, very small. Circumcised. Most men in your country are uncircumcised. Is that true? Yes. Is Does that she gross? Prefer cut or uncut? What do you prefer, you circumcised know, or uncircumcised? No, как вам лучше, обрезанные или нет? Как вам лучше? Я предпочитаю умных. I prefer smart ones. Smart ones? Damn There it. are none. Well, we don't have that here. <laughs> so obviously it doesn't matter. All right. Um, if you crashed in an airplane on top of a cold mountain and there was no food, would you eat the remains of the dead passengers to survive? Wow. <laughs> на вершине вот холодного холодной горы и не было никакой пищи вы бы э, сели вот то что осталось от э, других пассажиров да я бы терпела я могу я бы ходила без еды очень долго Of course. Yeah. But you better eat before all the bodies go bad. Hey, I Believe me, in Russia, that's a delicacy. <laughs> you get to eat some meat. Of course. Only following your example. Exactly. Would she make love to a black man? Sneak room. <laughs> I don't have the time to think about that. I'm really? She won't answer any sexual questions. No sex questions, huh? Oh. What about Shaquille O'Neal? Would you do him? Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal. Who is this? No, doesn't no. know. All right. She don't know Shaquille right. O'Neal. Uh, Shaquille... Colin Powell. <laughs> uh, Colin Powell. <laughs> Would you have make love to Colin Powell, a black man? A snake room. A snake room. No, you would not. Uh, well, that's a no. How probably. you say colored? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you ever had a burning sensation during urination? <laughs> Go ahead. Say. <laughs> You're serious. Yes, I am. I need, we to, need know. to know. Yes, we're serious. <laughs> oh, these are the questions the people are writing in. Right. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> people phone these in. Oh, No. I'm sorry for them. Then. <laughs> Faye, what about you? Ever have a burning sensation? Never. Never. Okay. All right, Faye. Uh, the important question now. Let's get down to it. Have you ever made love to another woman? Never. Never. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Are you considering it? Uh, probably every day a woman thinks about it at some point. Oh, really? Really? Very Whoa. sexy answer. I thought you said Joey Boots at the end. There. <laughs> <laughs> Say what about you? Really? <laughs> Would you kiss Faye right now? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! yeah. Faye and Babushka! <laughs> yeah, Miss Universe. And Faye Greenbaum, kissing in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. 
Now, how long is Faye going to be staying with Miss Universe? At this rate, the two of them are going to be married. Would you, in Russia... At least for a year, I can't get married. Oh, that's right. That's right. Miss, Miss Universe. universe that's true. Yes, huh? yeah, you have to go to Vermont to marry Faye. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in Russia, I would imagine, Faye, you live there. That uh, like toilet paper hard to come by still. I actually haven't been there recently. Was so it tough when you were there? Um, not not really. Would you ever wipe with paper bags and stuff? Newspapers. Would you have to really newspaper? newspaper. The Pravda. Pravda. <laughs> the Pravda. What about Miss Universe? Did she ever wipe with Pravda? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, it's my secret. <laughs> Say, is it hard to get stuff like pantyhose over in Russia? Uh, it was when I lived there. Would, would Miss Universe ever sell herself sexually or give her okay. use her hand on a man for pantyhose? <laughs> Go ahead. No. Oh, very oh. expensive. <laughs> How much, baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, yes. Actually, I wipe with the New York Times. I'm an intellectual. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get to some important questions. Does she use a vibrator? Go ahead, Faye. That's a yes. No? Never? I prefer everything natural. When was the last time then? When was the last time you had sex? Before the competition. Oh, really? What about this? Is gonna, I don't even know if you can interpret this. What about anal sex? Go ahead, say. That's that bad for your health. Bad for your health. Not for you. Not for you. Miss Universe does not do anal. Does she mean the Miss Universe pageant or the Miss Russia pageant? I mean, she might not have had sex for some quite some time. No, she means the Miss Universe pageant. Oh, okay. Are your breasts real? Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> of course. May I feel them? <laughs> <laughs> it's only for me. No, it's only for you. It's only for <laughs> you. What a waste. <laughs> Would you ever work nude in a movie? Never. Never. Uh, what does she want to do now that, you know, she's been Miss Universe, she's do this for a year. Does she want to be in movies, television? Movies and television? She's got to learn English. <laughs> well, they have those in Russia. First of all, I want to be completed my PhD degree. Uh, wow. And Yes. Look at uh, you speaking all of a sudden. She memorized this part. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like the contest. <laughs> right. They must have asked her this. Yeah, yeah, Phil <laughs> Sims. So what do you want to do with your life? First of all, I would like to... So you, what do you want? You want to get a law degree? PhD. Oh, PhD. PhD. Oh, oh, Dr. Miss Universe. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Universe. <laughs> Dr. Universe. That's a superhero. <laughs> Dr. Universe. That's impressive. I want to cure cancer. Yeah. And what about after that? Maybe some AIDS and everything else. <laughs> all right. Here's the important question. Mm. At what point during the contest did you have sex with Mr. Trump? Ah, Go ahead. Uh -oh. uh, at no point he has a gorgeous girlfriend. Yes, he does. But he, Mr. Trump likes everybody. Could you repeat that question to her? Yeah. Uh, let's see. There are some questions from the uh, audience. Stan, what is your question for Miss Universe Oksana Fedorova? Fedorova. Fedorova. Good morning. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I want to ask uh, 
my birthday is coming up. Is it possible for her to blow the candle with a fart? That is a disgusting question. I would never, never think of posing that, but maybe Faye would. Would she ever blow out the candles with her own gas? Yes. Poor Faye. <laughs> <laughs> what does she say? That's what he really wants with pleasure. Wow. Oh, very nice. Miss Universe is very understanding. Yeah. She <laughs> Miss would... Universe is going to get up and do some karate, Russian karate on us. She would do that, my God. Yes. Okay, Eric, please, a legitimate question for Miss Universe. She's just won the $250,000 prizes, Miss Universe. Go ahead, okay. Eric. Uh, Oksana. Yes? Yeah, I think it was nice. Well, to talk English so yeah, we can understand. we don't understand. know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm trying to ask her what's the largest size Let's she had. That. Okay, what is the largest man, you know, penis size she has ever had? Please. I stomped her. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, give her a chance. <laughs> wait, she's thinking about it. <laughs> I can only speak about my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, he is large. Enough. Enough for you. And how is her oral technique? It's not very comfortable. You do oral on him? <laughs> hey, Howard. Poor face. We're all normal people. All normal people, yes. Even the Russians. Here's a fact, actually, about uh, Oksana. Yes. She's, uh, what, how old are you, 21? 24. 24. 24. She's so young that she doesn't remember when Russia was communist. Is that, it hasn't been that long, has it? Uh, I remember a little bit. No. A little yeah, bit. 89, right? It's, uh, so what would she have been then? All right, we've been serious long enough. Let's get back to the goofy questions. Right. Do you hate the Jews? No. <laughs> I love Jews. You love Jews? Yes. Oh, not orange juice. Have you met any? you liked it. All right. I think you in particular she likes. Uh -huh. yes. Well, let me say, <laughs> you're falling in love with me. Jew? Who, me? No, no Jew. Half. Half, half, two, half, half. See, and it's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Right, right. Don't take me away in the middle of the night. Secret, secret. Secret, secret. Uh, what does it look like I was slapped a yarmulke? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Right. <laughs> 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 I'm more than Jew. What was that? You are more than Jew. <laughs> yes, I am more than Jew. Oh, super, super Jew. Super Jew. Yeah. Modern Jew. Modern Jew. You want, you want some vodka? <laughs> Means you don't wear a yarmulke every day. Yes, yes. My, my, my yarmulke is actually made out of human hair. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you are delightful. <laughs> Hey Howard, would, would she uh, would she accept two two thousand I one rubles to get topless? Oh, she would not. Oh. I would though. Maybe <laughs> Faye would. Well, Faye, I have never experienced asking uh, lewd questions through an interpreter. It was fabulous. You really enjoyed it, and you did a great job. It was, it was my first time too. I have to. <laughs> At least it wasn't boring. So we lost our virginity together. Absolutely, <laughs> when we were sixteen. Russell, final question for Miss Universe. Uh, yeah, I gotta know. Does Miss Universe spit or swallow? Do you swallow, Miss Universe? Please, Faye. <laughs> she won't understand. What swallow? You don't know swallow? <laughs> she, she you know, I think what? That swallow what? Little... Look at me, look at me. Yes, when you're in the sexual, you know. Oh, that we're getting an answer. However, it works out. Oh, really? Good for you. Howard, you, you got a beautiful smile. Do you want to ask? The most beautiful smile I ever came across. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, yes. Thank you very beautiful. much. Muy beautiful. Yes, go ahead. You want to ask Rufe about Bukaki? No. no. <laughs> it's the only language I know. I know yet. All right, listen. You're a beautiful woman. I wish you a lot of luck. The Miss Universe pageant was one of the highest rated. Uh, was it? Yes, because I'll tell you why. What? Donald Trump got hot looking chicks. He always does. Yeah, well, it's turned things around. It was It is beating the Miss America pageant, is that what you're saying? It beat basketball that night. That's when I think the Lakers were playing um the Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. And the Miss Universe well, pageant. Well, you're acting like it beat it by a mile.
but he goes white if he has to. And you know when you're around Rebecca, you kind of have to. Yeah. I don't know if she would do him, but I think she'd do Kinnear. I oh, think, get out. Kinnear? Yeah, yeah I, think she thinks, I think she thinks he's hot. Really? I've never heard anybody say that. To me, he's very feminine, <laughs> which is what I told Rebecca. <laughs> trying to keep her oh, away. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that I'm busy trying to keep Rebecca away from other guys. <laughs> I heard you put on blackface for De Niro when they were shooting Godsend. There you go. Anyway, Godsend is kind of a cool movie Come about... On, baby. What if there was cloning and you could clone your dead kid? That's but what that's something about. something always goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Believe it or not, something went wrong. <laughs> they know. We were cloning your child. Yes. Everything goes according to plan, but then something goes wrong. <laughs> You know how it goes. Godsend in theaters everywhere this Friday. Check it out. <laughs> You're listening to a man whose gas is responsible for the hole in the ozone layer. Thank you. Howard Stern. I'm getting so much freaking power, you got to take back the country. That's my last words to you. If only... The self-styled king of all media trying to be a king maker. Howard Stern devoting hours of airtime to a vendetta against the president. Heather Howard is here to look at the possible Stern factor That's come right. election time. That's right. Well, Howard Stern is telling his more than 8 million fans that if they love his show, the vote against President Bush in November, Stuart, uh, Stern is vowing to go after the president because of the FCC's crackdown, which resulted in one company, Clear Channel Communications, uh, in taking Stern off the air in six markets. But despite that, Stern's ratings are up. Michael Harrison of Talkers Magazine joins me now from Hartford, Connecticut, and that's today's big question. Michael, could Howard Stern be a significant factor in the election this fall? I don't see why not. He has millions of listeners. He's one of the most successful radio talk show hosts in the industry, and he has credibility with those listeners. I don't see why uh, he can't impact them, especially since the issue is bigger than Stern. We're talking about a First Amendment issue which strikes home to a lot of people and cuts across the usual left versus right argument that we usually hear in terms of elective politics. Okay, but will his listeners be willing to toss aside all their other political views, whether it's about the economy or the war or health, care whatever and just decide to support John Kerry on the basis of this issue on the basis of the First Amendment well, certainly not all of them but enough of them might uh, Howard Stern's audience are mainstream people they're 20 30 40 something professionals they're accountants they're doctors they're lawyers they're teachers they're everyday people they're not as politically motivated as the kind of people that would listen to say a Rush Limbaugh uh, that, that could be the factor that would uh, determine their voting now, no doubt. Uh, Howard, if Howard Stern's listeners decide to support President Kerry, as Howard Stern is, is very harshly telling them to do so, it could, in fact, end up bringing more of Bush's base to the polls. Oh, it might. Uh, that, that's what's so wonderful about the First Amendment and talk radio and different points of view. There is always a, a, a counteraction to every action. And, you know, I think it's wonderful for the marketplace of ideas that somebody like Stern is involved in I politics. Thought. He might even reinvent himself as a political talker and never want to go back to being a, a so-called shock jock. But the fact of the matter is he does make some very good points. And, and I think it's a bigger issue than whether Stern can do it. I think the whole First Amendment issue with the FCC crackdown and indecency goes far beyond Howard Stern, okay, so and I think it is a significant issue. So you actually think that he could shift the entire focus of his programming uh, from one that's largely been, you know, sexual innuendo and cracking jokes to one that's more political in nature? No question about it, because... Reinventing the, himself. The Madonna well, of radio. Stern's, Howard Stern's success is based upon credibility, satire, humor, and intelligence. He's not just dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, a lot of people have tried doing that. That doesn't get the kind of ratings Howard has. Howard Stern has credibility because he punctures holes in those balloons of hypocrisy. That's really what he does. So this fits right into the momentum and the reputation he already has. And he's certainly sharp and, and does, in some instances, make some very strong and, and convincing audience, especially to an audience that is very loyal to him. Absolutely. He's making good points in this argument. Now, he used to be pro-Bush, and he has supported Republicans in the past in our area of the Northeast here. 
what does he intend to do? Does he actually think that Kerry would be so much better in terms of the FCC and the and the First Amendment? Well, than I, think, I think to a large I think to a large extent this is anybody but Bush and whoever the Democrats had he'd be supporting. Kerry and the Democrats, their problem with the First Amendment is not indecency. Theirs is a thing called the Fairness Doctrine. They want to uh, quell political speech. The Republicans want to quell artistic speech. In our opinion, at Talkers Magazine, there's no difference between artistic speech and political speech speech. So there's a whole new set of problems with Kerry and the Democrats. But it's, Politicians I, don't like free speech. Michael, there have long been complaints about the FCC just simply not cracking down the way it was supposed to and not enforcing regulations on the book. So couldn't the argument be made that the FCC is finally just doing what it's been supposed to be doing for a very long time? Maybe if it was 1964 or 1974, but it's 2004, the English language has changed. All those dirty words are out there, and the kids have heard them already. As a matter of fact, they know words you and I don't even know. And to, to say the public airwaves have to be protect, protected, I say the public airways should reflect the culture and the words of the public. All right, well, and, we'll, uh, well it's we a will, different day. Michael, we're going to have to leave it there, but we'll just have to see if his listeners stay tuned and if they turn out to vote this fall. Michael Harrison from Talkers Magazine. Thank you so much. Pretty good report. I, um, wow, I might have, if I had been there, I might have just said that hey, I never supported Bush. I gave him a chance. I voted for Al Gore. Well, they don't know everything. About no, you. they should. Everyone should know everything. <laughs> and as far as my listeners go, I don't think we're making an argument to vote for Kerry just on free speech. We're first of all, we're sending a message to Bush and especially his appointment of Colin Powell Jr. And we're sending a message to Dick Cheney, who's sitting and buddying up to everyone and giving away this country to big corporations and i think we're making more points about, yeah, the, about environment, the environment about stem cell research about abortion about everything we're not just talking about the first amendment although i think it's a great way notice how afraid they are of our audience oh the first the reports were well our audience is a bunch of idiots they don't vote they're a bunch of dirt bags now all of a sudden everyone's looking at the ratings going wait a second there's no teenagers in his audience. These are 20, 30, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, working people. They can vote. We have the wealthiest audience around, according to the Scarborough report. Wait a second. Oh, these are people who vote, trust me. And these are people who get pissed. You know, a lot of stuff that government does doesn't even affect us. We got a war going on. We don't even, unless you got somebody involved in it, you don't even know what's going on really unless you turn on the TV. But one thing people do know. When they take away your favorite radio show, they got to drive to work for two hours. Just like Raquel said, what am I going to do? And by the way, Kerry's no better. Uh, the Democrats have been horrible on this free speech issue. They're not fighting it one bit, but I'll tell you what. They're going to think twice when they get in office about screwing with us. Yeah, obviously they care about votes. They're going to say, hey, Bush lost. And you know what? Maybe there is a stern factor. Maybe the stern audience does stick together. We unite. We don't agree on everything. My audience will write me email all day telling me I'm wrong about this, I'm wrong about that. But i got to tell you, 99% of the mail I get now and the phone calls are, Howard, we're with you. I hope so. We're going to give back to you. This is what you think we should do? We're going to do it. You've made enough arguments against Bush. Just watch that PBS special about Bush being the president who speaks to God. Oh, it's amazing. I'm going to pull some clips just to preview it tonight. This dude Bush had a fight with his mother. It's unbelievable. Barbara Bush, you remember her, that old battle axe. He's having a, she's having a fight with him, like at home. You know, they're talking about religion, and Bush goes, people who aren't born again are just not going to go to heaven. It shows you what level this guy's at. He's like a, like a two-year-old. He's worried about going to heaven. So, I'll tell you what, you're going to hell for disparaging John Kerry's war record. Trust me. Jesus didn't want you and to do that. And a few of the other things you've said and done, too. So, anyway... Um, Barbara Bush goes, that's ridiculous. You don't have to be born again. Oh, no, you do. He says, let's call Billy Graham. They call Billy Graham, of course, because he's, he's their advisor. And Billy Graham agrees with Barbara Bush. And George W. goes, I don't care. Well, Billy wrong. Graham said, you're all wrong. You have to be born again. So even the mother goes, listen, you got to tone that crap down because, you know what? Jews are going to get offended. Christians are going to get offended. Protestants are going to get offended. So they keep, you know, this guy is a loon. That's why he's hell-bent on doing away with stem cell research. He's oh, yeah. He talked to Jesus. He ignored talking to his father, who had been the president during the first Iraq war, and talked to Jesus about it. And guess what Jesus did? Jesus agreed with everything George wanted to do. 
even lying about weapons of mass destruction. You know why? Because Jesus will agree with anything you got to say. He's a great friend, Jesus. So Jesus is, almost sounds like you, doesn't he? Yeah, so is Harvey the imaginary rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get off that. There's a hot chick waiting to get in here. Dude, I just saw Jenny. She What's she wearing? Great. Let me tell you something. She's got a mini, hey like a jean mini skirt on. Hey and her legs look like... You ever see a chick with just legs that look like they're well taken care of, waxed, tanned? Yeah. Yeah, they look perfect. They're pristine. Y yeah, good shape. Like, you know. The as boobs. Good, as good as she's ever looked. Yeah. Hold it. Wait, don't bring her in yet. I want to fix myself up. Hold and on. You, know you didn't did? fix yourself up in the commercial? No, I didn't. <laughs> you know what she did first in the green room? Wait, let me fix my hair. <laughs> you got a mirror in here now? Yeah. <laughs> Called the Jenny McCarthy mirror. <laughs> the honorary Jenny McCarthy mirror. Howard, could you move for a second? I just want to... yeah. <laughs> he needs to see what I do. Love to. I put all the hair in my face. Ah, oh, look at that. I look better. You gotta you, admit. You look good. Yeah. Like the shirt. Thank you. Everything. Yeah, everything's. Uh, Jenny's in love with me. Really? I do. I do. She. She really seems to yeah, like. But you. she's married. Well, I mean, and she, I don't think she's well, do you're about not uh, free. But I'm I think if free. you if you both were free today, mm. I think you'd be going out tonight. <clears throat> Wonder what she would do with me. What do you mean? Like when last time she let me feel her boobs. <laughs> you know what she just did in the green room? She ordered breakfast, but she said she just wanted a banana. She's like, "Come on, eat camera. I'm sure you want to get this." And she just ate a banana. <laughs> Does Jenny have a male assistant who wants to play Lord of the Anal Rings? No. <laughs> we we talked about that too. <laughs> oh, really? I wonder if we could take our shirts off and hug each other. That'd be pretty You hot. and Artie? Sure. <laughs> no, I mean, me and Jenny. I don't think Jenny's got anything on and, uh, under her shirt. Trey Jolie, Jenny. Bring her and, uh, in. Let's take a look. Bring that little whore in here. Now you're going to call her a little whore? Get in here, you dirty little whore. We like to abuse our women. What's wrong with that? I'm just getting worked up. Verbally <laughs> abuse. You know I need to verbally abuse in order to get sexed up? Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Hey, now. Well, you sprung back into shape. After that baby. After that annoying baby. How is that baby? Wow. How is that baby? Let's not even talk about the baby. Do I have to stand for now? Okay, good. I can yeah, we want to look at you. No, we're going to stand. We're going to stand. I can sit and... You look great in a dress. Hi, babe. I'm all about how you look. I, it's kind of... um. I don't know. Is it see-through or just thin? I can it's see... It's thin. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. A, let me describe what you're wearing. Everything. A yellow shirt with no bra, completely plunging neckline. Hey, now. Little jean miniskirt that you're having trouble sitting in. I you. am. You wearing panties? Hey, now. Today I am. Take them off. <laughs> there you hey, now. You feel better. <laughs> you feel better on that dirty, filthy couch. Hey, now. But they're like, you know, thin, see-through mesh, so. How come you can't look at me? Because you're so hot. Yeah, okay. Hey, now. You know, last time you um felt my breasts. Yeah. What am I feeling today? Um, that was pretty fun, I must say. I'm gonna be feeling your ass, your breasts. Like, got off from that for a long time. You're lying. Like that was in my fantasy book that in order to have an orgasm, that's you're lying. Swear to God. Swear on the life you, of your mother. Yes. Say it. Swear on the life of my mother. That I fantasized about Howard touching I my breasts. About Howard touching my breasts. Swear on the life of your baby, and I'll believe you. <laughs> I swear on the I life. I never knew my baby, but on my mother, I love more than anything. So yes, I did. And y'all tell Wait, whoa, 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 slow down. So you're telling me, like after you were on the show, and I felt your breasts. Yes. Like it was maybe, the way you felt them, though. What did I do so I can do because that I, again? I, I, was, I thought you would just squeeze them like most, but instead you kind of gentle. softly okay. caressed them. Oh, I'm gentle. You are. Oh, I am. Like I thought you would be more mm, wild and... No, no, no. Pulling hair and biting. No, oh, Jenny. No, 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 Gnawing Jenny. on my... Oh, Jenny. <laughs> oh, Jenny. My crucial head. <laughs> my crucial head. I love you. Oh, I love you, Bambina. But you're pretty, you're pretty um, sensual. Oh, yes. Oh, so much. I like that you're standing out. You haven't done that yet. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your legs. <laughs> I like your legs the best and your boobs. Thanks. I like my boobs. I said you got a good boob job. Yeah, I do have a good boob job. Man. What are those again? Saline? No, silicone. silicone. I remember. Very good. That. I remember. <laughs> over the muscle or under? I, um, over the muscle. Really? Yeah. God, they're perfect. And they and they move. So let me understand something. So the last time you were on, so like in the morning you were on, we had a good time. I touched your boobs, 
And then, like, what, like, when did you start fantasizing about me touching your boobs? Like, what night did you... The next you, time I had sex. With your husband? Mm-hmm. Hold on a second. You're in bed with your husband. He's doing you. Yes. And you close your eyes and think about me yes. touching your breasts. Mm-hmm. Did you tell your husband? Yeah, he knew. He fan- He tells me what he fantasizes about. What does he fantasize about? You know, he- um... Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Voyeurism. Somebody's watching. Uh, he's watching me with you. Hey, we could arrange that. I know. He doesn't I, you, have to fantasize. We told you that He's last a little bit time, creepy if you still... ask me, but I would I'd let him watch. <laughs> if you chain him to the wall so he doesn't kill me. <laughs> you know what's weird about that? Mm. When I'm with a woman, and I swear to God, I never fantasize about a different woman. God, that's really amazing. I'm into the woman I'm but, with. But when you were married for all those years, you never... Nope. Never had to do that. I am into my woman. And let me tell you something, honey. When yeah. I'm in bed with you, I'm not going to be thinking about anyone else. Trust me, I'm going to be thinking about you. And I can play rough. Don't what, get me what wrong. What about when you're, um, how do I say Pleasuring? Play? Yes, thank you. Oh, when I'm pleasuring, I think about other chicks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I knew somewhere it had to be there. Well, yeah. Have you ever fantasized about me while you're pleasuring? Yeah, sure I have. Yeah. Absolutely. You should see what I do to you. You're hanging upside down by a wire. Wow. And so. doing what? Is she what still alive? <laughs> oh no, you're dead. That's my fantasy. But what is your what is your like fetish? Do you have one? I like tying chicks up. Really? I like to tie them up. I like to eat ice cream off their most intimate areas. No, is that true? Yep. Really? Uh huh. What kind of ice cream? You name it. Sherbert. If it's fattening, I get I get depressed. <laughs> but uh, no, I like to do that. I like to. Um, what I like to do is walk out of the room, make you wait for me. Really? See, that is very naughty. I, uh, That's I'll... incredibly naughty. And then, I'll, and then, like, you'll yell at me and stuff because you get really pissed. Yeah, you're like, come on. And I come back in, I laugh, and I leave. <laughs> and you're going nuts. And you go pleasure yourself in the other room. No. Oh, no, no, no. You're, uh, believe me, we have pleasure. Wow. And I, and so I play you with wait. you a little bit, then maybe if you get out of line, I tickle you a little. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's sick. And then do you have, like, a, a, a body part fetish, like your foot or? No. 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 Leg man, breast I'm man? Leg. Really? I would always wonder that about guys. Like, how... But what am I? I'm, I'm a vagina man. <laughs> Trust me. Honey, you don't even know what that is. You haven't <laughs> been with one yet. But you I'm like the back door sometimes, man. too. No. You don't, but you I talk about it. Don't care time. about it. No, I don't either. Don't care. It's the garbage dump. Who wants to go there? I know what I want with you. What? The, the regular way. Really? Loving. Sensitive. Wow, because you're very, I'm going to say you're more sensual than I ever Oh, you have imagined. no friggin' idea. Really? <laughs> I think I'm starting to stick to the seat. <laughs> Are you? That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> you shouldn't have gotten married when I got single. Uh, well, how, I would have totally hooked up with you. You could have saved me from my last relationship and was like, hey, come on. I mean, that idiot you married. Huh. <sighs> No, oh, I love... he's not a bad guy. No, thank no you. I have to, I have to, rocks. I have to put him down. Oh. I'm sorry. If, I'm, I apologize to him. I don't even really know the guy, but that idiot you married. I mean, no, he is great. It was, it was the other ones in the past. That imbecile you married. No, him. I love him. He's a bit of a moron, but that we'll, moron you married. We'll pass over. That. We don't know him, but we have to call you him. You like on. him? You. Uh, him. He's okay. What's he do? Again, di- a director. Oh. Yes. So you're telling me mm-hmm. that after we met and I touched your breasts on the air. That you were with your husband. Yes. And then you described to him that you were thinking about me during your lovemaking. Yes, multiple times. And when you brought this up, he wasn't offended. No. He said to you, well, what are you thinking about? Yeah. And what did you say? I said, I'm thinking about the way Howard touched my breast. And you're thinking about me being in bed with you right now? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, oh, gosh. And then he didn't get angry? Heck no. And yeah. then he said, and what is he doing to you about I mean, you, yes. you described it. Yes. And what did you describe? I can't say it. Oral? Everything, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. I but talk a lot, some too. Some fun positions. <laughs> I'm very ta- I'm, I'm talkative. I describe what you I'm going to do. You want to be able to really fantasize. See, this do. is great. You don't even know what I'm up to. I'm going crazy right now because you talk about it. Oh, the whole time I like tell you I'm what I'm going to do. going to do this yes. to you now? Yes, yeah. That's insane. Oh, yeah, in your ear. You know, girls are going crazy. No, you're going crazy. <laughs> Other girls are crazy. God, that's really hot. When you fantasize about me, do you fix my face a little? All right, let's go to commercial. I love that.
like, do I, I love should that. I pull my checkbook out now? <laughs> you're going to be fine. Yeah, I know. So, so, you, so this has only happened once? No, a few times. And then he says, hey, I would like to watch the two of you? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what are we waiting for? I don't know. I have. I told you that last time. He lets you swing like that. Well, we've never swung. But All right, we talk forget about swing. it. Talk about but wait fantasies. A minute, wait a minute. How are you going to? What are you bringing, Beth? No. Yeah, Beth can come. No, I don't want your husband with his grubby, stinky <laughs> hands all over my girlfriend. I'm in love with her. She's hot. Yeah, by she's the way. hot. Like smoking. Smoking hot. So are you. She's gotta. She's. She's got to just get off by you. Oh, don't worry. She got off quite a few times. Oh, so much. <laughs> she um, got way off. What is your, like, regular, how many times a week can you go? Or we do go? it. I'd say we do it four or five times a week. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it, do you guys kind of do fun, exciting places, or is it just usually in the bedroom? Uh, let's see. We did it last. No, we did it the night before last. We were in the bed. We were watching American Idol. I couldn't even be, I couldn't even get through all of American Idol. I needed her. Wow! Wow! Not... That you know what? Right there shows you. And then hot. I did the weir a weird thing with pillows. I'm very inventive. What did you do with pillows? Positioned them a certain way. Some new positions. <laughs> it's driving me crazy right now. Oh yeah. Tell me, tell me. Oh. <laughs> Did you suffocate her? Are you one of those? Oh, my. <laughs> She's in my apartment dead right now. She loved it. Kill me. Oh, she doesn't complain. What kind of shoes are you wearing? Um, some Jimmy Choo's. Nice. Boy, you know how to dress hot. You know what picture I like about you? The mm -hmm. one you did the candies in yeah, when you're sitting no on the candies? toilet. The new one? No, the old oh, one. I'm I, I didn't see well, a new one. The, I'm, uh, the new one, I'm sitting on the toilet again. Oh. But I, I, Kelly Clarkson is in the bathtub. Oh, I saw that. No, I don't the need The first that. one. Yeah. And by the way, how airbrushed is Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> Let's be honest. I was pretty airbrushed myself. Sorry. No, you weren't, baby. I didn't have a freckle on my body. I was like, wow. Yeah, but you weren't airbrushed, were you? Just the freckles. I'm always airbrushed. Just the freckles, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with your body that I'd airbrush. How's that ass? It's hard. It's tight. Is it? Mm -hmm. Round, muscular? Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at those legs, man. <laughs> You got great legs. He's looking. He won't sit down. I know. I kind of did. I've never it, conducted an, uh, an interview then I, like this. No, I know. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it because I can tell when you get aroused now. No. I'm trying to con contain that. <laughs> and you know what? I must say, it's kind of hanging low. <laughs> I want to disappoint you. No, but you always talked how small it was, but I would say it's yeah. a pretty good size. Makes the audience think I'm. Na na an they average can man. identify with him, I guess. I'd be honest, it's oh, not that so big. you're trying to be like, hum I don't know. It looks Maybe like, he's I see, I see, a, I see the doing? bulge there. <laughs> Wait, let me adjust it. <laughs> so, um, wow, that's kind of cool. I know. Nobody's ever told you that before. Have no you? one? Can we take our shirts off and, and hug each other? <laughs> no. You can't do it, huh? <laughs> How come? Why? Last time I got away with it because my husband was here. Where is he now? He's back in L.A. Oh, is he? Yes. Is he directing something? Oh, don't you need some place to stay tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's Beth? Is she in town right now? Yes. She's hot, though. Yes, she is. She's really, she's smoking. Like Have you know. ever thought of being with another woman? No, I really like the Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I don't have one of those. <laughs> Let me sit down. But, um, you know. Todd All right, Chauncey, Chauncey wants to talk. Chauncey, uh -huh. go ahead. Hey, Howard, I hate to ruin this segment and to ruin your day, and Jenny will completely deny this. What? But the last time I interviewed Jenny McCarthy, she told me, she goes, when I do that, when I go on Howard Stern, I totally make all this stuff for him. So uh -huh. My focus on other things than that's, my personal that's why I life. I let him touch my breast. Right? Oh, damn. Is I true? swear God. to God. I want you to swear. swear. Jenny, do you God, have that on fess tape? Up, fess up. Do you have that on tape, Chauncey? I have it on tape. I don't have it, I don't have it at work. This I'll play it tomorrow. Crap. So, in other words, I can be played. Uh, totally. Totally <laughs> playing you right now. You're I'm falling such a apart. dickhead. Who cares, though? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you can. Oh, uh, please. It's hardly fair. Now I'm all bummed. Did she really say that, Chauncey? No, no. I'm serious with a heart attack. Why would you say that, Chauncey? Because it's the truth. I'm listening to this. I'm like, oh, I can't stand it. It's being played. But, but let me ask you something. Yes. 
All right, wait a second. Swear on the life of your mother who you love that you're being honest. Swear on the life of my mother. I have to what? Say. That I totally think you're hot and say everything. And it and you really pl and when your husband was doing it, you were thinking about me. Yes. Poor Mrs. McCarthy. Actually, the last time I was on, it really kind of that one really got me going. See, because I'm what. Maybe you're embarrassed and you, you would lie to Chauncey about... Mm -hmm. In other words, like maybe when you were doing the interview with Chauncey and you said that you were lying because you didn't want him to know that you really felt that way about me. <laughs> I don't want a lot of people to know, but I figure my husband's really cool about me talking wow. about it. Boy, I wouldn't be cool. So now I'm finally kind of able I was, to say what I want to say. If I was your husband, I wouldn't go for any of that. He's the first guy that kind of really lets me be me. So I would, I would I not let like you be you. I can say whatever I want. You the last around? guy, the, the last guy, I couldn't. Do you? Who was that guy? My ex-manager. Yeah, that manager oh. dude. Well, Remember him? Do you parade around in little outfits for your man? Pardon me? Do you parade around in little outfits for your he man? He just likes me naked. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> hmm. That's how it. It's a formula for going on your show. You just play produce up like you want to sleep tape. with you. Produce the tape. I will produce the tape tomorrow, and you can tell me your thoughts. God damn it. You know how Chauncey um, misunderstands I, things sometimes. He doesn't always get it right, yeah. even when he has tape. Is it going to be like the tape where the King of Queens brought, invited you to her house in L.A.? Yeah, Chauncey, we're real clear on that. All right, all right. You know what? Then enjoy your fantasy while you can. Enjoy it for 24 hours. You enjoy dick. your fantasy for the next 24 hours. You don't do this to Larry King, too, do you? No, no. Right. If anything, I could possibly say is maybe I told, like, a lesbian story and then denied it. Okay. You know, one of those kind of interviews. Like, no, no. I was just saying that. I can't believe your husband's not around. I know, because we'd play, but I always... He has no, to I can't here. play with you. Oh, he has to be here. I like that rule. Yeah. It's only fair. He's such a worm, that guy. Oh, I love him. <sighs> Andy, you're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, hey now. now. What's up, partner? 802 over here. Listen, Jenny, do me a favor. Yeah? Can you get off that couch and let them shoot him with the breeze and you can get off the air for a little while? What do you, you say? Really drive you he wants really me to spray me my and butt? And listen, I'm going to tell you why. I want you to spray that couch with Febreze so it doesn't smell anymore. I want you to leave. That's what is he talking oh. about? He wants me to spray it with Febreze, but actually... I don't even understand. I don't even what understand do what think? anyone's talking about. You've got a hot chick here and you're wasting my time. This guy was making a dumb joke. Dr. Gonzo, you're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, now. I was just wondering, what does Jenny McCarthy's feet look like? Let me take a look. I think they're good. Yeah, they're perfect, actually. Damn, what's it like to be perfect? Does does the doctor have a foot fetish? Doctor, I do. I do. I'm into feet. Hey, you do kind of have perfect feet. Damn, really? you're perfect. Yeah. What's it like to be perfect? Well, we'll never know. <laughs> Maybe in our next lives. You know, Robin, you're looking pretty damn good. Hey, how old are you now? Do you talk about your age? Oh, heck yeah. How old are you now? 31. Boy, you look good. And I must say, the 30s are Fabulous. Yeah, I don't know about those 40s, don't though. Don't go any further, though. Yeah, if you want. If, if I, <laughs> the if, early 30s? If I was you, I'd stop right here. That's right. Well, I feel like you peak almost. Mm. She's right. My 30s have been great. <laughs> <laughs> See, Artie went a little too far into the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Man. You just become like, I don't know. I keep thinking about me doing you in front of your husband. That's <laughs> Could freaky. You do that? Could you really do that with another guy standing there? <sighs> Would he have to be outside the door and maybe you not know? Or I, I don't think I'd dig that. I want to be one-on-one -on -one with, especially with Jenny. I think it'd be fun as hell. I think we'd have a really good time. So, And I think he'd ruin it. He'd ruin the intimacy. I'd be a little self-conscious. Right. But he'd probably, you know, just hang outside and look through a window. Yeah, but then I, I want to talk to you about stuff. I mean, well, he wouldn't I'm not hear gonna, it. I'm not going gonna to make love to you. I'm not going to just F you. I feel like that you more make love than F. That's true. Which really, I... M Box me actually. I, I wouldn't expect it. I thought that you would like throw someone around and throw them on the counter. No, and I want you to fall in love with me, and that's is, not going to happen if I just f you. Is that because I can't do it that good? But do you lure them in by making love and then yes. f them. Yeah. Really? So Beth started off the first six months just making love, and then right now she has. Now she has <laughs> sex. <laughs> yes, Mike, you're on the air. Hey there. Come on, Mike. Go ahead. Ask the question. Good morning, Howard. Good morning, Howard. You look so stupid. Oh, listen. you son of a bitch. Go ahead, Mike. Listen, listen, Jenny. Why don't you ask Howard what he did to Andy, how he tied her up and everything. Left her uh, be quiet. Wait, who? 
And do you have a heart? No. Did you? No? Yes. Did you tie her up? No, come on. I don't want to talk. That's you business between me and her. Oh, hey come on. And, and this guy somehow got into it. I don't know. How no, did, Angie how and I spoke know? about it on the air. <laughs> and, and you really tied her up? In bed? Yes. You're kidding. How come no. I, I didn't know that? I what can I say? One. That's what's going to happen to you eventually. Was she um, Was she naughty good? She's a terrific girl. Really? Yeah, but I'm in love with Beth. God, that's so great. Yeah. Are you going to get married? No. No. I don't hey, have to Howie, do that. Hey, Howie, do you have a, a tie that up or no? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, you little wuss. <laughs> now, dude, now I'm now trying to hold things together, all right? I got a good thing going. Dude, now all of a sudden you want to hold back and you want to talk about it? Right, come on, yeah? come on. Not right now. I got a hot chick here. I got some things going. Then you start to look like a little man whore if you you bring up too many chicks. <laughs> man whore. Yeah. Trust me, I know how to play this one. Do you um get into like porn with her? Like, do you watch porn? Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. And I put down the other guys in the porn. Uh, Let me well, tell you something. I'm a fun guy to be with. I'd say we laugh at the porn. Do you laugh? Yeah. So you don't get off watching it. You just... Oh, we get off. Yeah. We sometimes we imitate what's on the screen. But what kind of porn is it? Is it girl girl? Is it guy girl? Uh, guy girl. I'm not threatened. Oh, trust me, honey. Trust me. You know exactly what I'm about. I love Holland. <laughs> yes, Jeff, you're on the air. Uh, this is Russ, actually. Yes, Russ. I got a uh, an F. Mary kill for you. Jenny McCarthy, Rebecca Romaine, ex Stamos, and Heather Locklear. Okay. I'd kill Heather Locklear. Oh, oh no. It's easy now, yeah. All right, because she's older now. Yeah. Oh, I knew oh you were going to say that. So she'd have to go. All right. What are you doing over there? Just adjusting. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Locklear is hot, actually. She Heather was... Locklear is incredibly hot, but but I'm... he's got to f marry and kill. Right. I would f Rebecca, because <laughs> Rebecca's been in my apartment naked, and I know what that's all about. Okay. And then I'd marry Jenny. You said that last time too. I was here. Yeah. It was Carmel actually and Pamela. A, I have a couple of. Yeah, I would marry. I like you. that you'd marry me. That makes me feel because good. you're interesting. Yeah. Good. Hey, Howard. Yes. I've been your caller. Russ out. Russ out. Seacrest out. Yeah, what is that, by the way? Seacrest out? Seacrest. You don't watch out? American Idol? Yeah, I know, but some people have been talking about it. And Seacrest out. There's a hand movement that goes with it? Seacrest out. It's oh. like if you want to become gay, out. you do that. That's the gay thing. I didn't know a hand had to go along with it. Stern out? <laughs> Jenny out? It's almost like a Heil Hitler. What is he doing? So what are you doing? You're selling that book of yours? When I you... am. Did I you see it at all? It's I don't want to look funny. at it. Come on. Are there pictures of no. you pregnant? No pictures. Not interested. Well, I'm on the cover. Pregnant. You say some weird stuff in there. Yeah. I got to say, and some of it kind of disturbed me. Wow. Um, when Jenny, Jenny talks about pregnancy, she said she had a frequent discharge during her pregnancy that was strong enough to put holes in her underwear. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. And I mean, I'm like, is that hot? Uh, well, you know, you really want to share you're like a, that? You're like a superwoman. That's like a superpower. <laughs> she's like, a, she's like alien. I'm afraid of having sex with you. You'll she's burn. Got acid in there. You'll burn right through my rubber. I would. Um, you know what? I just wanted to write a really truthful, raw. If, Are you if Howard Stern was a woman, he'd write this pregnancy book. No, I wouldn't, because you're, yeah. a, you're a, first of all, your career is different than mine. No guy wants you're to look a at a hot symbol. chick. Yeah. So you're like one of the guys. You don't. You knock that off. Yeah, be one of the girls. Yeah. You're a girl. I know. I am like one of the guys. Right. And you don't have to talk about discharge burning holes in your underpants. <laughs> You're like one of the guys with a hot but ass, I just nice want to tell the truth. I mean, it, but who cares? Oh, because you know what? No pregnancy book was telling the truth. It was but, driving but, but me crazy. But you know why they don't tell that? Because nobody wants to know that. Yeah, they do. Who's I would have bought some cheap week? Kmart underwear. If Did I you know. put holes through your underwear? Yeah. Literally? Yeah. What was, what what was the, coming out of Was that duh. acid? It's Are you a devil? No. What is that? <laughs> I think the chapter's called Ni <laughs> Niagara in my pants. I'm the devil with my discharge. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping in the right places. Right? I guess, but that's crazy. Did you have the devil's child like Mia Farrow and uh, listen to this? I did uh, my Rosemary's baby. Your husband only had sex with you twice during your pregnancy. Yes, and in the ninth month was a disaster. Why? Because you looked like a pig <laughs> in a pasture. And I remember seeing you on TV. It was disturbing to see you like that. And on the TV, that was nothing compared to, like, the month before I was about to deliver. I can't imagine. I mean, you're so hot again. I was, I was 204, Howard. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's hideous. It is. I'll never get you pregnant. <laughs> I mean, look but at look you. But look at her now. Hey, don't, you're not going to have another oh. baby, are you? Yeah, eventually. Oh. 
He just snapped back. Just it's not gonna. It doesn't always work like this. You got lucky the first oh, time. Oh no, I worked hard. Do you have stretch marks? Work hard. Um, maybe a little bit on the sides of my boobs. Uh, I, you should have tried to have twins. Leave that body alone. <laughs> really, adopt. Be like Angelina Jolie. Get some takeout. In. Jenny claims in her book the most. She had the most incredibly strong orgasms while she was oh, pregnant. Oh my gosh! They were so strong she would see colors. Now, like the Lucky Charms. So you, <laughs> so you were by yourself during your pregnancy, and it was like it sounds like the best sex you ever had. Um, the best orgasms, really, because your hormones are so Raging. out of control. So why wouldn't you have sex with your husband during because that, or he wasn't turned I felt on? So fat, and I just I, I didn't want him That's to hot. see me. That's hot. So I just made sure I took care of myself. You know that the pocket rocket does amazing things. Pocket rocket is the best vibrator on the Without market. Without a doubt, and they should send me. Does more. your husband use it on you? Um, nobody just watches. I use it on my women. Really? Yeah. But, you know, you have to know exactly where to put it. And yeah. if you put Give it right... Give me a shot. Give me a chance. Yeah, the thing that is... That would be cheating. I mean, that's not cheating. <laughs> if I do that to you, that's not cheating. You'd be overly Let me just sensitive, use... though, in that area. Yeah. I know what to do. Sometimes I tie you up and tease you and never even touch that area. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. You don't know what I'm about. You can only guess what I do. I know. In the bed with you. Well, now I'm understanding. Right. I get what you women are all about. You like things to take time, unfold. Yes. You want fantasy. Yes. I know what you want. I'm willing if to put my time in for hot chicks. Because I'm an ugly dog. I'm not going to sit there and do that. I'm just going to have sex with you. I wish there was a celebrity porno tape of yours. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, know, I know better than that. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree that like you do it so much better than what's out there? Where's my pocket rocket? Let me demonstrate on you right now what <laughs> no. I would do. Let me do it on your arm. You would even see. How, I'll I, tell you what. I would have sex with you during your pregnancy. I would tell you you were beautiful and I wouldn't care. Really? Yeah, sure. Well, I wouldn't let you, though. I really wouldn't let you. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Jenny encouraged her husband to pleasure himself to porn while she was pregnant. So would he do that in front of you, or no? I said just go online and find some great website, and and he didn't feel rejected by that. No. Okay. He was like, all right. <laughs> Jenny's breast became very large and swollen during her pregnancy. This is all from her book. Now, Sorry. did you lactate? No. Okay. Um, but I did weigh my breasts during the pregnancy because that's hot. They were so big. And what I, did they weigh? I had a food meat scale, <sighs> and I was going, "Wow, the doctor said I gained ten pounds this month, but it's not on my ass. What am I going to do?" So I saw it, and I kind of took one out and plopped one on, and it was five pounds one breast. So ten there pounds. It is. There's there the ten. It is. All those years in the Playboy Mansion, you never uh, messed around with another girl. No. Hmm. No. Um, back then, it was different because Kimberly right. was there. Um, but still, like the girls in the middle of the night would be like, we're sneaking out. I'm like, where are you going? What club? No, we're going to find half. And they try to find him. Half uh, never came on to you, huh? No, no. I'm shocked. No, he was he was really good when he was with Kimberly. And then um, when I left, he got divorced and then had seven girlfriends. So he didn't need to hit on me. All right, you wouldn't do him anyway. It's not for you. Well, not now I'm in love with my husband. No, you're not. <laughs> I, uh, You're bored with your husband. No, we have fun. He's he's really great. <laughs> as much as you love Beth, that's how much I love my husband. Oh, ain't great. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to find a good outfit for you? I can't even tell you. Like three months I planned it. Wait a second. You're telling me you planned your outfit yes, for today? for today. It's perfect. How many outfits did you try on? Um, About six. First, I had like a pair of these like low cut chip and pepper jeans, and I was like, no, it doesn't show my legs. And then I yeah, the dress was the way to go, wasn't it? It's the perfect outfit. Good, perfect. Oh, I did good, but it really took a long time. It was driving me nuts. Yeah. Let's go to John. John, you're on the air with Jenny McCarthy. Her new book. Do men want to read this book? So far, I've read some reviews. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um... by the way, before Jenny came in. She prepared her outfits for me. Guess what I did for her? I fasted for a week. I haven't eaten. <laughs> I'm calling, you know, so anyway, we can't go. hear. What? Well, I can't hear him at all. I can't hear you. He's gone. He's gone. I, wish you, I wish you would have read some of it, though. I'm reading it now. All right. now <laughs> did you read all the front chapters, though? What did it say? What, 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 well, tell me what you... funny. What am I leaving out? Um... I don't know. I don't, am I dude? Am I going to read a book on pregnancy? It's funny. When Beth becomes pregnant, you should. Beth's not going to become pregnant from me. 
she, she doesn't want any kids? No, not, not so far. Really? Thank God. Oh, see, I'd want I to... have three kids. I did all that that you're doing. Yeah, now. but she might want a love child with her man. Mm, well, you know what? That's going to wreck me. You think? Yeah. I don't want to go you're through done? that again. You're done? No, I, I, my kids are great, and that's it. Are they all, How old are they I now? told her she can love my kids. <laughs> What's the difference? What? What's mine is hers. Oh, you. <laughs> Got him, What'd you do? <laughs> Was playing and kicked my big toe on your microphone. Let me kiss it. Your perfect big toe. <laughs> How you doing back there, by the way? Me? I'm doing great. Thank you. For Looking that. at you. He's cute. Hey, Rick, you're on the air. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, all right. Hey, now. Hey, now. Listen, uh, I was at the peak of this story with James. This is one of the best you've ever done. I wish I could stand up while I'm driving the car. Mm -hmm. But at the peak of things, Tom pulled the dump on you, and I don't know what she said about your face. You were talking about... Her oh. Your oh, and then all of a sudden, oh, then all of sudden Artie's going, uh, oh, let's go to break. Yeah, I know. You know what? Here's the deal. And, and this is the serious side of the hey show. Now. The show has become one big mess for me. That sucks. The dumping, the deleting, Tom, Tom, the... Well, Tom, Tom, what? I don't know what happened here. But yeah. One of our markets has already gone to commercial three times. Oh, what? no. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm out. Oh, she crashed out. Are we going through here? No, I can't even believe there that. There is no show. And, and in the meantime, Jenny and I had a big conversation before. She went through all the stuff. Can I say this? Can She's I say been this? fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, here's the deal. That's and I have my meeting with Mel, who owns Viacom. He owns the whole company. The guy's worth $20 billion. I have a meeting with him today. And uh, I know what I'm going to say. And some of the stuff I don't even want to tell you what I'm going to say because it's really from the heart. And uh, I don't want to trivialize it. But it's really time for me to go. I'm ready. The government needs to make a martyr out of me. I'll be bigger than ever. I'm ready to go. I don't want to do this anymore. It's not fun for me to talk to a hot Jenny McCarthy, get all worked up, and then my audience doesn't hear it. I, I can't believe that that happened. I hate you to look say, so goddamn good. I hate to say, you know who else is ready to go? Who? Jenny has to go. What? Oh. Where are you going? So much fun. Do, do we want to hear more I about this charge? I have like 17 interviews today. What do you have? I have like 17 more interviews She's going to wear this outfit for everyone else? No, I love you. That's why I'm You're lying. She's going to the View, Howard. We call oh, the View. Yeah. Big fat star Jones. Hey, do me a favor. When you're on that show, you got to do this. I'll give. I'll talk about my problems afterwards. You got to say to her, "What are you doing, honey? Getting married?" And you know what? She's mad at me now, Star Jones, because I keep bringing this up. Yeah. But it said in the paper the dude has had questionable sexual background. Three months they know each other. Those other yentas won't bring it up to her. I mean. He has to do everything on TV, even in get engaged on TV. Don't you think there's something bad going on there? You know, she's going to thank me, you know, after she gets her divorce. Right. Well, she will never will. She'll pretend that it was fine and she never heard from you. And Will you not say anything to her to, to help her? I mean, is anyone not want to do an intervention? I, I, I don't know her that well. I know she's been really nice to me, but I, I, I don't think I can be, hey, girlfriend. <laughs> I, I, I'm not on that level with her. Here's what you ought to do on that show today. Hmm. You say, hey, girlfriend, I care about you. I know I'm probably never going to be invited back. But I really think you should wait before you get married. I think you should wait two years. Let's see if this thing lasts. I just want to see her face when I say vaginal discharge. That's going to be good. <laughs> That's going to be good. That's going to be good. <laughs> say that on there, and then I'll have the FCC fine you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll probably already be fine because I, I am. Want me to blunt. write a note? I'm as blunt as you. Can I write I'm scared a note? If I wrote a note right now to her, would you hand it to her? No, I'm too scared. You're my emissary. You're my ambassador. Can I call a courier? <laughs> you don't need her. You're big enough. You don't need her. Let me write down a little note. Would you hand it to her for me? No, I won't. I'll write, Dear Star, I want you to know I don't hate you, even though you said some very unchristian-like things about me. <laughs> but I want you to know, I'm just, all I'm merely saying is, wait two years before you get married. Oh, I thought you got cut off just now. So you're trying to help her. You're I'm trying to, trying to help. I'm worried about her. She's been very nice to me. What if I write, so you're going to let her make the biggest mistake of her life. I, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? The best thing is stay out of it. That's what I'm do. Jay, go ahead. You have the last word because Jenny has to leave. She's got ver bigger shows than this. No, shut up. Yes, yeah, Jay. bigger than you, Howard. Thank you, Jay. Hey, listen. Uh, we got to hook this broad up to a lot of tax Ah. Ah, next time. I, I get, right. get one in there right now. You, you know what? I don't have a Tory in here, but honey. There's, I want to know. There's some skeletons that I ain't talking about. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about me and you. Yeah, oh. I just want to know if you're telling the truth about Howard. Because Chauncey did 
cast a, a negative light over this. Chauncey, if anything, like I told you, I probably told some story that I got in trouble for and was like, right. no, no, I just, you know. I only made out with her because I was drunk in a hot tub. Are you willing to take a lie detector test and only answer questions about me? Yeah. You will. Or you can do better. Hey. And feel. <laughs> and feel what? What? You want me to touch those again? The proof is in the uh, pudding, <laughs> if I... Uh... Yeah. I want to touch those again. Oh, get them somewhere. Yeah, maybe I better not. I think you had to find a new body part and then touch that. Ever have sex with a black man? No. Interesting. Does that matter? You many men, have you? You've only had... You, 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 you. Good memory. What is it, Vin? Real quick, because i got to go. go. She's, she's got to go. Yeah. Howard, can you take some pictures of Jenny before she leaves and put them on your website? Look at you, you dirty old <laughs> no, I'm on the bus. Aren't you a vice president at CBS? Like no, I just want to see what she looks like. I, you. I haven't seen her in a while. I want to see if she's really as hot. Tune in the show, you'll Hello, see her. My daddy. Could you take a picture? All right, I'll take a picture. Jenny, let him shoot some shots. Okay. okay. I got I got to do it now. Right now. Do it right now. All right, right goodbye. Okay. I love okay. you. Okay. Go disrobe in the bathroom. I'll take a few <laughs> shots. Oh, stop it. All right. Jenny, your book is called what? she got to go, but she does have one good sex story that you didn't get to. What is it? She once um, had a one-night stand with a bouncer. She never knew his name, took her home. He did her, and then he just, like, left his place. What an ass. He left his own place. He left his own place. He said he was going to get something to eat. And he never, and he never returned? Never returned. He's but, like, what do you want? I'm like, a Big Mac and large fry? I'm like, right on. Mm. 20 minutes later, an hour later, two hours later, I'm like, oh, my God, he ditched me in his own apartment. Well, I mean, you're so hot. How could a guy... I mean, I, that's probably why he you were trying... a girlfriend. Oh. I didn't know that. I but, who leaves a chick, but who leaves a chick at the apartment? His he apartment. Yeah. Get out of it. I, I had to do the walk of shame home from a neighborhood <laughs> I didn't even know of. I only wish I could have seen that. All right. Jenny McCarthy's book, Belly Laughs, yes. is available in stores now. We've only touched on a few of the stories yes. in the book. And uh, your incredible discharge was one of them. Yes. And uh, I thank you for coming in here because you do cheer up my day. Thanks, Howard. And I can only think what might have been between us. I know. It might have been. I'm going to go think about that. Could have been. And rub one out. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, thank you, Jenny. And we'll be back right after these words. Here's George Bush talking about Howard Stern. You have the bluest eyes of any man I've ever seen. They are really... Oh, and they are something, I'll tell you. Young blue eyes. Hey yeah. Enough. 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 You know, um, Enough. I was rapping to Jenny McCarthy for two seconds. She kind of ran out of here real quick. What do you mean? You, what are you saying? Well, she didn't hang around and talk. You don't think she likes you for real? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Who knows? Chauncey ruined it. But you know what? We'll hear the tape of Chauncey. Right. And, won't and even... then you'll be sorry that you even mm. listened to Chauncey. She did say she left. She goes, no, you're really looking good. Whatever you're doing, you're doing right. You look good. See? She did say that. I went, well, you look very nice, too. <laughs> 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 I look Gotta good. give it to you. You look good. I really know how to throw a rap a girl's way. <laughs> I like you, too. You look nice, also. <laughs> you ditto. <laughs> She's a hot chick. Not that tall. No. Thank you. But that's all right. And do you think there's... I mean, she swore in the life of her mother that she wants to have sex with me in front of her husband. Uh -huh. Like, I mean, it's, cre it's creepy even to think that... Anybody wants to do that. Yeah, but I think I would do it just to get my hands on her, but I would... If it's the only way. I told Gary, I think I could get her and, and negotiate not being with the husband. You know what I figure they could do? They don't have to let you in on their little secret, their dirty little secret. Right. She could make you think it's all about you. You know, all I'm saying is, if she wants to have sex with me that bad, let's say, let's assume she said telling the truth. Uh huh. Let's just do it and not tell anyone. Anyway, you would be able to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> no, got to tell somebody. <laughs> of course, I've kept my mouth shut about tons of people. You don't no, know about. somebody knows. No. I'm not yeah. saying you told everybody. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you there are chicks I've had sex with that yeah, nobody yeah. knows. Nobody. No one. Not, not one, one guy friend. Not yourself. Ralph, no one. Really? That's right. Some of these people are very embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, they're embarrassed <laughs> to be with me. That's the only reason. <laughs> You're not going to keep Jenny a secret. No, I would. No, I would. I can, I can keep you a secret. It's uh, worth it. We'll see. You haven't gotten her yet. Mm. <laughs> I'd put it on my blog. Are you kidding? <laughs> 
I have a thing on the internet. I actually keep a blog, but do I do really? it under I do it under a different name, and it's a completely fictitious character. But nobody's oh, ever okay, figured so it out. So you're not really blogging your own life. No. I have, uh, and and you might say, well, why are you doing this? Is a waste of time. I I started out thinking maybe I'd do a book under a pseudonym, and then it just turned into one big joke. And there's only about four people who know who my know the joke. Yeah. Donald Trump announced he's getting married to Melania. Melania. Melania or Melanoma? I thought it was Melania. Melanoma. Trump to wed model. That's what we call her, model. When I saw that, I went, oh, I guess he dumped his girlfriend. <laughs> Billionaire builder Donald Trump has proposed to his beautiful living sweetheart of five years, model Melania Knaus, the 33-year-old the Slavonian beauty. What's a Slavonian? A Czechoslovenian? Slovenia is a country? Yeah. yeah. Slovenia? I think it's one of those new countries that popped up after the Iron Curtain. <laughs> it's a country of all hot chicks. Yeah. That's a country you go, thank God I'm living in Donald Trump's apartment. <laughs> She's got nice teeth. <laughs> she ran away to Trump's apartment. She'll be number three following Ivana and Marla. She's sporting a gigantic diamond engagement ring. Of course. See. Donald Trump is getting married again. See, that's why I call it the going away gift. You get the big rock, you get some jewelry. Hey, what's the story about some dad who beat his son with a beef jerky? That I don't know. A Staten Island bodega owner whipped oh. his young son with an 18-inch stick of beef jerky after catching the boy skipping school, authorities said yesterday. That's kind of, that, they call it a bizarre incident. I think it goes beyond bizarre. <laughs> well, he was do using something <clears throat> he had just had around. Yeah, the bizarre, I've never been whipped with beef jerky. I don't <laughs> even think that would hurt. Yeah, is that a bad thing? The bizarre incident began at about 10 a.m. on April 24th when a school official called Esteban Palafox at his store... Mexico Azteca 2. You ever been there? No. In Tompkinsville. Telling him that 10-year-old Esteban Jr. had not shown up for classes for three days. Enraged, Palifax began searching for his son and found him inside their apartment above the deli at 7 Corson Avenue. Oh, so he wasn't even supposed to be there. There he was. After he shouted at the boy... Palafax went down to the deli to retrieve the dry beef. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. He's like, I got to beat this kid. I, I got nothing to beat him with. <laughs> I need to hit you. Let me go find some beef jerky. He then returned. You think he went down for beef jerky or he just looked around and there was nothing else? <laughs> I think that was it. Yeah, I think they got it wrong. See, that that's a detail that should really be investigated. Did he go down looking for beef jerky? Or... Do you often beat him with beef jerky or yeah. was this a first? Or did you just go down looking for something to beat him with and all he could find was beef jerky? Yeah, that says a lot about the psyche of the... It's the kind of report. I'd have a, a sidebar on that. He then returned to his apartment and repeatedly whacked the boy's thigh with the jerky, leaving bruises, according to police. Ooh, so the beef jerky is tough. I want to live good. I want my child to live good, too, Palifax said. Hmm. A man of simple thoughts. Yeah, your kid will live, live real good after being beaten with beef jerky. Obviously, the kid's hiding in his apartment for a reason. Something might be going on. Do you yeah, think they ask yeah. him? Ask him why he's not doing uh, going to school. He insisted the punishment fit the crime. Asked if he regretted turning the beef jerky on his son, he emphatically said, No, 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 no. Every time he hit him? Palifax was arrested Tuesday and charged with assault, no! criminal possession of a weapon. No, it's no, 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 no. Five no's. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was charged with criminal possession of jerky, of beef jerky, and endangering the welf welfare of a child. Yeah, I've been charged you with can't that. be charged with... It's not illegal to have beef jerky. Yep, yeah, criminal possession of a weapon. They're, they're calling it a weapon. I'm being serious. Cops found out about the incident after the child's mother, Palifax's ex-wife, took her son to a local hospital. <laughs> hospital called Child Welfare. I was arrested uh, once for illegal possession of mozzarella. The woman who owns the Polish Place Deli, called Polish Place. Yeah. She yeah. works about a half a block away. She was shocked because she says uh, Palifax is a really nice guy. <laughs> I never beat her with any jerky. And she said Esteban Jr. is a nice kid. Esteban. Sometimes kids can make you angry, but that does not give people the right to beat them with beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> There's a quote. I beat you with the jerky. <laughs> Where's that thing that looks like a hitting tour? Yeah. And you can eat. Give me a big slab of beef jerky. I want to eat my weapon after I beat you. Yeah, that's what he should have done, eating the evidence. 
I once spanked my kids with lean cuisine. <laughs> hey, see, you're a nice parent. Yeah. I don't believe in that other hardcore stuff. Kind of gets hard to hold on to that box, though.